it's time for more Elden Ring. Go through good old Volcano Manor and then a bit more of Altus. Before that, I think I will keep going with a bit of. Mm, there's some ruins over here that I'd like to check out because that would allow me to get. What a Ulex shouldn't take more than a minute. How many? Mm, I need a few more foul feet, but it shouldn't take that long at least. Let's not fall off. That'd be a good idea. Altus is over here. That's nice and blocked off, but the Rhine Blood Ruins should be just over this way. Blood Grease. See, there's no chest here. That's sad. We had to spare. Keep on moving. Should be over this way. You can even see a bunch of swollen bits. So I just want to go in and fight the boss as soon as possible. Oh, one of these giant blood slimes. How nice. So where can I find a way down to fight the Sanguine Noble? And it's just in here. Okay. Skeletal slimes can do their own thing, so what should do then is buff up real quick. Some fun music in here. Let's make this happen. <coughs> How do I want to do this? Hmm, let me see something. If I put on Golden Vow. One grant me. This should be pretty good. Let's take this and and it should come out of the pool of blood and that's good for me. Sigui noble and it it's that easy. Cool and all right. Take you out. And there we go. Easy enough. Cool. Funny blood pool. And on the other side should be my bloody helix. Easy enough. Take that through there. Light could be good, but here we have it. Any weapon I wanted. Yep, and that is going to be a really good option. Heavy thrusting, strength, dexterity, arcane, and a bit of blood loss build up that scales with the arcane. Ominous piercing sword with a winding blade carried by the noble servants of the Lord of Blood, designed to bore into flesh, causing severe blood loss. The wound extracted blood trickles gracefully down the length of the blade. Donis Finesse. We void in text, current distance from foes, swallow with a strong attack for a wound, strong attack again for a sweeping slice. Okay. We can level it up a little at the moment, but we'll need another smithing stone. Because I spent one on the stupid Moonlight Greatsword, but it'll be good and get that from the manor real quickly. Shouldn't take too long. Make this happen. Thank you, and... Toss it on. Somber stone, but that is not. If only had another eight seal. If I hadn't spent it on Star Scourge, it would have been quite good. Star Scourge is doing nothing for me. So it should be right there. There we go. Cool. So far, we can take this in a moment, and it might still be stronger than the Great Epe. Let me see. Wait, that is it. No, not quite yet. Hmm. So this would be about six or so upgrade wise. But this should get better. Eventually, the arcane build up and the arcane scaling is quite nice. Let's go back to the manor. See how that works. Prison town church should be next location. Once I get a smithing stone here, I can take it all the way to nine, and then it will be my best option by far. So here we are. We can start this way. This, if I recall correctly, goes up to, well, among other things, I could shoot that Iron Virgin just for fun. Hi! Oh well. Hi. Hmm. Gotta wait till it goes up and it's hittable and mm, and now you're not staying anywhere 
So what would be a good way to hit you, if at all? Is there a good way to hit? Let me see, and... Hmm. If I... Free aimed, maybe. Hmm. Let's try this again. And... Hmm. Never mind, I... I'll deal with that later on its own ground. I don't need to try to... Fight it here and now. But there should be another smithing stone 5 here. I can take the helix all the way to plus 9, which would mean that up until I get to... A lot more strength. It's good. I will have basically my full weapon loadout of Krugier for strike. This great thing for slashing and... Then, of course, strike from the, I mean, piercing from the helix, strike from the cruiser, and this for slash. And that, I haven't been down there. I've not been down there. Or, I can't imagine, was that? No, that is where, yeah, that is where I went down to the subterranean inquisition chamber, wasn't it? Yeah, I can I can see that over there because it sent us to the manor, but we can't reach that from where we are right now. Okay, cool. One, two, and oh well, you know you can do that too. How are you gonna get up here? Are you gonna get up? Oh, you can actually jump that. Cool. Funny snake man. So visions of suffering, rude dog, and then strong foe ahead dog. I see some dogs. Okay. Thanks. And slash. There we go. For a calling finger remedy and... Oh. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, strong foe ahead. I hear a scarab of some sort around here and I'm wondering what it would give me. By the way, there are rooftops around here with Various things, and oh, it's a. That was the strong foe. Okay, now I see. All right, and continue tossing lightning bolts, and mm. all right. Luckily, we can. Ooh, nice. Continue tossing, and it actually breaks their stance pretty capably. Why did that not do a boost of damage? Well, whatever. And it's, I need so much for another level. It, it's gonna be a while until I can level up again ever at all. So I, light would actually be good in here. Only other thing I can think of would be, of course, lighting spear on more of the abductor virgins, but prison town, I, okay. Hmm, come on, yo. Really, really, I, all right. And then we take you down, and who is throwing things at me? That guy. So where is the scarab? And, okay, just a single smithing stone, six. Whatever. Oh, and we got snake men over there. So we should go back. Clamber onto those roofs. Should be good. Hmm. Okay. Take out the snake men, we can go around below with relative impunity. That over there was where I got sent originally. Could I live that fall? I probably could not live that fall. I I don't know. I hmm. I can walk onto that, but the question is how I'd get down. I do not want to risk a fall that I do not have to risk. There we go, and cool. Slash, and oh, well, you're surprisingly hard to stun. Huh. Mechanic stone. Get the feeling that I do have to drop down there. But I'll leave that for a bit. Let's mark that just in case I forget. And we got more of these guys over here, so work my way down to how. Probably jump onto that, but for now we can go here and get you out. Oh, but that links around. Okay. Huh. 
So then, left. Is it this down there, or something I can clearly use a stone sword in key to get into? But besides that, besides that, just want to make sure that I can easily work my way through. Mm, oh, hello again. Continue to take you out, and what is up with those guys anyway? This is clearly jumping required hit, so that would work around that way. That's how I'd get over there. But if we clear out everything that prisons down, that would make things easier, but some sort of corpse off a wedge is supposed to have Smithing Stone 5, I need to level up the Buddy Helix, so it's a golden rune. And I... Can I even get back up here? I can. Huh. So let's put the light back on. And was that damage from a dog or... Damage from the mist? Can't quite tell. Hmm. By the way, get around here. Take some of these guys out and... What is that? What is that guy? Oh, it's, well, it's a snake man, so... Thanks, and... We're back, and... Skill spam might be a little silly, but it's pretty effective on them. Hi, hello. And... Slash... Slash... And... Slash... Oh, well, you still hit me. I shouldn't have just spammed like that. Hmm... So you get the ground for the prison down, though. That's what I'm wondering. It... Seems a bit more intricate than a first inspection might suggest. But I do think I should go back, check out that ledge over there, and see where it leads me. Maybe. I'll just do it. Screw it. And this here. And where does this take me? This is... Jumping again required ahead? Oh, but you have to go into the lava, presumably. Wire ahead. Hmm. But can I get down there? Can I get down there? I... That looks possible, actually. Interesting. So I... Okay. Let there be dog. Go ahead. Yeah, let there be dog. Then I... Come on, dog. And... Slash, and... Come on. So evasive. What is up with that? Down here in the... Oh my goodness, I... Okay, okay, alright. I did not expect that omen killer to be. Is... And we lived on 1 HP somehow. And... Alright. Dodge, okay. Can I... Slash, and... Move back in, and slash again. Well, luckily, they're... Quite weak to anything I could pull out. Great omen killer cleaver... Huge Wilson Cleaver, Cleaver's Blade, from Rattles of Oak, Amputated Omen Horns, Weapons Slaughter Wielded by Omen Killers, Hideous Horns, Cuts of Blood Loss, Vibrant Colors of the Ongoing Mayhem. Great Axe. Huh. Suppose we have to work our way down here. That's fine. Hmm. That is... This is interesting. So how do I get up there? Hmm, well, how do I work my way back up? This is a very funky place. Did not expect there to be this big underground cavern, but oh, there were jars hurting here. Fun. Let's take this back out then. And take our gloves out to make that work. Cool. And so we crush and oh my goodness. Alright. I oh exploding jars. Did not expect that to be a thing. Or an explosion like a dream. Hmm. What else is in here? Presumably a ritual pot. I would expect that to be the case. And... Hello? There is... Okay. Huh. Take you out with hammer swing and... wonder if that one even had the capability of exploding. And... Hit, and go for another, and, yeah, big blast, and 
Moving Jar Shard, Romney down point, and a Smoldering Shield. That. Not Gelmir, Fortune Mountain Court, and Wild Vibers, this frost with heat, even if it's still far damage, wield it as a weapon, and just shield bash. Okay. Hmm. What's in here, and can I. Oh, right, because these are the exploding jars, right? Speaking Stone 6, and two of them. It's pretty nice, and oh my goodness, I. Dodge, okay, I. Ooh, I thought I rolled through that. That was almost very, very bad. I should have found some way to detonate them at range. Then this will go where? Hmm. Nothing there. I don't want to go level waiting too much. That would be unwise. Let's jump across, try not to die. And. Hmm. Horrible, horrible. It's interesting how it slows down your rolling. Can't say it doesn't make sense, but still. Okay. Go up top and work our way around. See where this takes us going on the roofs. This is pretty cool. I need to go to the bathroom. Let's see. And menu. Be right back. Oh, I, ne I never turned myself on.
Okay. So the question is now, how am I going to get up and around here, and what is going to be possible this way, jumping there? So presumably there's nothing here. Question is what's going to be over this way, but clearly I can get back here. Seems an oh well, of course there are corpses. Amazing. Come on and take you out. Put the gauntlets back on. Thank you. Cool. Shame that Krajir is so heavy. Okay. So then, our way up should be something over here, but. And yep, this was. You could see this from over by the Inquisition Chamber when we got teleported here by the Iron Maiden. But, what else is here? Should be another enemy, I think. Or anything here? No, not really. Let's jump. And. Oh? So, what all is in here? This Lyra had. And, oh, well, jumping required ahead. Can I... Oh, this just led back to where we were before. So I wonder if I can make that jump from here. And just... No? Did I, did I mess that up somehow? I get the feeling that I messed that up somehow. Well, whatever. Let's try that again. We took those pots out. I'm actually surprised that there wasn't a ritual pot here. Anything like that, because in terms of pots, I've got how many? How many cracked pots? Total, we got 15. 15 and 5. So I'm wondering where the remaining 5 ritual pots and 5 cracked pots will be then. I guess I could try that jump one more time, but I get the feeling that I'd have to go at it from a different angle. Maybe. Come on. I'm going. Try to get. No, what are you? What are you doing here? Huh? Okay. To jump down and get whatever that is on that staircase. I. Hmm. Jumping required ahead. Just about to get down there. Get the feeling that I just did the jump wrong. And can I? Yep, I just did the jump wrong. This is. Oh, just a stone sword key. That feels like a bad joke. It's just, it's not particularly useful. You can put Blessings Boon on, sure. That's fine. Hey, a bit better avoid reject. Well, that said, I've got a lot of red flasks and very few blue flasks, so I probably shouldn't be too lackadaisical about how I use those or conserve or fail to conserve them. Hmm. Not down here. Then, aside from that, I wonder what else there will be to see. This is where we wanted to go before, I think. Well, whatever. Just so if we went back around, it's not. Omen Killer should still be dead, but. Where's the scarab? Drawstring Fire Grease. Take you out. Reminds me a bit of Heart of Cathedral Ward in Bloodborne, actually. Let's put this back on. Put the light back on. And who else and where? This is Golden Rune. Somebody is throwing something at me. That is not great. Thank you. And this. Where and what? Hmm. This is... Oh, the Urge Tree Seal is right there, that's right. Poor most sacred seal, decorate with an Urge Tree Tree Quest. Once the focus of religion in the land between, even though the old ring shattered, or tree dulled from former radiance, and his faith continues to hold the answers. Hmm. I would need 40 for that, and I believe it's 50 or so that it... It's better than the God Slayer Seal in terms of pure faith, but that would only be relevant for healing and weapon buffs, and I don't really use... Healing or weapon buffs, so. Hmm. Much to think about. Because in the end, 
healing is an interesting option, but not one I see myself using all that much. It's nice to get that archery seal, though. It could be useful, and it's formlessness. Well, to be fair, Golden Order seal is also formless. Group time for luring out, and there's not a way back up, right? Why is that crate floating? Let me see. Well, there are stone sword keys, but besides that, yeah, I'm wondering how I'm going to get back around. Interesting as well. Work my way down, and I bet if I work my way over there, I'll be able to find something too, but it's a matter of living through, living the lava. So is this a, yeah, that would be a way to get back up here. So it does loop back around, that's good. Whatever all these things are, and dog, hi dog. Fire arrows, nothing all that special. So and there is that scarab that we were hearing before. So what are you gonna give us? Oh, Summerstone 5. So then I can actually upgrade Body Helix. That's good. Already been through here sometime before, and this is where that Dr. Virgin was, presumably. Let's look and see. What items? Some things to drop down and try to get, but I don't quite see where they are right now. I guess I'll have to check from below, maybe? Look up from below and see what might be there. Can I... Is there anything of even slight note here? I am losing my heart, my mind, my soul. Hmm. It's, it's that piece. Let's so drop down from up top onto there and see what I can get, but clearly getting down there eventually. There'll be some things to grab, so can't afford to ignore that. My question. What's behind Stone Sword Key Fog Gate? Keep on going, and once I get to a set of grace, yeah, that'll be it. Time to use smithing stones to upgrade the helix. But, hmm, keep on going. Some of this, work our way down. How do I want to make this happen? Try some of this, and, hmm, I think we can drop down here, so try that real quick, and go over here. Smithing stone five, just normal smithing stone. How then do I want to do this? I somebody over there. Stone sword key. Thank you. Lost with use. What's in here? Oh, it's just a and it's waiting for me. It's just sitting. Okay. Suit yourself. And we'll toss that, and... Cool. Cool, and... Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Alright. Thanks. And... Okay. Cool, and... Oh, alright. Hmm. Get a couple of hits in. That, and another. There we go. Cool. Fun. Hmm. So what else? What else is in here? Maybe there's something... Clearly, there was something on top, but past that, the doctor should be. Well, we got a couple more of these random dudes, and oh my goodness. And do not poison me, please. Come on. Oh, alright, and oh my goodness. This was a little worse than expected. Glass shard, and can I slash? There we go. What's that item? Is it going to be a ritual bot, maybe? I can see that. This is... Oh, Crimson Amber Medallion plus one. That's got two dots per quadrant, greatly raises maximum HP. It's precious to jewels, primordial life energy resides inside. Alright. Let's continue onward. See what there is to see, and what there is to find, and... 
really going through that lava will give me some stuff. Hmm. Sus in the vat, I believe. So no, not there, but down over here, clearly. I will be able to get there eventually, and I should try. And we got a funny snake man, and... Okay. And it... They're just really, really hard to stun, unless I use... Bloodhound's finesse. Cannot open from the side. Okay, and... Oh, well. Something here. That's an albinoric blood clot. Interesting, right? Because there were albinorics around here. That is right. So then we can use this to open it up, presumably. Beautiful, but that would kill me. Mm hmm. So that over there, we can't... Well, in theory, you could probably go around and maybe try sequence breaking some of that, but... It... It's silly. It's wading through that lava. Endlessly until you can... Get through, probably using a lot of fire resistance. Talismans and abilities, but... There's nothing like Flash Sweat, at least not for much later. I think that would have to be Flame Protect Me, which I don't have access to yet. Oh my goodness, lots of, lots of guys. Okay. We're all in these torture mechanisms. That is profoundly sad. Well, at least we can open this up. Cool. So, what else are we going to find in here? Going around this way, but jumping was how we got inside this. So what else? I oh, okay, hello. Shame, really. And your contraption disappears along with you. Alright. And... Another hit, and we can starlight that. So is there another way to get inside here, or... We have enemy. So what enemy is here to be wary of? I maybe more of those Albinor guys? I don't know. Oh hi, oh okay, interesting. Funny grab attack. Well, that kills you without much trouble. So we should exit and loop around and see. It's around the other side of the ledge. But I really just wonder why I don't have any kind of I can actually go on the roof, okay. Who and where? And you are another Snake Man. Okay, Snake Man. Oh, and I think we were able to stun it more adequately because it hadn't seen us yet, at least at first. Another one of the abductors. Hmm. So there's a ladder up here, and I wonder what that leads to. You can see down inside this sort of torture chamber. Hmm. Oh, then. Oh, you could use this to jump down inside that way if you really felt like it. That is presumably the intended way, but something over on that ledge, so let's mark that too. Where is the next side of grace in this manner? And can I? Probably could drop down here, it's just I don't imagine there would be much accomplished by that. Maybe. And oh, could I I could get inside here. That's funny. Let's go around the side. Hmm. Should lead down to that, but Albinoric from before. That's what I'm wondering about. And where is Black Dumpling? Hang on their head. Oh no, you actually are a living enemy. Sad. Hold seed, but hold require. Oh. Gross. Thank you. And then, Golden Rune 9, and another. Please don't jump on me. Or if you do, try to miss. And, take it out, but nothing here. Hidden path ahead. Not true. Hmm. So, what all was in here? We got another. A hanging Albinoric. That's sad. Oh, did they do anything? Oh, well, it enrages, presumably, the others, think. This is... don't see that yet. I, okay, and one. How did I miss? Whatever. Whatever. 
but seem to be a drop down there, but can't imagine what it would lead to or if it even leads to anything at all. Let me see. I hmm. Well, that does lead to something. So there is some purpose to dropping down, but try down, but that would lead to this is where the magma worm was. So then my question is, what if I go there? Number of other little pathways to check out right now. Explosive great bolt and dead end ahead. What would it lead to? Oh, this is probably the way to get over there, maybe? And if there's any item, presumably obtain it. I just want to see if there's a grace around here. A grace ahead, but we wary of right. Is this... That will open, good. Go. Interact with that grace. Presumably. Or... Is it down here? I... Does not look like it. Okay. You have to probably wade through some of the... Some of the lava then. Here it is. This is... The... Guest Hall. Oh, that's actually very, very macabre. So the Guest Hall is where they... Did those executions then. Huh. Surprise attack ahead, and... Wait, I'm getting all kinds of turned around right now then. Oh, okay, never mind. So this is where I came from. So it was all in this room, I just... Went off to this side first, instead of... Did I even see the other way at all? I don't even know. Okay. Well... Go back up, try and drop him down to that ledge. By going up on top of... This little house. But, I guess the question was... How was this... Presumably some that fell into ruin, but... I wonder how accessible it was before and how accessible it was meant to be, given that it was literally in a volcano. Okay. But we did find a grace, which is good, because it also means I can go back and make the helix stronger. Should make it a pretty useful option for me. And we go down there, and what's in here? This is... Hmm. We got... The Albanoric Staff and Mask, and another Omen Killer. Hmm. Short staff, wood blintstone embedded, wielded by the Albanorcs of old, harbor a secret, very metallic, sourced using their innate arcaneness. Hmm. It's actually pretty okay. But it's the Gelmir one that I really need and want. Largely unaltered hot of a young Albanoric, but his arcane reduces HP recovery effects of plastic tears. Far cry from God's kit and hide masks the product of malicious mockery. Okay. Well, slash and move back in for another slash and simple enough. Cool. What do you drop? You dropped another omen killer cleaver. So in theory we could use that to power stance if we really felt like it. So what else? And oh, we could have seen this in theory. Other side, it's just paying all that close attention. Oh, and this probably leads to that balcony with that one item. Hello! How are you doing? <sighs> Were you busy hitting on boats or something? So what else around this way? So now we can get this item, which is... Okay, just a golden rune. Take this out. Get rid of this. See what's down bottom there. We're in a volcano right now. I don't know what you did. I can't know unless you tell me. But I can go back and level up the body helix, which is nice. To drop down here. I could live that. So anything around here? Presumably not. No something ahead. That, that... Am I supposed to commend you? How am I supposed to react? I, I don't know how I'm supposed to react to that. Okay. And we're wading through the lava. This goes down to that magma worm pool, and there is nothing here. Nothing here at all. Okay. So... 
Let's go back and level up my sword. Heavy thrusting sword I got from before. Should make it a very, very strong option. Should outpace great epic and strength by a little bit. And it can't be infused, but fusions aren't good. Oh, okay. So they thought you were some sort of horrible, horrible person. Level this up, we can take this higher. And six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Now that's at 510 AR. Nice. That's it. 672. Huh. 177. This would be it. Hmm. It's better than the Epe, but... Let's see. It, it's meaningfully better than the Epe. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I... Italy. Italy. I just... I'm done trying to understand Italy. So we can show off some of the skill behavior then. And it's nice and bloody. Stab, stab. Oh, and yep, and it's got a poking char char strong attack. That's nice. I like that. Oh, well. At least you didn't get in too much trouble. Or any trouble, I assume. So this is a fun one. And... It's in a round, and... Hmm. And that dodge is iframes. And this is a good option to take enemies down. And this break stance it faster than inhaling thrust, which is nice. Cool. Very nice. I... Your bluster repulses me. Especially since it really is entirely bluster. Thesis? Oh, and yep, we got blood loss there, and can we... Yep. 477, and... Hmm. So that does shed some blood, but I'm wondering if that's just because we killed it, or because... Hmm. Colossal swords. And then... Where is... I need to maybe clear some things out of my inventory. Oh, okay. And she thanked you for buying brownies for yourself? Was it funny when you ate them? Right, right. One. Two. Kill more slugs. And interesting how they drop butterflies of all things. And smoldering butterfly. Is there anything around this way? Oh, and yep, yeah, there we are. We can get something here. And a fireproof dried lever. Hmm. So, that bloody helix should be good against armored enemies. You're 20? What, is it, what does that mean in context? Not familiar with Italian zoomer slang. To pick that up and go around this side, which is kind of walled off before. Well, because they're all falling down into the lava. And okay, the little roll stunned it for a second. Continue. Oh, and there you are. All these guys are. I don't even know what's up with them, but this place was the domain of Rykard. Well, it still is, but now he gave himself to an evil serpent. Well, the Blasphemous Serpent. Evil might be a bit strong. That's a evaluative question. But either way, he rejected the Ur Tree and has Tarnished Hunt Other Tarnished. Oh, but that's right, I forgot. I need to go kill Great Horn Tragog. Once I get another Berets, sure. That Golden Rune 9 and things being thrown. Hmm. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Well, aren't, aren't most Zoomers anxious? Let's see. Hmm. Keep on looking. 
You will always find a way to bring that up. That and fairy tale. I swear. So then. Put up over that way. When are we gonna reach around there? Mm -mm. Keep on going and. I wonder if there's going to be anything on this roof. Every zoomer. Everyone in gen everyone in Generation Z has an anxiety diagnosis. I might not be able to change you, but I can mock you mercilessly. I'll use the tools I have available. It's down here. Got another item. Hmm. Anything around this way, or...? No, nothing. Okay. Somberstone 6. Well, I don't exactly need that at this point. Good god. What do you shut up? Okay. Hmm, this jump is annoying to make. Keep on going and... Keep on moving around. I wonder if it... How am I going to get up top there? Well, it... I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> In the end, it... I, I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent here, but it... When, whenever people discuss... So, oh, well, clearly there's a cave there, but how would I get into that? Never mind, maybe I shouldn't talk, but... Okay, so how would I... What's a good way to get down that way? This is... Oh, and of course it's got a whip. You've got to be kidding. Slash and... Oh, I think that... Is that the magma whip candlestick? Well, it's a whip candlestick, but it doesn't seem to have any magma. And that over there... Hmm. How am I going to... Well, first, I should probably take some of this. Oh. That's crazy. And... Hmm. Keep on... Go in. See how, oh goodness, not more slug. Okay. Keep on going and mm. let's see and how do I So that goes up here too, so there are multiple connecting paths. How then Okay, there's an elevator over there, that's interesting. Will that go down or go up? Presumably go up. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What else is here? There's a little outlet that way, but other than that, I... I could. Let's just use this gray bow. Thanks. And shoot. Charge, blast, and there we go. Fun one. It's... To be totally honest, there are a vast number of people who fake claim stuff like that for social cred. And one thing that leads to is, quite frankly, a lot of lack of sympathy for people with real illnesses. Because most people who, you know, fake claim are going to be normal people, therefore. And oh, there's a random magma worm over here. I did not see that coming. So how do I want to... Well, first, what I should do is put on my bow again. Put the bow back on, and... Where am I going? Where am I going? Not that one, but lion gray bow. Come on. Okay. Alright, and... Hmm. Get over that way, and we need... Blessings. Oh my goodness, I swear. Blessings, boon, and then we... Golden Vow... Golden Vow. But the big thing is that part of the deal with mental illness is that it isn't just an inconvenience for you. It's an inconvenience for other people, for better or worse. And it's not fun. But a lot of people, and very specifically with the whole controversy with, quite frankly, it was the Kanye controversy where he just went crazy, and, you know, he was very obviously 
it was the ramblings of someone with literal unmedicated schizophrenia. And there were a lot of people who were just, I have such and such, I have such and such disorder, and it doesn't make me do socially unacceptable things. And it's just, it seemed very inauthentic, and it, it's just, especially since a lot of people use, quite frankly, claims of disorders as a way to avoid responsibility for things and get, again, social credit, it, it's unpleasant. We got a dragon heart. And you can never fully exonerate someone for their actions, because even if they're quote-unquote not culpable, it doesn't change the fact that other people have to deal with them. The entire point is that it's an unpleasant social issue, rather than just... I don't know, in the end, it... Very few people are ever truly authentic or truly selfless in their decisions. But what I mean is that... It, it was very obvious, at least in my opinion, that what he said and what he did was heavily a result of, again, being completely unmedicated for a serious mental disorder that sycophants around, around him were, you know, cheering on for the sake of clout or for, you know, to be involved with drama. And it... You know, it's hard to describe... It's hard to describe it fully without sounding like you're exonerating someone, but it's very much a sort of... It's just an uncomfortable situation without any real solutions, so to say. Mm -mm. It's just unpleasant. So then, go up this way. Oh, we got a black flame monk, but presumably they would be weak as uh, piercing, so we can turn out the body helix. Well, it w once you're off of them, it getting back on them is its own thing. Okay. Let me see. And okay, this should be a god skin, but if we get over there, oh, we can probably lower the bridge now to get back and have a quicker route to the boss. That's nice. But now that we have a shortcut, I should go and take down Tragoth before I forget. And they have a whole cutscene for this. Well, the big thing is, is if you're the kind of person who needs heavy medication, if you're not actively on your medication, you're probably not going to be in the right state of mind to actually take your medication. It's... There, there's just nothing pleasant about it. it. The only thing there is the problem. And, oh, you can see that cool off from being red hot. See, that's a little unrealistic, and it definitely is, but... Metal does have a very low specific heat, so it's easy to... Heat up and cool down. It'd be really funny, though, honestly. If, for a few seconds after raising it, it did... A little bit of damage to the player. Okay, so this should be the Temple of Igle or... Yeah, I think it's Igle or Aigle. Oh, it's probably... It might be Aigle. E-I-G-L-A-Y in a pun on, you know, laying eggs. It's a serpent. First, let's go back here and we can probably... Talk to Patches, presumably, and... Go hunt down Tragoth. Should be the time. Not through here or the other way. There's somebody making noise. Hi, Patches. What impeccable timing this is for you. Oh, letter to Patches. Manor? 
improve your standing, but he's getting us to do his own requests. Let's pass the torch, break a wig, and Patches Emporium, and come on, let me see. Letter to Patches, Volcano Manor, two Patches, Address to Patches, Name of the Tarnished to be Haunted, Written Request, Grand Court Trail, Certain Precipice, Red Mark on your map for the exact location. So, in that case, I think that he sent us to do his own dirty work, which is funny. Should get some stuff from that. And mana invitation, letter from, letter two patches, letter two Bernal. Mm, disclosing the name. So, yep, they're having us do their dirty work. No, what I mean is that if. Being. Yep, request Trigger. I mean, if they're off their meds, that's the thing. Is that. that the point is that. Based on what people said and saw, he was probably off his meds, and that was what was caused the issue in part. Which, it's just unpleasant. It's not really anything... It really... It's just, it's just unpleasant. Because like I said, if you're actively off your meds, getting back on them requires more presence of mind than you might have without your medication. Grant me strength, and shoot at me, and come on. And now we're, we are at medium load, so that's just out of the way, and oh, well, alright. Mm -hmm. Ground slam is interesting. Alright, and can I dodge, stab, 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 and mm -hmm. thanks. And close in it. Okay, I, d oh, well, interesting. Okay, cool. And take that out, and yep, piercing damage is a great option against him, so can I finesse and stab, there we are, cool, goodbye. And piercing, of course, is amazing for taking down anything armored. Gotta love it. So the god skin on the other side over there should go down pretty easily. Got the bull goat set. Yeah, that giant crusher and a big heavy crossbow, and this... Greaves, Gold Bull, Gold Motif, High Poise, Giant Horns providing staunch poise, Fame Knight of Assistance, Countless Tarnish, facing adversity and lands between your survive thanks only to the Great Horned One's aid. That guy fought a bit like Bior from... Uh, Bior from Demon Souls. See, it heavy. he was a bit like a combination of Havel and Bior, because Bior had a crossbow and a big heavy weapon, but that was his Vihander, but he has the... Giant Crusher patches and request is done. Tragoth. His name means goat. Simple enough. And so he had us do his own dirty work. And you should, once we've rested, give me a reward for that. That magma whip candlestick. Let's go over it. This jumping. If we rest, we should be able to get the candlestick from him. Try that real quick. Anything here or if you road path suit? Can it come a day too soon? And then it, at least the idea is that Rykard would eat us. I don't really want that though. Patches okay. Emporium, my reward. Sharp and then you seem we did his work. You know, for it and drag off. Magma with candlestick. Okay. Hmm. What did you realize? Three prong candlestick, ritual implement, solid flames of the magma of Gelmir is a weapon. Supple whips of lava. See a magma? Completely cover the area. Let's swing the lava whip. Shopping west ends. I wonder if any of them will have anything new to say, but taking out the godskin is going to be our next thing to do. So, change tree the sword would put it to sleep. And then we could use bloodhounds to just destroy it. Presumably, it would be easier then. And then Apostle in Kaled? Maybe. Oh, okay. Let's see what else any of them might have to say. Hmm. Interesting. And oh, what? Is Who is this? Some random guy? What 
are you? Hmm. Who are you? Your tarnished. Here to put the demigods. Yes. Then please. Ah, great serpent record. The great serpent. Yep. Now Rackard is the serpent. The serpent spear the so we can pick that up. Okay. The great serpent. That unspeakable monstrosity. Mm. worked him a worthy sovereign. Just to deprive him, once he gave himself to the serpent, no longer prayed to Rykar, must kill him. His ambitions for further dishonor. And that guy is. doesn't say what he is. Serpent's Blade Spear, only thing that can kill that horror, run it through, unspeakable monstrosity. Okay. Hmm. So, did he get medicated or something? Oh, he's still alive. So we meet again. And, okay, Ryan is back to human form. So, this is a turn of late. I can trust you. Pitch Black of Night. So this one never came out, not mistaken. Serpent just like me. Secret kept from me, should impose. Please share. Dark side of Volcano Manor. Secret after all, hunting tarnished. It's deceived me. Well, it's probably the serpent and Rykard, and I think the woman data car. Hmm. Heroic path, one day see you, but as Orion says, travel said to you, something is wrong, sentence are clear enough. So trust you, all more reason I must tell you, something's better with unknown, should be blamed for their heritage. Oh, good. Ways of the Earth tree itself. Lineage in a crisis. Trust in you, okay. Mm -mm. Heritage is a snake-human hybrid. Interesting. So what else might she have to say? It's deceiving, was it not? The race of a king. So soon we should be able to pick up the Serpent's Amnion, I think. Put on Sphinx, and... Hmm, good weapon. So not there, but over here. Sort of connected around the Temple of Egle. Egle should be around here. We've gone up this way, and this was that bridge that we raised. Oh, okay. Yeah, it. I think it can be hard to reduce disorders, especially depression, which has a lot of material and other causes to just brain chemistry. But it's undeniable that it's part of the question. And it. In the end, I would say it's better to try to think well of people than to be angry with them. This should be in where that godskin is, and the serpent's amnion should be on the other side, and here we are. Yep, godskin noble, hello there, hi, and dodge, one, two, three, and there we go, you're gonna sleep now. We can put on our buffs. Alright, blood of flame blade. Golden Vow, and... Flynn grant me, and then we just skill spam. Just stay asleep long enough to blast you, so... One, and... Two... One... Two, and... There we are! Exciting. I could have gone for a crit to finish that off, but no problem. That's good. God's in Citra and Noble Presence. Alright, cool. Hmm... Yeah, and again, it means less trouble for everyone else. Noble Presence, the Belly of the Gusto, and unleash repelling shockwave. Should empower the nobles, Belly of the Gusto, produce a shockwave, knocks back nearby foes, and its potency, knocking enemies into the air, once a sudden the god's wrath, incantation, can be a trophy of the nobles' god hunt. Right, because this is basically Wrath of the Gods, or one of the incantations that's a bit like the Wrath of the Gods. And I got that belly armor. Big fat apron from 
killing one in Divine Tower of Lyrinia, and that increases the power of that incantation, too. <coughs> but, Elegant Piercing Sword, Celadon Blade, by God's Noble, skill with the sword and match binding willboard, despite its size, successive attacks are swifter than the act of blow and killing thrust. That's an okay weapon. It's better than great epic if you want attacks. Oh, okay. So he just had his own troubles. Serpents and beyond. Uh, nothing here, like what it failed in. Oh, yep, yep, giant snake skin. This is the Temple of Egg Laying. Of laying eggs. Serpent and beyond, womb that bore unintended offspring. Mother's womb, poor unwanted offspring, repellent birthing ritual. Never drought, remaining damp indefinitely. So that would be Zarias, presumably, in the form of a snake. Hmm. Let's continue on our way. How then? Is this Amion to her or to. We can level up real quick and do that. This would be. What next? I think. Some faith could be okay. Maybe, maybe mind, honestly. It's also a good option. Then we have a good amount of FP, a good amount of HP. Hi. The day world see you cannot come a day too soon, so we should give Raya the Amnion then. The Amniotic Sack. Oh, and that spirit is gone now. Is this me? Was I not? The grace of a king and Amnion. What is this? Same distinctly. Isn't it? Born inside it. Part of my birth mother, of my gratitude. No longer afraid. Born in that way, Tanith, mother once again from the bottom of my heart. Mm. So eventually we'll get some quest line related things. Be able to continue this. One day, or else you can't come a day too soon. If we rest, I think, maybe we need to do another assassination. We should have to wait until we get to Mount Top of the Giants. Hi. Can it come a day too soon? Zerise's absence. Haven't seen her anywhere. No scouting doing these now. In search of answers, just listen. It's your aid, not as proprietress, but as your mother. So as the answer causes distress, drink this potion. Which that would cause her pain. A tonic of forgetfulness. I know. Grave disrespect to her. The Eritrea's imposition must be done. Mm, no choice. So we'll find her eventually, but we're not going to give her the tonic. That's a bad ending. Benefits distress and bitter memories. Small verse of Isle, Benefits distress and bitter memories. Tricords weren't a blast to Tanith, who had no use for it. Could, there could be no greater distress than to forget you. Tonic of forgetfulness. And we can offer it to somebody else. Uh, we can offer it to Corrin, but he does not actually accept it ever. So then... What else? She's not there right now. But... <sighs> Something I just forgot, I swear. Right, we can go to Jarburg now. That questline should be to talk to Diallos a bit. And then we should be able to reach the ending of Diallos' questline. And oh, it... Oh, they're... They're dead. The jars have been hunted. Not good. And hello. Oh, cuz, I'm glad you came, but we're fine now. Dialos bought the poacher. Not yet. So I think I'll do that later today. Got broken. Mm. I won't cry though. I'm a warrior, Jar. A warrior. Mm. So Diolos is gone now. So Diolos is still there, it says, which means she still dialogue. We'll see what happens. Told in blood. Told in blood. That's the kind of warrior I want to be one day, cuz. Mm -hmm. Even if I'm scared, I'll still fight to protect everyone. Warrior Jar. Okay. So Diolos. Hmm. Hello. Uh, you. Uh, uh, the jars. Are they all right? <clears throat> Did I defend them? Sure. Sure you did. Then all is well. This fool proved his worth. In the end. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. 
And in the end, he could not accomplish anything. Mm. Well, the DLC actually has a good deal more lore about the Jars. I think Jar Baron is the only survivor here. Then only Jar Baron. Still says Potentate Diallos, but... So you have... Oh, of course, because... Jar Baron is... Munching on him to absorb him in. Mm. Okay. Eventually, this Newman's room should drop, but let's just see if anything else shows up. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe you should be stuffed inside a jar, too. Along with all your friends. The petal whip, Dios's mask, and there we go. And the rest will come from his brother in the mountaintops. Replica of a twin tilt silver helm with flowery adornments without the tails. Teolus Hoslow had an older brother who was a stern self possessed man of few words. Achievements made him seem out of reach. Younger Esplower would be like the older, yearning for the day they would tell the tale of House Hoslow in blood. Long for well, it would break his brother's heart. Metal whip, razor sharp chain with blades had the appearance of flower petals. Work of art handed down through the generations of the illustrious House Hoslow. Had exert required to wield this weapon, but excels in inflicting devastating blood loss. Tale of House Hoslow is told in blood, but cannot really put. I wonder if it can be infused. Texture requirement and but Juno Hoslow power stance is these, but the big thing is that unless it has arcane skilling, it's not going to scale the blood loss build up with arcane. It's gonna be flat. Thanks for coming Come back, set on on a journey. On the path of champions. I'm about to go on a journey in search of glory. I'm about to as a mm -hmm, but we have to come back later after concluding Alexander's quest line. So let's go back to the temple of Egle. Mm -hmm. See how this works out. Okay, no manor, and how oh, then? else there is that over there so let's see how many has there are for us at this point I'm gonna hear a scarab somewhere this elevator traction does not move I don't know say that I should be put inside a jar instead I don't know suit yourself I believe in your creativity maybe so that elevator should be our next destination, and... Okay, it's got a pillar underneath. Hmm. This is a vaguely cross-shaped. Interesting. I figured you would mention that. That was not what I was intending to refer to, though. Okay. Hmm. And then an item over here, and that's... Golden Rune 9. How then should I do this? Look around here. And then I think the Serpent guy should be around here too. The Serpent Mage. Oh, we can jump off there and reach around top. This is nothing in particular, it seems. I... You can say that. I will choose to disagree. Especially since I'd say it's probably a bit more millennial than Gen Z anyway. Oh, so could I reach that? No, not like this. Not right now. It's down there, but we can't use that elevator yet. Okay. Let's just check this out. Mm -hmm. It's... It was very American, so there's a chance that you're lucky and have not seen it. But people, some people are saying there's that, there's that Hawk Tua meme that's going around, which is really, really stupid. And also just completely outside my cultural sphere. But people are saying, oh, you know, the reason we don't find it funny is because it's a Generation Z meme that you just don't understand. Or Gen Alpha, it's definitely not Gen Alpha for sure, they're five, but it's just... 
The way I heard about it was from a stupid radio show with a bunch of annoying Gen Xer hosts. Maybe Millennial, maybe Gen X. But either way, just hosts much older than me. And it's, you know, the entire point of the meme, it's not even really a meme in as much as just old dudes being really thirsty for just basically a woman who looks like she wishes she was still in college in a sorority, but it... It's... It's also just a part of the internet, sort of the barstool sports internet that I also just have no contact with. And nothing down here. Hmm. It's just... The amount of separate cultural spheres on the internet these days... It's just, the degree to which people have nothing in common is only increasing with each other, and we're calling Finger Remedy, but I don't summon a single person. I don't summon anyone. Stone over here around, Wyndham. Actually, Craftsman's Shacks, right, that was from Village. Let's see down around that way then. But, hmm. Yeah, you know, let's not fall there, that would kill me instantly. And then, what else? So what else might be around here? Hmm. Eggling Temple. And then, what do I... Not here. That looks like something I can get on, but not right now. We have strong foe. What foe is that? Probably the Abductor Virgin, maybe? I don't know. And, hmm. What is this then there and what I not that not that I maybe actually I I wonder what if I try to jump down onto there? I bet I could reach it from another point, but still. Strong foe, try lightning. Okay, cool. So this is how we do things. Cool. And there are they immune to lava? I think they're immune to lava. This one is probably immune to lava. Given that there's lava around here, and they probably wouldn't want it to be. Oh, well, alright. Fun. Not really. How far are you gonna come over and just dodge and- Oh, there we are! Just toss a few more. And... It's so weak to lightning. It's fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. This didn't drop anything? No, it drops nothing. Wonder... Wonder if they respawn. I don't even know. Where you do it. So it was in don't do it, probably. So the best way to get down that lava would be to drop down over there and here. So what's over this way? Hmm. Oh, then, and... Oh, this goes down pretty far. But I... I bet I could live that, but... Message of praise, that's nice. This is the ladder ahead. Oh, okay, so there's just a ladder. Okay. So, is there another way down? Another elevator or what? That's something. Okay. But I should find a way to get through here first, so... Thank you, and... Oh, well, alright. Well, that was interesting. Neither of us hit the other. Okay, that's fire over there. Thank you. Hmm. How do I... I hear a scarab somewhere, but... Where's the elevator? That's my question. How am I going to get down here quickly? This should be it. And be wary of the left. So, what does that mean? Maybe just that one Elven Orc? Oh, well. There was something we could go into if we hopped up midway. That's interesting. That's cool. This just leads back to this spot. But there, there was an item, so we should drop down there. Hmm. It would be right this way, I think. It oh, I did not mean it. What? Huh? What? That was ridiculous. Come on. I should have quit out. I could have quit out there. That was very stupid. I actually despise this game. At least I have a number of rune arcs for next time I need to fight something. Eh, no issue with the load right now. Mm -hmm. But I can't even think. When is the next time I'm going to need to fight something? 
By the way, it, I've still got pretty good stats. Decent enough for my purposes, but... Come on. Go up, and... If I just continue holding forward, I might not have even died. It's the crazy thing. And I, we got inside, that's good. So it's all in here. Hello. And this is a... Just a stone sword key? Okay, whatever. Hmm, I hear various things trying to get at me. Don't like that. So now we're actually down in this lava. Okay. Oh, and there you are. Okay. One, two, but... Oh, and it does respawn. Okay. Got a somber stone from that. That's okay. That's alright. Oh, and something else in here. And what is this? This is... Oh, hi, Raya. Oh. It's you. Must tell you. When a child, not a grace, hideous ritual, except by men or serpents, shouldn't accept me. So much for me, and well, kindness. No, thank you. A cursed frame. Don't give it. So much, well, that's kindness, so... We pick a third option, which is to do nothing, and let her just sit with it. And eventually, she will feel better about herself. More or less. Hmm. So... Two more things to grab here in the temple. One, two, three. Eventually, we should be able to loop around and get to... Oh, and, oh, poison explosion. Not great. What is up with these guys, I presume? Some kind of thing related to the serpent and serpent-related experiments. Commoner's headband and that. Cloth and poison were for commoners, no commoners remaining with their wits about them. This reminds me a bit of Trangway Castle, actually. And work our way back around, and there should be some more things to see. Hmm, another Urba. And, alright, cool. Always sadness. I mean, madness, madness. Hmm. So we get to Rykard, I can show off a cool little glitch related to duplicating the normal unique weapon used to fight him. And this should be. Yep, that's where we came from. Ruined Fragment, and... Should be, right. One Elven Orc here. Thank you, and... Oh, right! So, having... Oh, and you can see its eyes go... Cool. Mm -hmm. Having the Rune Orc active event is the difference between... One hit kill and two hit kill. Okay. So, then... Keep on moving, and I think... Might be able to activate the Work Gate. Maybe. Says, oh, we got another funny. Oh, you got magma whip candlestick. I, okay, and dodge and cut, kill. That was a bit scuffed. Volcanic stone and anyone else here? Just piles of tortured albinorix. But my albinorix? Huh? Siri item? Nope. Nothing. So then. No, there's another big serpent guy we have to take down. We might be able to actually wink back to the start now. Tree ahead, and is this... This does seem to be the start of the manor. Let's open that, and... Eventually it all wink back around, and... We're not quite yet. We should be close to the start of the manor. I just keep on looking. Hmm. Oh, and there's that big serpent mage, so cut down a number of you, and cut down another. Thanks. Kill. Dodge out of the way before the poison burst. Oh, man serpent ashes. Man serpent, deformed man serpent, wields a whip of magma, long go, elder serpent, mountain mount gelmir, devout demigod, birth of the man serpents followed. So that would be Rykart, presumably, and oh, okay, alright. Fun. One two, and three. I wonder if Bloody Helix would be any better against them. This should be... This is where I can try farming the Gelmir Glintstone Staff, which would be quite nice. Quite nice to have, because it does scale in intelligence and faith, which would make it our best option. Life ahead. Oh, hello. What's in here? This is... Oh, just Basilisk. That's funny. Come on, I oh, alright, and oh, you are s rather strong. 
This is Somberstone 6. Why are there Basilisks here on Gelmia? It... This game does not like me. Thank you, and, well, not life, but death, and can I, well, I, mm, mm -hmm. how much more, how much more, alright, just, uh, get in a place where I can actually hit you, and, slash, slash, it. okay, now, we almost actually got death blighted, almost, okay, but we didn't, that would be instant death, got a sniffing stone, that's okay, and very clearly that, is a man serpent there in the lava. Let's actually try. 616. And how much more would this deal, if any more? Hi. And. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright then, so I suppose. Fang is better. That makes some sense, but still. Two and. Mm -hmm. Well, alright. My question is. Could I aggro that guy from range? Well, actually, you just crawl out here. Come on, go ahead. Get over here. I think slashing is actually better against them then. Hmm. This is good. It's okay. Well, counter damage, of course, is very, very strong with thrust weapons. Hmm. Got only a little bit left. There's a drop down I gotta do. Other than that, to get an item. Uh, other than that, I could try getting inside here. See what there's to see. Right, but there was that other, other ladder, right? So I should try to find my way through. And this, that was there. Mm, should pull up the. Wait, wait. How did I? Huh? Where's the lever? How do I actually? Oh wait. So where did I? I'm getting all confused now. There's that ladder, there was the drop down, and... Hmm. Gotta work our way up inside here then. Ladder, a drop down, and she's just waiting there for death that we will not actually bestow. Let's see how this works. Fun climbing. And over here, there should be bit more to get. Another ladder related drop down. I think. Find that ladder. Oh, hello, and can I skill and that skill takes them out pretty handily though. Know? It's a very, very strong skill. Even if some of the other aspects of the weapon, the base damage might not be entirely up to par. Oh, Crimson Tear Scare and that. Increases recovery, increases damage taken. Hmm. So, anything else here, or it does not look like it? Go back down, then. Hmm. Go here, and anything, or it's just a way back down. Take that up, and... Right, use this. Go inside there, and... See where I can go. Wait, I... Getting confused, but there was that one drop down with some items that I still need to take, and then of course the big man serpent in the Temple of Egle. And this should be it. So no, it was not it. It was over on the other other side. Okay. Hmm. Let's try that again. In that case, I will probably take down the Iron Virgin again. Might have to. This is a funky place. Funky place to be. Mm -hmm. Should be good. Should be good. I think this might have been it. It's the temple from before. And then where was the ladder? It's right here. Right. Let's go down. Let's see what's here. And... That message was unpleasantly close to that ladder. But to get down this way, then, and drop down here, and that makes it presumably a good deal easier, but what else is in here? I uh, doesn't look like there's anything up there if we had dropped down, though. Stab, stab, and presumably using the 
What happens? Oh, well, I... Okay, all right. Thanks. And... And, of course, we... More Albinoric stuff. Amazing. And I... All right, and stab. Oh, well, the stab worked well. Hmm. Move in and stab. And, well, we need another stab. And dodge. Hmm. Come on. Stab. Stab. And what is in here? Open that up. Pull it up and get whatever this is. And this is the Missionary's Cookbook 6. Holy poof dried liver. That, that's okay. That's all right. I'm pretty sure that you can get incantations that have a stronger effect than that on the same kind of thing. What I wonder is if I dropped it down here, drop down those planks, would there be anything that gave me any benefit over what it would have been like if I dropped it down the ladder like I actually did? Let's check. This is... Hmm. Zoom, we actually need to get onto this, too. Yeah, this fall might have killed me otherwise. I'm for gesturing. Well, it, yeah, it does not seem like there was anything in particular here. So that's some time wasted. Fun. We found the bottom of this little prison tower. By the temple. Let's go back up, take down the big... Serpent Mage, and that should allow me to eventually I'll form that guy for the staff he drops, which should be my best magic option by far for pretty much the entire game. Probably into DLC too, because it's not until stats get past 50 that uh, the Prince of Death staff is actually better than Gelmir Blintstone in terms of faith and intelligence level together. Keep on moving. This is still very, very good. But I need more somber stones for that, so I don't have any somber stone eights, so I can't take that any higher, at least at the moment. If only I had not used that on Star Surge Greatsword, which I have not made any meaningful use of, and Regret leveling. This is hello there, big bloated sorcerer guy. And can I? All right. And oh, okay. And that was faster than I expected. And stab. And there we go. Cool. Very very effective. So the drop chance is about ten percent, if I recall correctly. This should loop back to the start of the area too. Hmm. Once I'm out of here, it'll be time to use another rune arc. Let's just put this through, see what there is, and this requires two keys. So what is this going to link up to? One, two, okay. Let's see what my reward is, and this is... Oh, there is a surprising amount of things here, it seems, but actually what I should do is... Open up what will presumably be the way to the main lobby of the manor. And then there will be a way gate to Rykard's arena, but we do not need to go there at the moment. Or at least we don't need to kill him. I'm not going to fight him either. Bird, but dog. And this is sending gate except boss ahead. Monstrosity ahead. But wait, so... There should be a way to get back quickly. I think. Where's that door? This it or hmm, I'm trying to find my pathway. That not it. That's not it. Tree ahead. What would? Volcano Manor is right over there. Maybe it's that gate I opened with the smithing stones. I mean the stone sword keys. Certainly possible, but I just do not feel like activating that way gate right now. The feeling it would be unwise. So we drop down here gradually. Jump on top of these cages and I see a something over there. I wonder how well presumably I can 
Yep, go down there. And what is this going to be? This is... Hmm. This is... Certainly something. And you are a... Man serpent! And we can... Okay. Hmm. Move in and... Oh, come on, you... Die, die. Hmm. So what is this going to lead to? Donna's finesse takes a bit longer than I might like, but whatever. Good weapon. Hmm. Okay, weapon. And yep, it's got a little bit of skill on that blood loss buildup with my arcane. Dagger talisman, that increases critical strength. Dagger and a surgeon enhances critical hits. My guard field surgeon can be a friend if it will like. Final deadly thrust, spare them from the falling agony. Of mortal wounds, sense of mercy is a catalyst for blood loss. Right, because they weren't really showing mercy in as much as slaughtering. It's back around there and then. So, where next? Over here? Presumably. Hmm. A lot of things down this area. Actually, then, and oh, hello. Sir Albanoric, and let's charge that, and then Stav will do it. That is... Oh, we got another rune arc. Mm -mm. So is there going to be another elevator here that would lead back to the temple, or... Mm -mm. Not the temple, but the place where that serpent sorcerer was. Time for rolling. Alright, well... I presume, maybe if I jump onto here, it'll be ever so slightly less of a drop down. And there we go, it didn't even hurt us. Let's try some of this out, and... Oh, come on. Okay. Please, please. I... Alright. Hate these guys so much. Hate these guys so much. Can I swing? And... There we go. Dead. One, two. Albanoric Blood Clot, or... Albanoric Blood Clot. Interesting location. Got more. One. But, yeah, we have to do a second hit. Well done. Oh, we got a seed bed curse. We can give that to the dung eater. Defiled by the dung eater. Kill the defiled. Tender box afflicted with omen horns. Cultivates a seed bed curse on corpses. Prevents dead souls returning to the urgery, leaving them forever cursed. One of the most loathsome things found in all the lands between. But I'm not doing the dung ending this time. Oh, and there you are. This is where you, where you are. Presumably I can actually just use this as... I don't think it can come through this doorway. Yeah. You just snipe it. This is lightning. Fun. And, yeah, it is kind of a sitting duck. Well, for one, it's not a duck. It's a moving Iron Maiden, but who's to say? Take you down, and, well, we need one more. Thank you. Cool. That one's gone, and... Get yeah, whatever this is, and this is a Somberstone 7. Alright. But it. I don't really need those right now. It. It's just I leveled the Star Surge Great Swords and I shouldn't have, and now I regret it. Because otherwise I could take Golden Order Seal to at least. If I hadn't spent those stones on it, I could have taken Golden Order Seal to plus 9, and then. Would have gotten really. Yeah, I would have had about. 20 more points of scaling, which is not crazy, but still good. Hmm. Keep on moving, and this might be the way back. Race ahead. Shortcut ahead. There we go. And. But what shortcut in particular? And oh, and there we have a Roll Knight's Resolve, and that's a very, very good one. Very, very good one. And this is a portrait of Rikard. Two handy. Oh my goodness. This is not that hot. And then we can go up, open this, and what was there an elevator somewhere? Or I wonder how it's meant to be a shortcut. The boss area, and there we have it. This is back to the main volcano Man of Grace. But it's just how then shortcut to where and what? I target lock. How do I get back up? Is there a good way to get back up? I... Does not seem to be the case. Hmm. 
I suppose the only thing to do then is to use the one grace. But is one of these an elevator? It does not look as if any of these are. Oh, but in theory, maybe there's an elevator that will come down here once I activate that way gate. So I gotta go back through then. Okay, whatever. Mm, which means maybe having to kill that abductor virgin again, which is not fun. Either way, we can get started on the funny dung quest now. Poop quest. Go through Eggway. Back up over there, and we should be more or less where we need to be. That's more than alright. But it... There are a few great runes I could activate. There are seven great runes in total. Six you can actually activate. I have three. Well, I have four, two that can be activated because I haven't gotten to East Ultus to activate Moog's rune yet. That would have to go after Wayndell. Can't do much there yet. Okay. And I, oh, I did not mean to do that, but that's more than okay. Trying to jump the gun a bit, but we can just go past Rai again. It's not really a problem. Try this out, and... Hello, just go ahead, wait there. I think maybe... Eventually, once you kill Rykar, which again, we'll be waiting some time for... She will go off on her own journey. And also, we can... On Patches and Shaded Castle and Tanith in the arena, munching on Rykard. So that sending gate should take me to the arena and then maybe to a shortcut. Around there, I'm not quite sure. So we take this, see what happens next. Sending gate, monstrosity ahead, so yep, Rykard. This is that balcony we saw, so. Let's just go outside the arena. Uh, this actually is... Oh, goodness. This is hard to get to, then. There's no real good way. Well, first I will see if there's a cutscene inside, and... Okay, there's no cutscene. Not immediately. So, the god... The serpent hunter is right there, so what we need to do... My goal right now is to duplicate the Serpent Hunter. I'll show you how to do that. We need to go back outside the arena. Actually, I want to see something. Check. Bloodhounds. Claw should be a good option. Conveniently, it's right here. But also we got Roll Knight's Resolve, Quality Affinity, Once Serve the Elden Lord, Flatter the Armament to your face, Punch of Resolve, Powering up your next attack, and that is useful for crits if you have the time to actually pull it off, so if we can try some of that maybe. Let me see that in this. Should put a claw on here, see how fast it makes us move, because we're going to have to speed. What hand step. This is... Hmm... Interesting Bloodhound step. This is farther and faster than a quick step. Okay. So now we've got these claws equipped and some fast movement, which we'll use to go a bit faster. We have to get an invasion started, and then as soon as it says we're actually invading, we rush through, pick it up, and it should duplicate. I okay, nice. We can... Go in, dash, 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 and pick this up and do this immediately and take this out. And there we are, we got the Serpent Hunter. And we could fight this guy. Could actually fight this guy. That invasion was a lot faster than I expected. Phantom Recusant Finger. Or an Altus. Blind Kisser Hosted Fingers. It's not that good there. Let's put on our Buddy Helix. Should be a good option. And we got this on, and oh, we got a rune bear. Phantom Recusant Finger, item for online play, most recently invaded world, force of temperate retreat, great sword and spear, hunt and moral great serpent, long blade of light, facing such a creature, heroic aspirations, is and written in mere greed, weapon with, with which from that height their wall, halt their wall, or great serpent to hunt. For lunch, upward thrust via additional infant, when finding great serpent, long blade of light will appear, revealing 
true power. Since he's sent back to their world. So presumably this is where I need to go. What a Helix is a good option to use on foes here. Let's see what happens. I could try taking this guy down. They're actually right outside of lane tell. Hmm. I've got the opportunity, I may as well actually hunt this guy down. Hmm. We'll see. Where are you? Where are you? I see a marker, but are they around a grace or what? I bet they're waiting for me to go home. Either way, if I've successfully duped this serpent hunter, I'm still not going to fight Rykard right now. Because that would break that questline progress. Can't use my horse. I think they really are just hoping I go away. Oh, alright, interesting. Fun. Put on our buffs. Golden Vow. Fun grant me, and what do I have in terms of physic? It's... that's decent. It's not bad at all. Let's go over and try taking this guy down. What weapon do you have? Hi there. Alright, and Rick is in. Okay. Thanks. And oh, is this a fight club? Okay. And can I Interesting. Good skill. And alright, we can continue with stabbing. Alright, cool. Interesting. I alright, and can I mm -hmm. Stab it. Nice and one two and oh my goodness, this thing is amazing. Love it. And dodge it. Okay, interesting. I all right, and not, oh, okay, all right, and wow, that was impressive. I'll take it. Hmm. Either way, I got what I wanted, so don't feel bad about that one. But, is the other wreck is in there? Oh, and he had two great katana. That's silly. Either way, it should be more than possible to, and yep, you can see another serpent hunter there. Let's go and pick up our second. This weapon that normally you can only ever get one of, no matter how many playthroughs you go through. Pick up our second Serpent Hunter, and... There we go. So we could quickly just show what it looks like when you power sense two of them, and this is... I think it's my only Great Spirit in the moment. No, I actually got these others. I may be stupid. One Serpent Hunter, two Serpent Hunters, and... Could actually... Let me actually do this fight with our abnormal double Serpent Hunter build, I think. I will. And yep, I can power stance them. And just like that, we get two big blades of light. This is pretty crazy. Cool. And it should absolutely make Rykard cry. You see, we get all that, but let's check out that skill. It takes a while, and... I, oh, and you can destroy parts of the arena, too. That is very nice. Upward thrust the additional input. That and... Go for the upward and... But I am not fighting that guy right now. The good thing is I've got two of these funny spears whenever I actually want to do it. And oh, since we haven't aggroed him, we can teleport out. But either way, that's the only thing I'm going to do in Volcano Manor right now. Get two spears and... I'm actually kind of surprised that they never patched this, because it's a very obvious exploit, because basically, if the invasion, if you're in the process of invading, they sort of save, save various things in the world, including items like these, and when you come back, you can just, well, things behind a boss gate, I think, so you can use that to duplicate this, because normally items aren't behind a boss gate, but, of course, since you can't get to any other way, I guess they would have presumed that people would want to get to... I like how this is slightly asymmetrical. We can see how the blade goes farther down one side, and it's got a sort of branch brace on the other, but when we actually fight Rykard after we take down Morgoth and Lanezel, use some of these, but we... Oh, that's right, I... I'm an idiot. Our runes are over here in Altis because we died to that host. Let's go over real quick and get our runes back, upgrade the Serpent Hunters somewhat. And then, Volcano Matter took a bit longer than I expected. Wayndell might take a whole day in and of itself. As it is very big for a legacy dungeon, 
It's horizontally too, even though you can't actually access every part of this. And of course, this moat does make it look a bit bigger than it actually is, but... There's a significant underground portion, and the enemies, of course, are just very difficult as well, so... Let's go climb the runes we dropped. I tried using that body helix, the funny spiral, heavy thrusting sword. Very, very strong, too, to take down. Some we were invading... Oh, yep, yeah, now you can see... Serpent Hunters are stained blood rather heavily. They are... Interesting weapons, but as you can see, now that we're outside of the arena, we don't have those Blades of Light. But the only thing they're really good for is, of course, taking down Rykard. Oh, we got a heavy load to do, which I do not want at the moment. But this Bloody Helix should be my best weapon against armored enemies. For the rest of the playthrough, more or less, there's some things that we'll will presumably get somewhat power craft in that. Once I get access to the giant crusher and the ability to meaningfully wield it, it should be a better option, but for now this should be good. Let's pop another rune arc for a bit more damage and see how this weapon fares against these guys over here. How are you doing? Thank you, and well, all right. It, not, not quite, but if I, that, Heavy stab should do the trick, and oh my goodness. Come on. And you are in a good position too, but if we get a gilded foot soldier cap, gilded iron flinch cap, foot soldiers protecting the royal capital of Elaindel. So I, okay, cool, and just like that, and move in for a stab, and we even kill the horse. That is kind of crazy. I bet that might have been because of the blood wasp buildup, but 70 blood wasp buildup because of the arcane scaling. It doesn't scale all that much, but it adds up pretty quickly. So we can activate the side of grace then. That was where that guy we invaded killed us, so... In the end, in the end... I don't blame him. We were an invader in his world. Oh, Altus Highway Junction. Oh, and Bach is here. Talk to Melina. Hi, Melina. That. Super Bach, crying from time to time. This is his mother. Tell him he's beautiful and born of a mother. It's such a manner, but no one his mother would be Merica, presumably. Hello. It's at your service. Adjustments to your garments. Favor to ask. Something called the Lord. It's thrown at the Elden Lord. Well, you will be the one. Kind hearted Lord, I'd wish for. I'm not that nice. Sure. Thank you, thank you. And we have to do that to burst his quest line, I believe. Come, Elden Lord. Remain at your side. Ah, and we got a emote there, too. So my question is, if I use the prattling pate with the voice of his mother, would he recognize it now, or does he have to move to Relicaria first? Let me see. Should be in tools. Let's try that prattling pate. But it should be, you're beautiful. This. That's funny. Your service, and not heard a voice. You'd be safe, and was that what you did? Mom speaking, thank you very much. The only one who said I was beautiful. Let me hear her voice, dream just once. That means you probably would have been from Hermit Village on Galmir with all the demi-humans. My mom did, beautiful despite these looks. That's right. He is pretty cute. Cute little monkey man. Forever in your service, throne of Elden Ward be yours. All right. Already safe on your journeys. Your service, so I wonder where his final location is. He might just stay here. And it seems he does just stay here. So let's go over and pick up our runes. Oh, and okay, there was a lane dealt knight here, but this is not where we're going to be exploring it first. If I use a charge, well, that took more than I might like, but still, we'll be okay. Thank you, and another stab. Good stuff, an old thing, and got our runes, which means may as well go and upgrade our Serpent Hunters now for when we actually do the fight. And I honestly don't think I'll use Somber Stones for anything else this playthrough. Because the Giant Crusher and the Gelmir Glintstone Staff and even Prince of Death Staff, which are the only casting tools and weapons that I think I might upgrade from here on out, use normal smithing stones. So we can try upgrading those serpent hunters. 
should be more than fine, and this should make the fight against Rykard kind of a joke. Alright, and hmm, lots of these, and lots of these, so many of these. But the fives, the fives, hmm, interesting. The Temple of Egle, I think, there isn't really a shortcut to the place where that Serpent Mage was that dropped the Gelmir Staff, which is going to be my last option as far as I can tell, but another one of those, so I guess we could take that up too, but yeah, once I get more, another five, it should be good, but eight is my problem right now, and this, this is going to be, this will make Rykard weep. Two Serpent Hunter plus seven, so they give it, give it to a plus zero in the arena, and it's still going to be pretty good. The question is whether the Blade of Light actually scales with weapon upgrade level, which I'm not even sure it does, is the thing. This? Is that over there? Oh, probably the Knight's Cavalryman. I could actually, before I forget, take down that Knight's Cavalryman now. I think I will do that. Wait until night, and it should be. You can see him moving over there, so... Go over, put on our buffs. Take this guy down, and piercing should be a decent option. We got bullied too, so... Finding this guy off horseback is... Maybe not such a good idea, but now you see me. Alright. Got that buff on, so... Can I? Thank you, and... Oh, well, you move around more than I might like, so... And, I, and stab, stab, and thank you. Once we kill your horse, the rest will fall shortly. And stab, and, okay, dodge. And, can I, okay, oh my goodness. Stab, stab, okay, I, there we go. Horse is dead, which means we can take you out. And can I, there we go, and very, very dead. Nice. Take that foul foot. And enemy foam. Are a little overwhelmed, but that's life. Got that Ash of War shared order. It's decent. Sacred Finny, Falling Seal, Golden Order, Fun Limitless Knights, those in your bio is Holy Essence, effective against those who live in death. Use that for an extra boost, but I'm wondering if that'll go even when I'm not too handing the weapon. So let's take these guys down another time. Oh, you got- oh, you're using- I'm not sure whether that's a real Knight's Resolve or the other option, and you still didn't do all that much damage to me, even with your buff. Kind of sad, actually. Let's just go back and go for a couple stabs, and there we go. Broke your shield down, very good poise damage. And in that case, we can take that off, and mining stuff in Altis. We'll start over here, by the abandoned coffin. Magmar Makar, that would be an elevator I have to go through, but there are a couple of rooms around this way I'd like to evaluate. Put me up over here, and I suppose I could go to... A shaded castle, first thing, actually. The mill village is over here, and it will have another god skin to take down, but Elmer the Briar is here too, and I would think that Bloody Helix should make him cry as well. Get the coffin, we can switch out to put on our Bloodhound's Fang again. And it. I'm at a decently high level. The fact that I have this much in every stat is. Kind of crazy, but my question is, what the best place to farm Gelmir Glintstone staff be? That will be my best option at this point, I'm pretty sure. Gelmir Glintstone staff and Temple of Egle. Multiple runs and teleports back, but in that case, what I should do is maximize my arcane stat to increase my drop rate acquisition, but Call correctly, the Silver Scarab is going to be in another area, so take Merica's and then put on what would increase Arcane the most? 39, I'm 38, but the Albanoric one is 39, okay. So now we have our funny frog head, 39 of that, and hopefully this should make it drop. We have one foul foot, so let's actually not use that. And here we are, this is what we need to do to get the best Quintstone staff that we'll probably have in the game, but of course it's a normal smithing stone, so I don't need to worry about somber stones, but the question is how much I could upgrade it then, and I 
Actually, I could take it all the way to 18. And then maybe to 20. Eventually, once I can use Giant Crusher, I'll have enough bell bearings that I can buy smithing stones I need. So I'm not exactly in a position where I'm worried about missing out on... Well, you know, go ahead, do your thing. Not worried about using smithing stones too early, especially since there aren't many other things I'd like to use them for anyway. One thing to think about is smithing stone aids to use on the Inferno Crusher, but even then, that's not a crazy worry. Just run past these guys and sure we'll take you out and go in and stab and mm, the range is not impeccable. At least their sword doesn't block all that much, so snake men are actually very fun to fight. I actually, well, we can just run past them. The only one we're actually trying to kill is the mage over there, and if we... The best way to actually... We would probably be using the way gate, actually. Just to teleport out. And... There we go. I, alright, and... Oh my goodness, you... You gotta be kidding me. Heal and... Can I... Can I... Think and... Can I... Oh my... What? What? You're kidding. Okay, so I do need to actually kill all these guys then. That is kind of crazy. Alright, and dodge, stab, 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 and there we go, and can I kill? There we are. It's not all that bad to kill, but I just have to actually do it. And you got Swift Winston Shard and Bravo Winston Comet Shard, and easy enough, and come on, drop your staff. You're kidding. You are actually kidding. So my item discovery right now is at 139, so not all that high, but it... This is not the most engrossing thing, I will say, but the really annoying thing is that, well, actually, if I was fast enough, I could probably kill the mage without killing the other serpent men, but even so, it... Using the foul foot would increase it by 50, so about double normal chance, but even, even still, it should probably drop in about 10 or so runs on average, but it's... The fact that it is my best option, and it's a random drop... So it scales off of intelligence and faith, and it's the only, the only multi-scaling catalyst that's actually decent at a sort of, if you're scaling intelligence and faith evenly, well, all stats evenly, it's easily going to be your best option most of the time, in terms of staves, because meteorite staff falls off pretty quickly, especially since it can't be upgraded at all, and then... The Prince of Death staff is only better once your intelligence and faith are both at 50 or so, but... This one is just actually good. And can I dodge and kill and... Alright, and how did you... Oh, the head walk things, presumably, and... Anything dropped? It does not seem like anything dropped, which means we use the way gate to escape. Cool. Alright. And you can't hit me while I'm doing that, which is good for me, so... Go for a couple more tries, and... Oh, interesting! There was a brief moment in which it actually could hit me? The big question is... Oh, and... Wait, there's Grace here? How did I not notice... Huh? I could swear that was not here when I first teleported, but there we go, audience pathway. Just teleport there whenever we like then. Go back to Egole. But yeah, it is. It's the Serpent's Amnion is there. What's well, interesting is if it's a Serpent's Amnion, that means it would have to be, and it mentions a womb, an amniotic sac, but... Egle is probably a pun on Egle, is in a serpent, a snake, it lays eggs, but... I really just... It should be about a 13% drop chance now, which means... After about... Yeah, about... After about five or so runs, it should probably drop. But it's... What can I say? I can't pretend to not be a gambler. Oh, okay, they did something a bit similar with that weapon to the Magma Word Scale Sword. It's interesting how Magma is its own sort of spell. Not spell set, but set of options. Because there are a couple of Magma spells, but it's going to be some time until I run into something again that I'd actually like to use Fire on. And that would be the Tree Spirit in Wayne Delt, which I'd probably want to use a bit more of. And, oh my goodness, you... I swear, I swear, and can I... Go over and stab, stab, and kill, kill. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Dead, dead. And will you drop it? Will you drop it? And nothing dropped again. You have to be kidding me. I just... We're going to go two more times. If it doesn't drop, I am going to 
come back later when I've got more arcane. But it really is just a silly question. Whenever I want, I could go kill Rykard, but now is not the time. It is interesting that both the recusants of, recusants of Volcano Matter and the bloody fingers of Moog and Mogwin Palace both involve sort of pseudo covenants to compensate for the lack of actual multiplayer covenants in this game. Both give you an infinite use invasion item where otherwise you have to find bloody fingers from somewhere, buy them, and they're finite. I don't even think they're farmable. They might be, but maybe sanguine nobles might drop bloody fingers. I really don't know. And there are no limited use of recusant fingers. There's just the one you get from the table. The snaky finger, which... It'd be interesting if... There was a festering recusant finger. I don't know. Decayed. Skin shedding, because it's scaly and snaky. That could be limited use, too. But it, but both of them are ways to teleport you to their boss's area earlier. Especially for Moog, because Mogwin Palace is normally a very, very late game area they can get to very early. You're straight from Lyrony if you know what you're doing, but I cannot... Oh, well, we messed it up entirely because the terrain blocked us. I'm glad you like the hat. It is a bit of a silly object, but what I'm doing is farming. Farming the... And I... Oh my goodness, I, I almost died there. That sucked. Could have sucked, but I... This guy drops my best Glintstone staff, and that should be it. That should be it. Let's just take these guys out real quick, and we can stab, kill, kill, and one more, one more, die, die. I will try not to die while farming. I am happy that you believe in me. Volcanic stone, and this is... It just dropped a volcanic stone. You've got to be kidding me. I'm gonna go one more time, because it's about a 10% about a chance to drop its staff. But it is really just driving me mad. I swear. Let's try this out, and... Teleport back. We have a lot of things to increase our arcane right now. There is a talisman I could equip that I think I'll get from the sewers that could just increase my item drop chance, period. But I don't have it at the moment, and I'm not really in a position to get it immediately. Well, I could actually rush straight into Landil if I felt like it. I do not feel like it, though. Hmm. Draconic Tree Sentinel outside of Landil is weakest to all physical damage types, I believe, which would include strikes, so it'll probably be... Inferno Krajir fodder. We'll see what happens. But like I said, there was a Draconic Tree Sentinel when I went through deeper depths with that one teleport that took me to Landale early. There was a Golden Gate that I could not actually go through. And that was the gate that normally the Draconic Tree Sentinel guards in order to block entrance into the mid-game dungeon. Let's keep on moving and... See whether we'll get anything from you this time, I hope, and can I move back in and kill, kill, and stab again, and oh my goodness, you stupid big fat head. And die, 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 and it seems that this time we also got nothing, so let's kill these guys. Oh, hi, Nad. How are you doing? I am trying my best to farm a magic scepter off of snakes, and it is simply not working. So I have given up entirely. Oh, nice! Do you like it? I like it a lot. There were people joking about it being kind of a five-star skin on a four-star character because it changes the way her box swarm looks, which is normally the kind of thing that would only happen on a five-star skin on a five-star character. So it's still only Duke was a five-star skin. That is right. It? It's very cute. I liked her. Did you do her quest in... Constellation Metropole. That was a fun one, too. You may or may not be familiar, but it was very similar to... Well, there you go. I hopefully got some decent loot from it. I would hope. So there should be the omens over here, but this was the elevator from the precipice, so let's... Don't you start... If you keep, if you continue on this discussion train, I will, I will silence you for a time. This discussion is over. The wiki is invade. You can't argue with the actual text in the game itself. That's simply, simply against the rules. Should be an omen over here. Let's take you out and we can just take you down and there we go. And that killed 
Do we get encounter frames or either way? I think second hit just deals more damage. But either way, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to be the teacher. I'm gonna have to stop the argument. Yeah, exactly. The Italian is the only one who gets to be muted. You do not want to join that. You do, you don't want that dubious honor. I promise you, it's not an honor at all. Now we can go in and stop you and go for another slash and it the fact that it's a two hit kill just the skill is crazy it you are allowed to think and say whatever you want i am not going to be the one to stop you especially since it would be completely and utterly impossible i uh, okay so what is on top of that carriage that's my question mm -hmm. yeah exactly you don't want someone to take it from you so Let's take this, and this is... Well, we got more omens. There are a lot of omens around here. Fulgur Bloom, we have some of those already, but we don't craft lightning bots. It, you are completely unstoppable. I don't know how I feel about that. And slash, and go for another, and... Helps that this thing is plus 10 upgrade, but it's very, very strong. Gonna jump down. Either way, there are other ruins around here. Some random flowers. That's Sage's Cave, which we should actually come back to later. There's a special torch that we need to buy from a merchant that would make it a lot more usable, so... I'm gonna drop down, and there we go, cool, and slash, and... Right, we did extra damage, because it actually hadn't seen us yet. Anything else over here, or... An actual enemy? Well, if you were an actual enemy, I would just... Choose a weapon that was dealt a suitable damage type based on your weaknesses, spam its weapon skill against you, and loot your runes. That's, that is what I would do. That's the approach I take with things like these. So we see another scarab. Is it going to drop a stone or an ash of war? Over this way. And one. Well, just died. Oh, sacred order. And that's... Sacred order, fundamentalist knights, holy essence, those living death, all melee armaments. That is a decent one. And I think it works even on weapons in the other hand. Well, if... If you are an enemy... If you want to be an enemy, you can be. But accept that as your own decision and accept the consequences thereof. Well, it... So you're gonna get mad at me for telling the truth? This is what's wrong with society these days. Okay, but as I was saying... I... There were some issues behind the scenes. There was a delay behind model delivery. But within the next couple of weeks, there should be a new, a new incarnation of me. I might have to redo my overlay a little bit, but pretty soon things will look different and hopefully a bit better. Or if not better, at least, quote unquote, more professional, which is, of course, subjective about whether that's better or not, but yeah. So you have that to look forward to. I am personally excited. Are these frenzy? Okay, that's poison. So are these different or... Oh my goodness, these guys are still very, very tough. Yeah, get excited. Oh my goodness, you were so excited you turned Korean for a second there. Though be fair, I'm not sure that's just excitement. Come on, let's keep on slashing. And we got you, but... So there are ruins over there. Wow, you making death rats? That's serious. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cry about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If I if you didn't fear my ability to sue you and bring hell upon your head, I'm sure you wouldn't have said that. But Or at least I don't know, nuke the entirety of Italy to catch you in the blast. But as I was saying, it it won't be ready by the 29th, so don't worry. It will, at the very earliest, be after next weekend. You'll, we'll see what happens. And I, oh my goodness, and of course the holy is coming. You've got to be kidding, you've got to be kidding. Well, I'm glad you're happy about things being delayed. That, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are you familiar with the concept of solipsism? 
Hmm, it's taking a while for this poison cloud to go away. All right, it's okay, it's okay. I will, I will interpret it as your excitement to see things. Which is probably how you want it to be interpreted anyway. I'll be nice to just this once, don't get used to it. Let's go for it, and... Solipsism? S-O-L-I-P-S-I-S-M. It's the... Generally erroneous belief that one is the only person in the world. And... Let's go for another. Heavy, and there we go, cool. Yeah, exactly, don't get used to it. Use that bolus, get rid of that poison, much better than having to carry cure poison me all the time, and... A sage's cave should be over here. Questions we'll have to keep. Well, if, if you're a solipsist, you believe that you personally are the only person in the world, and that everyone else is a figment of your imagination, or an illusion, or something akin to that. Well, it... Are you? Are you a dog? That's the question. Didn't, didn't you say something about being a small yappy dog? I know I said something similar about myself. Yes. That's the idea. So are you a solipsist? Really? Really? Why? W what about you is specifically cat-like as opposed to dog-like? What makes the difference there? We get that golden ruin and... What? What do you mean, not that thing? Are you... Are you saying that that dog is insufficiently cute for you? I feel like people might be. Might not be happy about that. Okay, and just slam. Go for another. Slam, slam, and dodge out of the way. And thank you. What What about you specifically cat-like? Oh, okay. I'm not saying anything at all. I may be insinuating things, but I'm certainly not saying them directly. You're free to draw any conclusions you like from what I just said there. Positive, negative, both or neither. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now other people are asking you. Do you, do you identify as this chat's resident solipsist? Is everyone else just a... Maybe the real stressing me out was the friends we made along the way. Quite literally. Well, that's good. That is good. Because if, if I ended up being a figment of your imagination, that would raise a lot of weird questions, and I'm not sure how I would handle that. That's basically, that's basically the plot of Link's Awakening. There we go. There we go. So we got our title drop. Are we going to get the credits soon, too? Sage's Cave should be over here, but right, we need to come back here later once we've got a torch. Otherwise, things are going to be annoying. There's some illusory walls that the torch will reveal, as well as invisible enemies that the torch will reveal as well. So, for now, we go in, activate it, and come back. So, in other words, you're saying that I am a part of your imagination, and you're confirming the allegations we've been making all along. Well, I'm glad you finally come around. It only took you this time. It only took you this much time. Well, I... As a figment of your imagination, I'd like to say... You should be nicer to yourself. Maybe. Probably. I think it would be good for your health. Speak... For... Yourself. Speak for yourself. Wait, so... So I'm part of- I'm a figment of multiple people's imagination? Does that make me some sort of bizarre egregore? I was dreamed into an existence by... a few people on Twitch. It- I've heard weirder. I've heard and believed weirder. Gold Firefly? Well, just one? You've got to be kidding. So, let's take out this Miranda Flower once this poison cloud is gone. Come on. It, it really is! I don't know what's going on myself. Come on, keep on slashing, and... Do you now? Do you? That might not be good for you. I would. If you turn this into a drinking game, it would probably kill you. And for various reasons, I wouldn't like that. 
Some of them even somewhat, somewhat altruistic. Some of them. Poison boluses are what I need. Or the anti-poison boluses. Am I... Are people saying things in the server? Is that gift getting sent in the server again? I'm, I'm gonna have to make a rule. I might have to make a rule. You know, it's... It's always a bad day when new rules have to be made on the server. It... It's kind of like how many safety rules are all written in blood. Why are there blood roses around here? It's just... Sir, Discord server rules are written in cringe. Okay. No gif was sent yet. I advise you. My trigger finger is twitching. I will not hesitate. I might not punish you. Well, if I punish you, I'd do it in a funny way. By giving you a roll with a silly name and giving you a funny color. That's what I would do. Oh, come on. You're the one who said you didn't want to see the gif. All I'm doing is balancing competing interests. Okay. Go over, take this down. It's... Oh, that that's right, I can take this off now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I... What? Every single thing I do, I swear. Not a single thing I do can be right to you. It certainly feels that way sometimes. I'm gonna have to... I might have to start getting your approval to start eating, going to the bathroom, going to sleep. What, what, what are you to me to have that kind of authority? Okay, well, thank you. Likewise. Keep on going, and... Who else? Anyone around here? This is... Just a funny animal. Don't need to kill that. Do I, oh, right, I do actually have poison on me right now. Let's take that, and... I wonder if I could use... It will let me use them, it just does nothing. Okay. It is interesting how the status cure items of Sekiro also boosted your resistance tempor temporarily to that status effect. So there was a use case for actually using them even if you hadn't already gotten the status procced on you. And in the case of Terror, it was the only use, because Terror was an instant kill, but... Well, actually, it also did get rid of Terror buildup, but... A lot of the use was decreasing. The build up and lots of these are all Mikolas lilies, but it, the only thing it'd really be good for would be Oh goodness. Making bewitching branches, which for one, there's a cookbook I need, and even if I use the cookbook, it's not as if they're that good, and you died quickly, okay. We're into power, Mikkel's lily, and just this grove of perfumers. Hmm. So then, was that all of them, or what? Either way, we are taking poison damage. Let's go over and use this. And, hmm, how do, how do I want to make this work? Let's think about this. Okay. Right there, Mikkel's Lily and Golden Sunfire. Oh wait, true Golden Sunfire, not tarnished. This can be Earth Tree, color along with the powerful Holy Essence. All right. So over there, presumably, should be more catacombs. Interesting. So we got some ruins over here and some catacombs nearby, and... Gun Gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. There's actually a surprising amount over here, and... So Sage's Cave, some ruins, and then... Whatever these catacombs are as well. All around this abandoned coffin. Before I go through there, I think... I'd like to go up further, at least to here, until I find another side of grace. So that I don't have to deal with all those omen again, which wouldn't really be an issue in terms of maybe dying, but might be one in terms of time spent. So, go down here and, oh, we have to actually can't open it. We need to use two two stone sword keys to get inside. And that, again, I cannot imagine that would be particularly worth it, but I guess we'll take it. See how this works. And lost with use. Let's open this up and see. This would be a... Mm, the way into the unsightly catacombs. They don't look that ugly to me. 
At least not yet. Go back out to avoid resetting the area, at least right now. Anything else around here, or... Well, dressing fancy and sipping wine? I don't know. Fall over. Loudly fart. I don't know. You tell me. Like I said, I cannot... I cannot guess these things. It's outside my purview. But all I, all I can presume is that you did something embarrassing enough that you're ashamed and want me to share in your shame. Oh, okay, well... What, 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 how do people react? What do they think about that? Virtue Capital Perfumer, so you Elaine Del Sorong. Which respected blessed apothecary in the eyes of the many. After entering the battlefields, they performed no such role, trading their aromatics for poisons and explosives. Well, I'm glad to hear that people enjoyed your... Enjoyed your band-aids. I... Alright. There you go. So what are these ruins? Are these the... Perfumer Ruins or something? Don't see a name yet. Yeah, Perfumer's Ruins. So I wonder whether there's going to be a boss down there or what. In that case, it might be good to check out weaknesses, but... All these Altus Blooms, which are actually incredibly good for... Crafting perfume items, though to be fair... It's not like I'll really use any of them. Maybe I... Well, the big thing is that Grail's Roar is available to me. And I think it might be a good option there. As a way to shred... Oh, and there you are. Right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I did not expect that to happen. And can we... Oh, that was a one-tap with that single weave. He's got the robes, long gold, and boots. I think that might have been a guaranteed drop on that first time. Oh, they buffed their friends. Worn by the Omen Killers, leather gloves, apron, remembers of roller progenitor, the Omen Killers, perfumer of antiquity, butchers of twisted conscience. Okay, well... And they've still got their buff active, even if I did kill that guy. Got a perfume sort of diffuser or something? What is this? This is... Oh, we got another perfume bottle. Okay. All right. I can fill in the blank there, I think. And yeah, we can take one of those. And what is going to be in here? Maybe the perfumer's talisman and perfumer's cookbook one. The other one, we got an Ansel, which I don't think we got a bottle there, but right, we have three bottles. Spark Aromatic and Uplifting. Martial Techniques Beyond an Ordinary Physician. Terra Perfumer. So Uplifting is... Let me just check. Perfume Arts, Spark. Scatter Sparks for Damage. Oh, Attack Power reduces damage once, and that is a body buff, so not all that good. Arteria Leaf, whatever. Acid Spray is a decent. Enjoy you as your entertainment. That... Are, are you okay with that? Are you okay with that? I worry about you sometimes. Two and just take that and cool. Die, die, and out of the way, and let's try not to get poisoned. Oh, okay, okay. Well, again, as long as you're okay with it and it isn't too mean spirited, I. The things that you allow yourself to be subjected to worry me. Okay, well. If, if they like cat picks, I suppose. Oh, and we got another perfume bottle. So is it going to be three all in here? It... Okay, just a nascent butterfly. So I suppose it might have been only two. We got that. And again, not that we... Kind of wish they dropped more than these. I think there was a broken rune introduced in the DLC. That... Sort of a slightly better version of that. So presumably it would maybe replace those in skulls or something. I'm not sure. But I saw a drop down. Well, a riddle. This in here, and is that a... This does not seem to be a boss of any sort, so... Just go through here. There might be some enemies on the other side, but... Shouldn't be too much trouble, and... Oh, okay, it's just a... Chest of some sort, so what is this? Perfumer's Talisman, or... Yep, we got the Perfumer's Talisman, which boosts... Perfume Arts, which includes Perfume Weapons, which are DLC exclusive. Garden's only known to the perfumers hidden on the fringes of the highlands, which I think is maybe that Mickle is Lily Garden. Screwed by shadows inside caves, Swimmers blossom in secret, waiting to impart their scent. Alright. We can continue on our merry way. Look around, there are a few more items in here, it seems, so let's pick those up before weaving for more of Altus. 
And cat videos. Budding cave moss. So what you're saying is that he was ungrateful. Did you did you drop the sword of Damocles on his neck or something? Did a big anvil drop from the sky and crush him in a cartoonish fashion? Well, clearly it was because he was stupid. Which means you should have set up a booby trap to just flatten him into a pancake and serve him with maple syrup. Maybe, something like that. How long ago was that? Either way, it... I'm happy to hear of incidents of you asserting yourself. It... It has to happen sometime, every now and then. We should be able to go up and go over to Altus. It just... Some people... Some people have all the nerve. It's just... Absolutely. Absolutely institution. It... I feel like they should give you a paddle. Nobody else, just you. And to give you alone the right to inflict corporal punishment on people. As it feels like the most aggravating people seem to surround you at all times and places. And that you are, at least right now, utterly powerless to do anything. I, I think somebody should bestow upon you that power. It might have to be me. And so he just was completely ungrateful. Classic. I, uh, it... The fact that you have any faith in anybody, any faith in humanity at all, is honestly rather inspiring. Considering that everything that seems to happen to you every other day seems tailor-made to destroy it. Oh my goodness. Just body odor or... What, what, what kind of stink? It's... There, there are many, many kinds of stink. Okay, well... Fair enough. It, it is your decision to make, and I... I respect that. You're nicer than me. To stand up for yourself? Well, like I've said before, standing up for yourself is not... It's a favor to other people, too. Because eventually, other people will not let them walk over to them. And if they don't know how to behave, they might end up getting killed, literally. If if they pulled what they pull on you, on someone big and strong, there's a good chance that they don't live to see another morning. Or actually, you know, if you really wanted to, you could not correct their behavior to increase the chance of them literally getting killed in a bar fight. That is one way to do things. You, It's... If... If I let people walk all over me, I only ever do it as a weapon against them. Well, it... You... Okay, well... Like I said, I just worry about you. I hope you're not putting yourself in too much trouble. W what's fun? Letting them experience the consequences of their own actions? I would agree. <laughs> it... Again, the actual nice thing to do is to actually call them on their behavior. And so they don't do... Bad things to people who are going to... Punish them more severely for what they do. Because, like I said, there is a good chance that if they piss off the wrong person, they literally end up dead. So if they go around not knowing how to behave and get themselves in a situation and don't know the right and wrong people to, you know, tee off, there is a good chance that they end up seriously injured or literally dead. So it... It's... Not pleasant by any means. No part of it is pleasant, but... I would say that Generally. Maybe not correcting people's behavior might be nice. But probably not kind, if you're making a distinction between not being nice and being kind. And I wouldn't say it's moral in the grand scheme of things, but... In other words, do as I say, not as I do. Maybe. 
I will. Giving good advice is easy, acting on it is hard. And, oh, okay, well. Is it gonna be a pretty privileged thing or something? So actually, the ruins are- Oh, there is Millicent. She's right over here. So the Lux ruins are over that way. Yeah, we can go back into the unsightly catacombs now. So she's looking- Not looking at the shaded castle, but- Meet again. Smooth sailing. I've been yet one armed. A bit like millennia. So we gave her that needle. Oh, Millicent. Ah, okay. She can't exactly fight, so we need to give her that prosthesis. Melania took After the Scarlet Rod and battled Radon in the Cave of the Wilds. Conqueror of the Stars. Now they're one of the demigods in the north, probably the hardest. The consecrated snowfield. Hmm. Now she's passed into the lands that lie beyond the earth. But for now, we should actually mark her location so we can get a prosthesis from the shaded castle over there and give it to her. What is the gossip? I'm a little worried. Go ahead, go ahead though, tell me. Old Aldous Tunnels over there. I think there's a stone digger troll, but and slightly catacombs are going to be my first pick there. But oh, right, we need to mark the Sage's Cave for later, so I'll actually come back. Yeah, the PDA guy. Did he end up breaking up with his girlfriend for the new girl, or... Oh, alright. As opposed to her breaking up with him because she heard about his bad behavior. Okay, who is the boss of the Unsightly Catacombs? The catacombs. This would be a perfumer, perfumer Trisha and Misbegotten Warrior, and they are all very weak to slash. Okay, so this will be my best option, and it. Well, that you can't always discern everything from that. It. Hmm. I just want to see. Actually, honest to goodness. I don't need a single magic projectile, do I? I really don't. Let me think. I... Magma Breath and... I don't really use those buffs anymore, so actually what I might like to do is use... Grail's Roar. Actually, well, Black Flame is there, and that... It's a projectile, but... Okay, well... Alright. <laughs> So, Grail's Roar would be a decent option. We actually have that now. And we can use this to decrease attack and defense of my enemies. That, well, I guess we could keep that, but Black Flame is a good option, though. That's the thing. Hmm. But there, and it's just as cool as the Great Bow is, I literally don't need it. There's nothing that's actually specifically weak to magic, and so I suppose this... Starlight is the only sorcerer I meaningfully need in any sense. And it... What, what do you mean by hand movements? I don't know what you're referring to. This should probably be fodder for the Krasier. Take that down in medium load. And I see. Are these imps or... Oh, we got misbegotten. Okay. Some misbegotten heavy catacombs. So they're weak too. Piercing, so we'll take the body helix back on and put on our Radon's gauntlets. My question is if I wore Bull Goat instead, that would be It's actually worse against magic and fire. Only a little a little bit still, and here we have it. We have Okay, this just looks silly. That just looks silly. There's no trick to that at all. Put on the bull goat gauntlets then and put some of this and Queen Rod and Fire Prelate, Bull Goat Greaves, and this. This is okay. This is decent. It's a decent balance. Decent defense. There we go. Cool. So, in other words, she was 
bragging about stealing someone's boyfriend? That is pretty trashy. And we can just stab you. Oh, all right. I, okay. Oh, my goodness. You were a bit stronger than I expected. That was a scaly misbegotten, which is a boss at one dungeon. Let's keep on looking. And, okay, we got another one of you, and, okay, interesting, and dodge, stab, stab, and, oh my goodness, okay, cool, stab, and, there we go. But it was really hard to break the stance of, is the thing. Mm -hmm. It's cool that those enemies are back, though. Not here. Wondering if there's going to be a hidden wall. I mean, an illusory wall somewhere in here. There might have been something about that, I'm not sure. Let's check the illusory wall list. Illusory wall. And then the... There are none in the unsightly catacombs, it seems. There actually aren't that many. Hmm. At least compared to the number of dungeons in total. Fewer than you might expect. And Oh, well, alright. Go ahead, fall down. That lever likely shortcut. Hmm. I feel like you going through here. Flower ahead, but enemy. First off, a left. Dog ahead. Dog ahead. Oh, we, oh, yeah, it's just a dog. Okay. Thank you. And dodge. And oh, well, we still got hit. Okay. And dodge. Dodge. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. And one, two, and dodge. Oh my goodness, you are crazy. I heal and okay. I, all right. And can I stab? And there we go. This is surprisingly tough. Huh. It, the main thing is just the fact that this weapon is not actually doing a poison damage print follow-up. If I had used the Krajir, it probably actually would have worked better, but the scales, I think, might protect them a bit. Secret I had. That, what secret? Can't really tell, but, oh, down there we have some other things. Where is that going to loop to? A pathetic sort of head. We have another... Funny little misbegotten. So die. And we need another hit for that. Okay. Honestly, it with the speed I've got, using strong attacks would not even be all that bad of an idea. Oh, and there we go. Oh, shortcut from the lever. Get that kills. Brave well board. And got in a bit of stun, but I don't think it didn't seem to actually do any damage to me, is the thing, but so we get over there, we'll use. Oh, hello, and oh wait, an omen? Why is there an omen there? Whatever. Come on. That does not surprise me. That's cool, though. I remember hearing about the Final Fantasy house, which was this house of Final Fantasy role players that had a bunch of weird emotional abuse, apparently. It was something. There was a news story about it some years ago based on some information that had been mostly scrubbed from the internet when I went for a look, but you might have heard about that. I don't know. And can I stab down there and... Oh, interesting. What if I... That is a one-hit kill if they're still on the ground. No, I mean... The house was a bunch of people, Final Fantasy role players abusing each other. Not people who were abused to becoming role players. Winged Misbegotten Spirit, Winged Misbegotten, Aspect of Wings, takes flight to lose arrows from its bow, Misbegotten, punishment making contact with the Crucible from birth, they are treated as slaves or worse. Yeah. Grave Glove Ward, and so we can go back up to the lever. What other items are going to be here? But this was a shortcut to the lever. Shortcut, likely lever. Yeah, a heavy door is opened. This is a rune arc. Another free rune arc. This is proud to pay apologies. Mm. Voices and words on an eternal journey. So the mother one, one with special information is the mother one, it seems. I guess that makes sense. And oh, that's heavy. Okay. And that's back at medium. Dawn's gauntlets. We're gauntlets. But bull goat is just... doesn't look very good. Oh. So you didn't realize you were being abused? That's pretty hilarious. In a bad way, in a bad way. Blessings Boon. Golden Vow. 
Flame grant me, and we'll need the Grails now. Take that, and cool. Use this for a Shred debuff. Go over in, and can I? Just like this, and cool. Take that, and roar. And that one-shot Trisha? Oh, you're kidding. That's actually- no, it didn't one-shot Trisha. That's the, that's the worst part. Well, okay, die, and can I- die, die, kill, and- Okay, well, now you're dead. Now you're dead. Okay, cool. Thank you, and now we should be able to do some damage with the buffs we've got. And can I go back in? And, well, never mind. Okay, and take, and go for another, and there we go. And that's simple enough. Lots and lots of debuffs. Cool. Enemy fell, perfumer Trisha, and can we... Well, okay. Well, we used that the wrong time. So we got her ashes from that, which is interesting. Okay. Femur Trisha, once a healer, dedicated her efforts to treating this begotten omen, all those sin is impure. Her efforts failed, was their companions, they died, watching over them, to ensure that they could pass peacefully through the pain, until looking to the origins of the deathbed companions. Interesting. Okay, well, leave this place. Didn't get that much, and we wasted a foul foot, but... So in that case, I think next choice is going to be... Going back to the... Well, we'll see. We beat that, which is good. Going to Mistwood real quick. Well, also... Kaelid. Farm. Some foul feet. To make more golden foul feet for money. Well, in the end, it's not like there are many runes there, but... Big thing is, now that Jaren is gone... This shouldn't even be a teleport anymore, I think. Actually, maybe it stays active because we killed the Crucible Knights. Hmm. Okay, yeah, because it actually is in the previous state now. With the enemy. Hmm. Just hitting his own pillar. Own turret. Classic. Wait, how did... How did they convince you that Reshiram was supposed to revolve then? That's my real question. How do they how do they do that? Rest the grace and go back, put on things to increase my arcane and farm the Okay, well, alright. Not like we'll be running around all that much. Max out my arcane and go and take out a bunch of animals. Oh, okay. Yeah, I keep forgetting you. Literally did not have access to the internet because you were in rural Italy, and rural Italy is apparently basically a third world country. That is not pleasant. And Alabaster Wood Sword, and the pull should be closer than a believer in every Pokemon being able to evolve. Over here, Silver Pickle Thalfoot, and use this, and it should be. Got more range, too. And there we go, nice. Big range. Go over. Got a foul foot. Nice. Can go over and take a few more out. Until this buff goes away. And should be good. And just right over here. Nice and far away. Avoid getting close and getting them to fly off. Very, very nice. Can make a good amount. What about it? I know you've talked about corruption. It's never fun. Got that guy from right the Lake of Rots. This is very, very good to have here. Wide pinion and another foul foot. A decent amount. Evolving because you like them is in... Any Pokemon being able to evolve, you like them enough. It's an interesting idea. I remember back in... Back when rumors ran wild on the early internet, there were rumors about Poke Gods, including a Godstone that could evolve anything. But there was a site I used to browse when I was much younger called the Pokemon Factory. The main reason I don't browse them anymore is because they're basically completely defunct. So they use the scooter to steal a public bench. It's kind of ridiculous. It's just. What could they have meaningfully hoped to gain? It's not like you can really sell it. It. Sometimes there are people who steal street signs, but it's still a bit different from that. Okay. And yep, very, very good range. Come on, come on. And we got another foot. It, it's a, it's a place. 
Keep on going. There's another foot. Oh, so people actually would buy a public bench if it was on sale. That's interesting. Would not have honestly expected that. It. Well, to be fair, what I would say is that in America, the benches probably would not be worth buying or worth selling. Destroyed is in stolen or destroyed is in just wrecked? People trying to take them or people just breaking them for thrills? It's different. Because in America, people will steal funny signs to display. Usually it's college kids who want to display funny looking signs in dorm rooms. But besides that, it just regular just public destruction of property for its own destruction of public property for its own sake is different from that. It Yeah. Hooliganism is something. But it's just more feathers at this point than I will ever need. But thank you. Okay. Take that out. Another foul foot and should run out somewhat soon. And it was it was honestly kinda crazy how easy it was to do Serpent Hunters. And what did it do to the roundabout? Maybe he was just a JoJo fan. Take that, use one of those, and just... Let's actually make two. Just in case, pop one, so we have one. Wow. That? Yeah. Oh, okay, so there was a lamp in the middle, and... Hmm. All the plants in the... Wow. That is not pleasant. It just... You know, blame it on, blame it on deindustrialization. That's what, that's the explanation for lots of American rural problems. Oh, okay, so we, did he manage to stop or light himself or what? How did, how did he avoid actually hitting it? Yeah, this is just gravitas, but better, and it dropped two feathers and one foul foot. So... But how did he avoid it then? Well, it... Well, then he did avoid it by accident. I mean, just because he doesn't know what happened doesn't mean it wasn't what happened. Presumably he stopped or avoided it, one of those two. You know, it's just a... This is just that whole, if a tree falls in the forest with no one around to hear it, does it still make a sound? It... Yeah, but still, it means that something did. He did avoid it somehow by stopping or going around it, it's just he doesn't remember himself, but... Well, the question is just, how they how do they know that he was the one who messed up the roundabout then? So are people saying that it was Padre Pio who managed to... protect the lamppost? Padre Pio taking the brunt of everything? One of the... A lot of the statements about the lives of the saints are always really really interesting and there's some really really weird miracle accounts out there there are a number of ones who there are there are statements of them actually physically fighting demons actually fist fighting with demons which is you know very very sort of normal in an account but the, and then, of course, you have stuff like Stigmata, where they... And usually it's psychosomatic to an extent. So they tend to be very picky about what counts as real or fake Stigmata. And... It sounds like you... Winning is different. But, as I was saying... Uh, oh my goodness. That concept is way too played out. There are too many demons out there. There are just way too many. But as I was saying, as I was saying... But one of the ones I heard about reading... Looking at Wikipedia stuff... They said about Padre Pio that he managed by location. That he was able to be in two places at once. Okay, well... You would have to attack me yourself. I'm not exactly in a mood to fight, though. Or much of anyone, really. Are you trying to provoke me? It sounds like you're trying to provoke me. Hmm. But actually, 
Perhaps this vial would probably be my best option here to silence myself and avoid detection. Probably. Medium load and then still medium load, okay. There should be a better Urtree's favor around somewhere, but question isn't. What had spang is not heavier actually, that's good. So what was different this time? Well whatever. Get these. Well and now it sees me, annoying. So when you're in a good mood, it seems, you decide to provoke me. What would happen if you were in a bad mood then? I'm worried. Would you actually, I don't know, send more death threats? Okay, well. In that case, I hope that every day in the future is horrible for you. Just absolutely wretched. You wake up crying in a cold sweat and just utterly, utterly freak. Oh no, that's the Sham Shooter, not that. Okay. Take the medium load and. Hmm. Get more fireflies so we can craft more and. It's enough nighttime that probably it should keep them away from me, maybe? Or not. I. Mm, not the vial, but it sees me. Well, okay. I hope. I hope that you have some sort of bizarre mutation so that you end up growing two more eyes so that you can cry twice as much as usual. And not only that, you would have to drink more water to keep up tear production and end up constantly dehydrated. That's what I wish upon you. I hope you're happy. Okay, so we got more foul feet. Go back up into the Altus Tunnel. Second Church of America. Old Altus Tunnel. Well, it would probably shock other people. And then you would you would feel incredibly guilty and cry more. And then I would point and laugh at you. Okay. Hmm. Oh right now I almost I almost just fell down. I need to remember to give one of those seedbed curses to Dung Eater. Okay. Oh, and it puts it... No, but it isn't tucked in that location. Alright, well, then you would need more glasses. And then what would you do? Maybe then you would cry. Soon digger troll, and it's... It's actually weakest to magic and holy, so... You know, maybe I... I guess I gotta actually use magic now. Also weak to holy, but... You know, I... Where's Corrin? I think Corrin's around here. And then I can just put on a holy spell or something, but... What do I have in my... Yeah, I could take off Black Flame. Anything where I'd want to use Black Flame. I'd be better off engaging melee anyway, so... Take one. Gotta find him and buy out... <sighs> Discus... Discus of Light. First we can... Go back over here, and now we've got a curse, and talk to Poop Man. Okay. Dung ahead. Alright. It... You know, maybe I won't mention it, but here we go, the Poop Man cometh. Hello. Wait. You felt the curse, we got one. The pox is tender. I've been waiting. Respite, I must say. Yeah, the Dung Eater right here. Super mm -hmm. the capital, so we need to go in the capital eventually. Sewer jail key. You defile your corpse, truly be your own. Foil flesh, sewer jail. That is a weird way for him to try hitting on me. Okay. Alright. So we got that sewer jail key. We'll do that later. Door beneath the lane tail. Fill the key for the dung eater. Doesn't look all that filthy. Sewer jail door beneath the lane tail. Royal capital. So where is Corin now? So I should be able to buy... You know, I could just check. Corin. Corin's second location. Need to buy some more incantations. Northern road from Altus Highway Junction. 
Sight of Grace in Alta Spoto. Mm -hmm. Gold Mask in Elaine Dot at the Coliseum. Stargazer's Ruins in on tops of the Giants, but so they're north of here, which means I can buy. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I'll end up particularly receptive, so he can just sit and wait, sadly for him. From the other junction, he should be around here. So see it over there, and then I can finally buy an actual usable bully incantation. Hopefully. He should be not here, but not there. I... Where is he? I guess I could just actually check on the map. So I am specifically looking for him. Need to get more incantations. So where is he? Brother Corin. Check that map and look over there and he is in. So the road after and leaves the round table between that little whip and the trees. So should be over here. Maybe only during daytime, but I... Oh, he's right there. Okay, hi. And right by the map. Okay, cool. Hi. You and me. Everyone cord on it. Oh, that's his belt. Give me more incantations. I need a new holy spell. Noble gold mask who should be in the area. Hmm. Understand my solitude. What it is, I truly know. I'm yet to find the noble gold mask. I suppose the path ahead is to part how little it is. Same thing you said before, so let's buy these and lightning fortification. We can only get that now, which would be somewhat good against dragons, ancient dragon knights, monks, fire, sorcerers, magic, ancient dragon knights, lightning, sentence of gold, holy, and then great heal. But oh, right, we have to. No, it's only once we find gold mask that we. Can actually get Discus of Light, Incantation of the Faithful, by Activation High Hopes, continue to fight for their duty. But it's only once we find Gold Mask that may the gold and shine through you. Okay. So then, I guess we can find the Gold Mask. Corin. Another Corin, and then Gold Mask and Ultis, and Four Spinning Great Bridge. That's actually not that. Interesting. Around there. We'll move up there eventually, so we can reach that point. Okay, cool. Yeah, up around there. We can proceed east from this bridge and then get a holy incantation that I can spam on that troll. It is interesting how tough they make it. To actually get a holy spell that isn't outright terrible or incredibly situational. Because the only one we've gotten so far have been Elden Stars, which is a 50 faith requirement, so well, actually it would be funny. I If I wanted to, I could actually just barely use that on the troll. But yeah, it'd be funny to try. I'd need multiple charms to actually multiple talismans actually and get the faith required to use it and just barely then after that event I still have to use a flask to get enough but it would be funny to try it especially since it especially since it kind of sucks because it's pretty much entirely a an incantation for support basically use it from the back to harry enemies from a distance with just sort of chip damage and also prevent Oh, well, right, that's over there. Interesting. Harass them with chip damage and then also deal some poise damage, stance damage with the final explosion, but use this to get up. Thank you, and there we are. Well, I there we go. Here's a gold mask. Thank you very much. Talk says nothing. Just pointing at the earth tree. The ever brilliant gold mask. Okay, cool. And this is. Dragon Wound Grease. My question is, is there a site of grace nearby that I can just pick up and activate the rest of it so we can go over to Corin and get another holy incantation that we can hopefully somewhat use? I 
don't even know. But that... There is a sorcerer over there for some reason. The various parts of the windmill, village, and pasture, and... Maybe that is... Oh, right, but I need to actually tell the location anyway, so... There are limits to what I can do regardless, but... This is... West Windmill Pasture, and... No grace at this shack. It's actually crazy. Well, okay. Should be able to... When will the rats give up on me? Come on, you. Just kill. Kill that rat, and... Are we free? We are not free yet. This is... A tragic rat moment. Oh, come on. Let me leave. Do you have to go and kill the rat? I have to go and kill the rat. Okay. Whatever. Come on, rat. Die. One, and... And I was on the wrong side of the rat to actually hit it. Classic. And can I... Yeah, I should get off the horse. Annoying. Come on, I... Alright, and... Slice. Slice and kill the rat, and... Okay, cool. Ah. Hmm. Tell him about the noble gold mask. Corn up there, and... Okay. Go over by an incant, and then go through the tunnel, actually. There really isn't all that much else. This is a white is decent, and if you can get it to hit both coming and going, it deals good damage, but I the only one I've seen is bits and pieces of Beetlejuice. Support with me, other than the gold back himself, close by. The order of benevolent reigns. Sincerous thanks. Shine through you. We to join in. Sincerous gratitude. Shine through you. Hmm. Just gotta go over there, go back to him, we can buy that incantation. Eventually they'll move to Landell once we open it up, but it was fun enough, you know. Harry Belafonte music is good. He's a talented singer. But and then of course, not tops of the giants, which is not a particularly big area. If I'm moving. Hmm. Hmm. They're not sad movies. They really aren't. I think... Your fear of things being scary... ...is a lot more drastic than the actual things themselves. Tim Burton movies are not... ...scary. They're not supposed to be scary. They're just... A little macabre. It... Most of them, honestly, are pretty romantic, I would say. To an, well, as in Nightmare Before Princess. Christmas is largely about the relationship between Jack and Sally. And it... Well, why would you have a problem with that, then? You live and breathe angst. Talked him now and warned a bit. Yet again, acquainted with him myself. His bite size, you can see, tissue was before. Why would we not disturb his cogitation? About him, deep in contemplation, there was wisdom movement of his finger. Like the movement that taught us primeval sorceries from Azur and Wasat. Mm. Documentarian. So now we can finally get Discus of Light. Finally, the white fire forwards, close to the castle were disappearing, can be cast repeatedly. Give from the young Mikola to his father Radagon. Hmm. Shine through, and that one is going to be pretty nice. There, so we have to go back to Altus. It. If you're going to come on here and say things, I'm going to say things right back to you. Hmm. Actually, try Elven Stars. Sure. It's an Urge Tree Incantation. 
we would need a specific set of talismans to actually even use it, so I guess we can try that. Need faith not. And then both of the seals. Scar seal as well as Two Fingers Heirloom, and that is... Hmm. Take that off. Now we can try Elven Stars. Not that, there was the much, not that there was that much of a reason to, but still. Now we can use it! Cool. There we go, and... Yeah, this is... It's actually pretty garbage. So let's not do that, actually. Well, I... Hmm... It's an interesting idea. I actually want to try it on the troll, but I'm gonna have to switch things back eventually. Before that, I'll just put on the hammer again. Mm -hmm. That ends. This is still heavy. Oh wow. We're done, and yeah, once this is out, a lot of things become kind of difficult, but. Discus should be better in most situations, but the question is just what if anything is left that I'd prefer to use holy on that wouldn't be better to suited to using sacred blade on? You know, things that are weak to holy without being weak to holy without being undead. Is undead I'd want to use Sacred Blade on, or any, some kind of other special anti-undead effect, but... Mm -hmm. We got some Crystal Chunks, attacking dead end. wonder if there might be any more illusory walls in here or not. Probably not. Pull this up and go through the cave. Try Elden Stars on the troll. Right, but we have a tiny bit of extra HP, so... In the Urtru's favor. Let's continue through the tunnel. Shouldn't be all that long. I can hear interesting things. Okay. Who then, where, and what? And I have a. Oh, just miners. Okay, cool. Thanks. Just go forward and crush you. And I... Oh, that was a dog, not a miner. Maybe, maybe I am stupid after all. This is Smithing Stone 5. Hmm. -mm. Thing I can access here does not seem like it. Keep on going. And crack crystal. Mm -mm. See some of this and going up though. This is interestingly laid out. That would clearly be a jump I could make to get back, but still. Huh. Hold out this tunnel. There should be a special club in here, so I'll try left. And, oh, hi, dogs. Die. Dogs. Bolt Drake plus one, that's decent. And a pair of yellow dragons. I need damage negation. Oh, hello there, hi. And slam. That's so good. Piercing would be actually about as much damage, but probably a good deal faster. This would come from Thrusting Sword. Somberstone six, and is that what I need? Is Somberstone five. Use on Serpent Hunters, but I should get some from Lando, I think, so I'm not too worried. And yep, crushes pretty easily. Actually, if they're made of stone, what I wonder is the strike be better than Pierce? Well, depending on whether it's stone scales or stone armor. I mean, stone scales or just stone body armor or pure body composition. Let's actually go and try the helix out real quick, just to see how well it fares. Alright, and can I- Yep, it- They're basically just made of stone, so... Yep, it's strike. Strike all the way. Cool, there we go. Thank you. Go down eventually, but before that we should work our way through here. Just to avoid missing anything that I can otherwise get. Thank you, and... Another smithing stone, but that message almost hid that smithing stone. It's the opposite of helpful. Mm -mm. Go down here somewhere. 
Thank you, and ooh, target lock material. Stone five, not bad, okay. So I can't get that from a bell bearing until I actually go to mountaintops, so it's actually nice to have. But the main thing is, suppose it's for Gelmir, Glintstone staff, but I'd really want that. At least at the moment. It's of crystals, but not much to do with them. But, oh, we got a Landale Knight here, so the heel looks back on real quick. I still have both of them on, but I'll live. Okay, cool, and just thanks, and dodge, and there we go, cool. Quick swipes, very good damage, and we got more Wayndale Knights in here, so now, fine by me, and I bet I could get good damage with a backstab, and not instant death, but pretty darn close, actually, and can we stab? Nice, it, this thing is good, really good. So we're staying through unending conflict, and we can put on our hammer again. I Most of the things I have right now, I should put away in my storage. There are very few weapons I actually meaningfully use in any sense, so being able to switch around between them faster would be nice. There we go, and anything on the other side, or let me see, troll's hammer. I don't really use hammers. Neither do you. Somberstone 6, oh. Here is a Somberstone 5. Trolls roar a bit of fire from faith. It's to crack bedrock, descend from giants, suppose it once uses ceremonial spending tools in the distant past. Spending must consider divine, this is what he uses. Trolls roar, shockwave, and slam it down. And troll, actually, the boss trolls use that too, I think. Somberstone 4, where is the Somberstone 5? They, they're pretty nice. I don't feel like making it a competition. Liar head. Oh, that goes back up that way, so that's a way to get back up top. Hmm. Anything else in here? Or. Got some of those crystals, and. Where is the boss? This is left and right, no dog ahead. Left and right, I. Oh, okay. Dogs and a miner. Okay. Thanks. Take you out. Really? Okay. Oh, come on, you. Go ahead. Blow up your own. I guess you're not going to blow up your own stuff. Well, you know, I commend your intelligence. I don't. I don't know if they have feelings, but just in case. We finally got a Somberstone 5, which means... Yep, we can level those Serpent Hunters just for the sake of a hilariously easy Rykard fight. It, you don't want to take any chances with stuff like this. If I make them angry at me and they just betray me in my hour of need. Fire be worth destruction. Okay. <laughs> Let that stuff back on. Put on Mirica and two fingers and then we try Elden Stars. Okay. Could maybe try putting on Bull Goat here. Exactly. It's exactly, exactly what I'm talking about. Bull goat again. Can I actually put on... No, that's still heavy. Okay, cool. So, we could actually just buff up real quick. Blessing's boon. Well, it's... It's kind of a Tsukumogami kind of thing. Honestly. And over there, and use grails. Where is the stone digger troll? You're right there. Alright, cool. Thank you, and just like this, cool. Roar, and now we try Elden Stars. Cool. I Oh, wait, you have fire incantations? Oh my goodness, I did not see that coming. And how did you, really, you knock me down with that? Whatever. Now we Elden Stars, and can we? I, this is actually, yeah, this is horrible. Legitimately, actually, it's not all that bad, but I, it's not amazing. Okay. Interesting. And another, and... Come on, I, all right. Oh, and oh, right, multiple stance breaks. It's kind of crazy, actually. And, okay, I, actually not that bad. Great club. Took a long time to use, though. That was kind of nice. Great club, club of hard wood, hammering foes with a striking weapon, requires no dexterity, only brute force. Seems sacrilegious, a withered branch of the earth tree, and boot holy power will never snap. 
Golden land, Golden darts, Blessed Energy, Swing and a Sweeping Strike. Hmm. Alright. So we can leave this place now. Thank you, Old Altus Tunnel. But the stance damage was actually very, very good. Oh. Hmm. But these things should be put away. Did a good amount of damage, though. Hmm. Much to think about. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break and come back. And that was fun. I, In the end, Elden Stars is so situational. It was fun to use on that troll, though. Did not expect the troll to do flame fall upon them, though. So this will be... Lightning Spirit and then Discus of Light. That should be decent. And then, of course, the one sorcerer we actually use. Starlight. Thanks. For that, I think I'll level up that Serpent Hunter a bit more. Thank you. Lay your arms, strengthen, and... The other Serpent Hunter. Take it to... And there we have it. It pretty good. Both of these are going to be pretty strong weapons to use against Rykard. Okay. And next, since we've been through the tunnel, I suppose could actually could sweep down through here and then go up to the Shaded Castle. See what happens. But yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom. BRB bathroom break.
Okay. I'm back. I'm alive. Let's keep on going. Go over to Old Altus. Probably up into the Shaded Castle where be able to take on Elmer. Thank you. When I need to go to the bathroom, it means I'm dying. Right? Go up top, change the haze out. And then, could as always put on our. What do you want to put on next? I think Bloodhound Boy is always a good in between option. I don't know. Maybe so. No, what I mean, you said back to life. Implying that if I need to go to the bathroom, that means I'm dying. And that's akin to death. This is interesting. Should we weak to slash damage or so? Oh well. And we could miss. One, two, and can I? Well, okay. Alright. And slam. Couple of charge heavies, and then take you out. Kill. Bye, troll. Thank you. Couple more over here. Question is, what's in between here and Millicent's location? I'm gonna clear that out real quick. Another commoner. Death City. What is Death City? What is... What is that? I'm confused. And I'll okay, jump over the arm. Oh, well, alright. We can let's go for hits even if we can't get the critical. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, right, because there, there are three things you can reference. Fairy Tale, Soul Eater, and Slug Terra. And also sometimes you'll yell at me if I call I'm sorry for not being Italian. I can't exactly change that. One, two, well it I'm much more of a game player than a watch things person. Oh, welcome back. How are you doing? I, I know Soul Eater is an Italian. How stupid do you think I am? But what I mean is that various things are more popular in other places than others. It's like how you told me how in Italy you didn't have Power Rangers. You had the actual Super Sentai translated. Now we got more revenants over here. Over here and... What, what do you mean, questions that I don't want answers about? I didn't even ask- I didn't even ask- Okay, well, whatever. It's not that I didn't want answers, it was just- I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna keel over and die here. They are cute. I like Kamoji. I used to use- I used to use the shrug one a lot. I don't do it that much anymore. What else is in here? Oh, okay, that question? No, I do want that answer. We're gonna fight about it. We are going to fight about it. Verbally. Not with this. I'm going to disappoint you again. So how stupid do you think I am? I want to know. I want to hear. I think this, this can only lead to good things, I'm sure. Let's take this on and... Mm -hmm. Put that out. Still heavy. Oh, come on. I really need more Urtree's favor. Back to medium load, and there we go. Should be crabs around here. Not with fists, because I don't want to give you what you want. I'm not gonna reward your bad behavior. Thank you, and kill that mosquito for another, I mean, dragonfly for another dragonfly head, but should be another crab in here, at least one. And there we are, cool. And swing it up, and just crush. Utterly slammed. Nice. For you. You have literally said in the past that the prospect of getting to beat me up excites you to no end. 
I I am not going to reward your bad behavior. I have I care too much about you to reward your bad behavior. Like I said before, if I didn't care, I would simply allow you to flounder and flop and get into a situation where you'd make the wrong person angry and get turned into a pancake. But I I care about you. I'm not going to reward your bad behavior. Okay. So more crab eggs, and I think that's all the crabs in here. Well, be sad. Turtle's dead, too. Turtle neck me, it... It could be good for stamina stuff. Well, tough love is love. In fact, it's the strongest type of love. That's why they call it tough love. So, I'm not, I'm not gonna let you. I'm not going to let you become a worse version of yourself. I want you to become the best version of yourself possible. Which is why I cannot afford to let you... Yeah, for, as in, is is one the stupidest option and 100 the smartest option, or does it go to zero? Okay. Wait, so who here is... Wait, so actually there's a grace right here. Maybe I am maximally stupid. So Millicent's right there. So apparently you're... Oh my goodness, now, now my chat members are judging each other. I'm not... This seems dangerous. This might lead to bad things. Yeah, this... This is probably going to be... My sort of final spell setup. Yeah, Catch Flame into Magma Breath is a really good combo on anything weak to fire. Get a quick level and then... Standard buffs, but eventually I should probably switch out Flame Grant Me Strength with one of various defensive buffs. Now we can... Guess the best thing to do would be to put into Strength, but... What's weird is that that didn't actually increase the damage of... Let's cancel that, because it probably won't say anything because... It's in one hand right now, so... Wait, what? Right now it's at 666. A very unlucky number. I raise my strength. What will I put it at? 666, and now it's at 669. So we have reached the point where... We've hit diminishing returns for strength. Because it's over the soft cap of 40 when you two-hand it. Right now I've got two of these seeds, so only eight more, and I'll be able to have the maximum number of flasks. But I actually should not have rested there at the Urge Regazing Hill. I should have gone to... should have gone north, but I can go north right now over to Shaded Castle. Past those trolls, so... Well... Have to pull the lever down first, which is kind of a shame. Sun that down and sun that more diagonally. But either way, Bloodhound's Fang should be a good option right now. Switch back to what we have, and not that, but Bull Goat and Heavy, still medium, and this is decent armor set. Decent armor combination. Okay, enjoy your food. It shouldn't be that hard, given that you are Italian. You will presumably be eating Italian food. It. I will say, when I went to Italy, the food was far and beyond the best part. There was really no, really no dispute about that. It was really, really tasty. So it, definitely some of the best food I've had in my life. I, really good salmon steak I had, some lobster pasta. Also, so this would be the way to the castle. In addition to that, I also had some authentic carbonara from a restaurant just in Rome. It was a really nice place, and it was really fun singing there, too. We got to sing in some nice old venues, which was really pretty. I got to see the Colosseum, but that was over a year ago now, and I'm not worm-infested anymore, so it is what it is. Just trying to think, then, what are my other... Options here. I don't want to go now, too. This is... Could go up top there, but I don't need to go up top there right now. So this is... That's over by... Right, the castle. Let's drop down here. And right, there was another little... Talisman that I failed to get before. Somewhere over in... Well, let me just check. It's in, it should be with the other horn charms. I'm not sure whether I got it. It should be. I did not get the 
Robust Form Charm. Which means I like how I look different too. I look slightly different. There was a Robust Form Charm in the old palace ruins in Lyurnia that I just completely missed. That, oh, a nascent butterfly, just one of them. Well, whatever. Again, it just... I'm not even sure what I'd be using them for. We have a couple more. Funky little vulgar, vulgar militia men. Well, vulgar militia, vulgar militia gauntlets and another quick kill on tiny guy over here. How do I want to do this then? Jump back over to the other side and will this work? It will not work. And Well, I actually didn't take damage. That was a pleasant surprise for me. I wonder what's on the other side away from where I picked up those nascent butterflies. It, it's an interesting question. Let's try this again and... Hmm. Go over away from that, but that will be... Top over here is by the Church of America, which we'll go to later. That's where I'll be able to fight the invading Eleonora. Complete Yura's quest line, at least somewhat. Depending on whether you count the Shabriri encounter is... Part of his quest line are separate because he will get possessed by someone over in the mountaintops and well just a random bird we will bird ahead it is an interesting pattern on its back but go down and this is our way into the shaded castle see how that works out in the end it's a sort of a larger dungeon but not quite a full size and the boss there is going to be Elmer of the Briar, who is the bell-bearing hunter. It's interesting, because bell-bearing hunter, it's just bell-bearing hunter, not the bell-bearing hunter. When you fight the bell-bearing hunter invading boss swords in areas around merchants, but Elmer is the bell-bearing hunter. There's only one, so it's interesting that they didn't name him the bell-bearing hunter in... The titles of the bosses, because that, that would clear things up if it was just all of the Bell Bearing Hunter. Uh, maybe they wanted to have some level of ambiguity. Big thing is that in Japanese, there isn't really a good way to denote singularity with particles. It's just saying Bell Bearing Hunter and the Bell Bearing Hunter would be basically the same thing. But, anything else? And. No side of grace around here? That is actually a bit surprising. Grace ahead, therefore, look carefully. I'm wondering then. Grace ahead. Dung, therefore, I want to go home. Where could I find my side of grace here then? There are a number of. lots of slugs here, as one does. Oh, and yep, lots and lots of poison. So actually, while I'm here, I should probably put on Immunizing Horn Charm plus two. That would be a good idea. Take out some slugs, find a side of grace, probably put on Cure Poison. Because Flame Cleanse Me would be arguably a little better, quote-unquote, but... It's not like I'll be running in a Scarlet Rot, and it does cost a bit more in the way of focus points. Let's continue moving around, and... Hmm. It's a big poison swamp. It's gotta be a grace that leads into... Well, you can just jump on to get into the castle and... Oh, there's a grace right there. Interesting. Well, also, that's right, I can just... Avoid the poison entirely by staying on horseback. Big question is whether I'll be... I can actually hit the annoying slice from here, and that's exactly why. You don't really need many poison cures, and I didn't even think about it. It's because... Yeah, if you stay on horseback, the horse can't be poisoned, and the poison won't get on you, and you just chill. Alright. Go around, clearing out the slugs for no real reason, but here we are, Shade of Castle, get off our horse, and get through here, activate the grace, and we will be able to take it on in a bit. Main thing is, the Valkyrie's prosthesis is... Wait, what sees me right now? I don't even know. Down here, oh, we got a rotten corpse. Big one, too. Well, all right, that is your personal business. My personal business isn't, these rocks look a bit like magma, actually. So it's interesting that it's around Gilmir. 
Maybe some environmental storytelling, Shaded Castle Ramparts, and the Shaded Castle. But Elmer is in there. This was originally the residence of the Marais brothers, who had the Marais family, some of whom worshipped or had some connection to Moenia and Scarlet Rot. Which is why the Valkyrie's prosthesis is here. Now we need to use strong attack to take them out in one hit. All right, and kill. Stay away from death point. But also, there, like I said, there was a talisman. Another horn charm that I missed because it was hard to spot in the old palace ruins where all the ancestral forward beastmen are over in Lyurnia. Which is a bit... Let me actually check the location. See how it is geographic compared to Ansel. And it's... Actually, yeah, the old palace ruins is over the old palace ruins. Interesting how they describe how that name it. Sleeve Compound, Ruin Labyrinth, and... Yeah, the old palace ruins are underneath this, but that's under the Church of Vows, which is interesting. Though I doubt that's actually anything particularly relevant to the lore or world building one way or the other, but... Oh, and horseback is actually... Well, that's because we weren't seen. And we're still getting some death by build up, but it's not that bad. That those basilisks are a long standing souls enemy. In previous souls games, they... And yep, you can actually get inside there. And what is... What is... Oh, that's a raven mount assassin, I'm pretty sure. And I can't get around there now. Fun. What if I... Is this gonna work? My question is, and oh my goodness, one, two, eventually, one of them somewhere, their outfit should drop, drop and it increases the power of jump attacks, which in theory could make it an interesting thing to use with the, let's actually just jump up on the, now oh, we messed that up, can I, nope, I'm gonna try to get on these boxes to get over, so I, oh, okay, jump and, oh, come on, you. So there's not a good way for me to get out right now, and maybe if I advance to jump on the- Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding. Can I get on top of the barrel? I You've got to be kidding me. And I can't jump out through there, even though I jumped on top. I- Really? Really? I just- I thought I had a good thing going. I thought I had a good thing going. Oh, but I can curve that jump like a good old platformer, and- that's why Elden Ring feels so good to play, not just because there is a dedicated jump button, because it has silly platformer cartoon jump physics, which helps a lot making the platforming less frustrating, too. So we keep on moving around. I wonder if there is going to be any kind of dungeon in the area around the castle. The castle itself is, well, it's sort of navigated. It's not all that big. You know, logically, you go around it, it takes less than going through it. But you go over a bigger area, so... And it... The horse seems to be good at helping actually avoid the... Death by Cloud in general, but I haven't actually gotten Death Blooded once this playthrough. I've gotten close a few times, but it's a status ailment that instantly kills you when you fill up. It's a bit like Curse in... Earlier Souls games. Well, in 1 and in one in 3, and Petrify in Dark Souls 2, which... Took the place of Curse, because Curse in Dark Souls 2 is a... Hurry of a lover and wait does no friend. So does someone actually get over here or does Millicent go over here? Maybe, I don't know. Well we didn't get invaded at the moment, so Shaded Castle Castellan. Maybe Moe Moe, I don't know. One of the Marais guys. Be close here, and oh, we oh, interesting. So it just drops off. So to get around it the other way, we need to circumnavigate again. Hopefully, that would mean encountering that guy who presumably would be weakest to Pierce if he's wearing any meaningful amount of armor. Pierce is pretty much always good no matter what. Very rarely things do things really resistant, especially humanoid enemies. It's just things that are literally made of stone, and obviously so. Um. Things that are actually weak to pierce tend to be very meaningfully weak to pierce. 
So all of them are... You got good options here. And three in a single blow, nice. What is this? This is a, another tiny golden rune and more poison swamp slugs. And It's interesting because slug enemies, at least, are their most proximate origin. Well, there were slugs in Demon Souls, but there were slugs in Dark Souls 3. Most proximate origin would probably be the Dark Souls 3 slugs, who were all in poison swamps, but before you encounter any poison slugs in Elden Ring, you're probably more likely to encounter the fire slugs in Volcano Man or in a few in Lyurnia. And also, there are even a few in Limb Grip, so yeah, you're definitely more likely to encounter the fire slugs than the poison slugs, which makes it interesting. And I swear, if he invades me in the swamp, I'm going to go crazy. Is that bleed? It might be bleed. I oh, it's Scarlet Rot. Okay. Got more Scarlet Rot in here. This is a rare appearance of rot outside this place. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's avoid actually getting rotted. And the preserving bullets is anti scarlet rot. Okay, cool. Take you out and continue slashing at this flower. And when will we get our bleed build up? And mm, we have to settle out of the holy. DLC adds an incantation that allows you to do that. It takes really long and it's very, very weak too, because it. To be fair, the DLC also added a number of enemies and bosses who Holy is actually good against. But even still, it... The main final boss of the DLC is still resistant to Holy because, you know, almost everything of note is connected to the Ur Tree and the demigods that are in and therefore resist Rock pretty... Oh my goodness, and of course you managed to knock me off my horse too, I swear. This is just utter humiliation time and time again. It, but it's a good thing we got bolus, especially because having a, having to roll the spell. The only time having the actual bolus was really all that worth it was when we were actually in the Lake of Rot proper and we we're getting rotted pretty much every other second. Maybe for a lot of that was as I went around instead of going on the bridge, which would have made things significantly more manageable. Although it's, if I ever make a return trip, that would be a another playthrough and a long time away of him. And we. One more, and there we go, and it did not even bleed before we killed it. Okay, so... Malay, or Melee, or however you pronounce his name. Probably around here somewhere. We've got... It's Astrolabe. Once we're forcibly kicked off our horse, that would be our sign that he would be invading relatively soon, so... Let's buff up while he's invading, and... Still nothing right here. It's interesting. Maybe it's after I kill Elmer, or maybe there's some other trigger that makes him invade, but there's also a golem over this way, and more Star Wars shards that are totally useless. The only thing you can use them for, other than restoring FP slowly and not that much, would be buying puppets from Celibus, and we bought all the puppets we could from him, and now he's also dead. So it... Not really much of a point in that. It is interesting how they have things like Starlight shards and the raw meat dumplings that are very, very limited HP and FP restoration items that just don't really come any other way, and yep, I do hear a golem coming, so let's put on our Krajir and crush it. Alright. Take that and switch us back to Radon Greaves, and what are you doing now? Good buddy. I dodge. Okay. Thank you. That was a very panicked dodge, but that's life. Slim and mm -hmm. all right, another one, and this should kill. Well, not kill, but knock it down for a critical that should kill. And a big slam, and no more of you. Thank you very much. So what I'm wondering then is what else is around this area. We put on our sword, but right now we have access to grace. I do need to remember to put things away. Then. Radon's gauntlets, and it just... If I'm not ever really going to be wearing a helmet, maybe I could prioritize fast rolls or something. Big thing is, eventually my equipment will be high enough that even equipping both Bullgoat gauntlets and Greaves with Radon set, maybe even eventually equipping Bullgoat armor proper, but quite frankly, Bullgoat armor is hideous, so I don't entirely want it. And... Oh, there he is, and... 
He looks like he's just wearing normal clothes, so... Let's put on Blessing Spoon, Golden Vow, and get ready for a Grail Roar. Thanks, take that out, and... Cannot use that right now. Now we can, so... Hello! And... Take you out... Oh my goodness! The damage of that was really good anyway. And just like that, and... Thank you! Easy enough. The Ants for Rapier, the Mariah Smats, and the Mariah's Robe. So he was just a normal NPC outside, and this... Good way to inflict rot on things that... Well... Could have used this on Radon in theory, but... I'll be okay. Think about this. Hmm... Giant Ant, Fashion to a Rapier, Boy Drips Scarlet Rod, Old Legend, Private Believer, found his own personal goddess. Hmm. Impaling Thrust, but Scarlet Rod couldn't have been from the Ants, could it? I don't know. White-haired Young Noble, worn by the head, increases Arcane. That would mostly be for blood, then. No Arcane stuff really relates to Scarlet Rot, and Scarlet Rot does not scale, but maybe it originally did. Not sure. Will history span generations, both executioners and castles of the Shaded Castle, likeness of the first of their line. Since we're all sickly born, little wonder, Melee Marias would be so beguiled by the beautiful fierce goddess born in Rot, Melania, black metal worn by the head. Hmm. What heard young noble? Oh, all right. So we got that. And just anything else around here? Were all these statues? I wonder if any of them were meant to be representations of Melania. What is interesting is that that golem basically was presumably sort of his backup. I didn't even see him until after I'd killed the golem though, which, well that's a lie. Let's go in, put away almost every weapon I have. There are very few I could even theoretically make use of. Just for the chest and... Yeah, most of these can just go. Zeracord could be good, but... Dagger, Sickle... What does the Ivory Sickle do again? I... Switch to chess. Check this out. Right, Albin Norix, Quick Step, entered his presence, and a bit of magic, right? Scorpion Singer, Crystal Knife, Antspur, Singadea. I mean, Scorpion Singer. Would soon crease. Yeah, I don't really need the Reduvia. Yeah, that's sad to say, but I really don't. Till and in. Trina and anything that is just a gimmick can go. Separable Alabasters, we go Death's Poker, Dark Moon, Greatsword, Troll Knight, Royal Greatsword, Crafted Blade, Ruins. Sadly, that goes to Queen Rock, Regier, Antspur, Frozen, Quality Epe, Godson Stitcher, Body Helix, and all these, all these go now. And, yeah, not using any of those, not in that katana in the way, and just make sure we have the hammer we want, that, yeah, and this is really it then, crazy to think, then of course, I guess we could keep, right, the Sherbin Hunters there, but everything else is just getting put away, halberds and Saw, Reapers, Whips, Fist Weapons, Claw Weapons, it's interesting that the pot is a fist, despite being pierced, and all we really need, and rep the three weapons I mainly use are all more or less ordered, which is really nice, too. Put away most of my bows, well, short bow is actually nice to keep. And Erdrain, none of these are getting used, none of those, and Academy stuff, and... All but Prince of Death and Meteorite. Finger Seal, Urgery, God Slayer, and Golden Order are going to be the only ones of those I use then. Hmm. So in that case, we've got that put away, so we're in a much better position now. Let me think. How do I want to keep on going? We've got a number of slashing damage tools, but stuff in this castle itself. A lot of enemies are probably going to be weakest to piercing, but that is my question, whether the Helix or another option would be better against the Assassins. 
We'll work our way over here and hopefully run into one. Just see. Hello there. Hi. And we see who ends. Oh, well, you're actually a perfumer. So let me see. Hi. You are annoying. And can we... 665 versus... And can I... Mm. Come on, I... Please, please. I, and... Oh my goodness. 474. So actually... Yeah, presumably we're better off with... Slashing weapon, at least right now. And oh my goodness. And of course you heal yourself. Depraved perfumer trousers... Great perfume resistors, Harrison and Glyno and Spice's Ultra Body and Mind, so to send self destruction would earn them their name. Let's go back to the ramparts and see. Okay. Take off the Helix. We don't need to use all that much right now. Put on the Bull Goat and Redons. And there we have it. Continue working our way around here, and I guess I could use a bit of Starlight. It is so funny that this literally exists just to cast Starlight, and it's meaningfully lighter. It doesn't have as much adjust, though, so it will have to be Gelmir then. It's kind of sad, actually, so we can slam it. Well, he still hit me. Maybe if I hadn't jumped, I would have been able to get in faster, but I don't know. This goes down in that part of the swamp. We got another... Great perfumer, and, well, okay. One, and, oh, come on, you, and, move in, and, you'll heal yourself with, is that a healing perfume, or a, probably just a flask, is another kind of tarnish, maybe. I guess the question is, unlike Estus, I wouldn't think that only tarnish would be able to use Tears Flask. Honestly, there's not much that would indicate that. Let's keep on going, and, oh, we got more... Corpses, amazing, cool, and slash, and will a normal strong attack do that too? Well, no, it won't. Alright, so, we got poison, poison bone dart, toxic mushroom, and, oh, right, we got all of our funny slugs right here. Go inside that little wooded balcony, I suppose? Passage, not sure how exactly I want to describe it, we can clearly... Go up here to... Oh, well, if we, can we crouch? We cannot crouch. What have to do probably is leap in from the side. Interesting. So then I will... Probably have to jump so we have a bit more momentum to carry us through. Probably actually the side a bit. Come on, we can make that happen. Oh, this is... That's the painting. Okay. This one would be... Where? Me neither. I... Also have no clue. Champion song painting. But glows a bit less. Ah, let's mark this so I know to do it. Well, just killing an invading... Well, not invading NPC, but an NPC enemy. That was about it. Champion song. Escapes depicted even now. Well, it's an idea. But yeah, we can't actually reach this from any way other than jumping on this pillar. Yeah, it... Bloody Helix is putting in good amounts of work. It's a strong weapon, and I like using it. I am glad I have the thing. It's a better piercing weapon than the great FA was, for a number of reasons, just... The weapon art deals a bit more damage, more stance damage. Also helps me evade a bit. Hmm. Before I go down in here... Should probably work my way around this way, but I might end up needing a lot of boluses, maybe. Well, actually, first, I should do is go over to the Beastman Ruins before I forget in order to obtain a charm that I missed on my first pass. Let's check that briefly. So the old palace ruins is supposed to be a robustness charm that I simply did not pick up the first time around, and that would be mm, robustness horn charm. That would be the stalwart horn charm, and it was old palace ruins, Muslim combo, north up the incline, west two paths of horizontal rocks. Vertical rocks, smaller one, counterclockwise, see a hole in the wall, corpse overhanging a cliff, so... Something west over this way? Some rock formations, and 
corpse on a cliff, but it was not a robustness. Was it this, or...? I don't think it was, because this drops down to where I was before. This is weird. West, until we go past some rocks. A hole in. A rock formation. Leading to a charm. I... Corpse overlooking a cliff, and, well, we got more beastmen who die pretty easily to my slashes, I would hope. And, well, actually, they live just one interesting... I, oh, well, all right. I, oh, come on. This is more annoying than I'd like, and can I... Well, we got one, and then another, and presumably just 711 damage to tank, but maybe I should just actually look at the map location. Stalwart, Horn Jarm. I have no shame here. This one in Consecrated Snowfield, so that... So Horn Jarm and basically due west of the lake over there, so we actually need to go decently far north. It's kind of weird. Well, in that case, I can understand how I missed it, because it was in a really weird position then. If it's up around here... I'm not even sure I touched. Let's go up then, past the other mausoleum. How this ends up working out. This, you know, it could be better, it could be worse, but... Somehow I get the feeling that I didn't even meaningfully touch this. Mausoleum compound, right, you have to go... Oh, because I went to oh, the palace ruins instead of the compound, so... Apparently it's around here, which... Again, I'm not even sure I touched. Always the Elden Ring. I don't know, why is it always the Elden Ring? You have to tell me. Some Roa, and this should be my... Oh, so is this what I missed? I think this is what I missed. And on a corpse over the cliff, and some Nicholas Lilies, and there we go, we got... Stalwart Horn Charm, which looks a bit like... What's this? Bordelos and Frost. Check those talismans real quick, and... Should be. And they were the same, but this looks... They look a little different, but... This one looks the most like the one that combines them all. It's interesting that it's called a model necklace, though it's only... Really a necklace when they're combined here, though to be fair, I'm not sure they could... Presumably you would lace it around your neck, maybe. I... There's part of me that thinks it would be kind of nice if they actually showed... Talismans on your character as they would armor and weapons. I know people have done some drawings of Genshin characters where they're wearing their artifact sets. Hmm. I think, if I recall correctly, in the Corin story quest, a number of Marshasse Hunter artifacts showed up as actual costume items on the NPC portraits they drew of the characters. It was really nice that they did that in the first place, but it was especially cool showing. Essentially, artifacts as worn items. Apparently, the ideas behind all the artifacts were in part based on... William Blake. The writings of William Blake, who had a pseudo-gnostic cosmology and mythology. Okay, so we can't actually go through here all that easily, but I could probably jump that if I had started from this part of the swamp, but we'll... Work our way through here pretty systematically, regardless. And boy, is it good to be strong. Let's continue moving, and... Got our light, but... More revenants! It just... It's always weird when revenants show up. I, I don't even know if there are ashes for revenants that you can get. That might explain more about what they are in particular. Because they... Don't really have much in the way of explanation. And, oh, of course he hit me. Annoying, but... That item over there, presumably I'd have to jump onto those rocks from the side, the side maybe? Oh my goodness, I almost bit my own cheek. I call me accident prone. If we move over this way and take you out, go for a bit more. How do I want to do this? Go for that jump. We have no item uncollected, no stone unturned. But it... The fact that Volcano Manor, you would know Rykard, though to be fair, Rykard would be relatively easy, especially since I literally duplicated the Serpent Hunter and got two of them, and then upgraded them to both plus seven, 
which is going to make it very, very funny when I actually take him on. It's still a... Mm. And can we still lock dude with any from moving? And how then do I get over here? Oh, presumably I would jump on there from my item head seek jumping. So can I use this as a way to get over or... Presumably I'd have to do it from over up there on that rampart. Actually, maybe I... This is interesting. I get the feeling that I can maybe get up here. This is tough. I widowly bit my cheek. Did I say that like that? Did I say it like that? Am I having lisp issues? Oh my goodness. Now I'm, now you're making me worry. Now you're making me worry. Now you call me a worrier and then you go ahead and make, make me worry. I swear sometimes. These people. Jumping ahead and can you get up here? Oh well. It's probably just that ladder. Let's continue moving. Climbing, climbing domains. Oh, because you can't climb on the walls. Well, Genshin ones are a bit less intricate. Because if, when things get complicated and difficult, people complain. Like with the puzzles in Inazuma. So, they wouldn't really do that. So the question is, okay. It, there's nothing wrong with it, but I try to be as articulate as possible. For the sake of entertainment. Make things as easy to follow and understand as possible. Exactly! I love them too! The fact that I actually had to break out a pen and paper a couple of times to solve a few of them was, in my opinion, an incredible strength. But it wasn't for everyone, and... The game is entirely legitimate for trying to go for the largest audience possible. In particular because, well, they have to make money to pay their employees, among other things, but... The main thing is, is... Making a game harder will necessarily make it make its target audience a little smaller. Because a skill barrier, if it's a meaningful skill barrier, will eventually restrain some people. But it's just... May maybe I'm getting a little filtered by the lack of difficulty sometimes, but in the end, it... If I want a game that's tough and demands a lot of effort out of me... I can play some weird puzzle game like Mr. The Witness, which that could be fun to do, maybe. Trying out some actual serious puzzle game on stream, or I could just replay Sekiro or play more, play more Souls games. It, like I said, if there's anybody I have to thank, it would be my speech and debate coach from back in high school, where I had to speak numerous times a week, and sometimes even in public. It's an idea. The big thing would be to find something that people would be interested in, Okay, that would be fun, especially since I would be able to emulate it relatively easily. I didn't say that. But, there are also some 3DS ones, DS, 3DS. Those could be a lot of fun. And if you've played them already, I'm sure you would have a lot of fun mocking me when I inevitably fail to solve some of the puzzles that you solved with relative ease. And then you can call me stupid and say that I'm not just a 1 on the 100 to 0. 100, 1 to 100, stupid a smart scale, but a flat out zero. That I was so stupid that I broke the scale. And then you can laugh at me mercilessly and I'll start crying on stream. And you can clip it and make everyone say that I'm some stupid crybaby. Does that, does that sound like it happened? All the ones in the right order? Oh, as in do every single Professor Layton game? That could be fun. I... I know your friend wants me to do Persona. And I would feel some pressure to actually start with the first Persona game and go through them all. It... I got Metal Gear Rising on sale about a year ago, and that's a very cool game too, but... And honestly, it's just... There are a lot of stereotypes about people who have played just Metal Gear Rising and not the others. Well, who's to say? There is a small but non-zero chance that 7-year-old you might still have been better at Professor Layton than... Age of Majority Me. Well, it... We'll see what happens. It just... I just... I feel like if I ended up playing Persona 5, that I would invite all sorts of jokes and criticism. We'll see. You know how image conscious I am. Especially since there was a collection of... All of the... Well, they're still releasing a collection of various Metal Gear games, and I'm wondering if it'll include the third one. Is they're also remaking the third one soon, and 
A lot of people have very strong feelings about the aesthetic choices. I think I mentioned it before, but they got rid of the quote-unquote piss filter. Because it had a bunch of yellow. Sort of a yellow foggy feeling that gave it a sort of dreamlike vibe that... The remake allows you to put in something similar, if I recall correctly, but it's not exactly the same, and a lot of people have strong feelings about it, because... It's very, very interesting, because... I think a lot of issues, a lot of the malaise with... Oh, I, I didn't even realize it, but... The name Marias is probably sort of... Well, depending on whether R. Martin is involved, might be a sort of pun on malaise. Which probably would be transliterated pretty similarly in Japanese. And of course there's a royal revenant here. You gotta be kidding me. And can I slash it in another... Oh, come on, you... Get over here and... Well, we interrupted your job. Well, it... Another smithing stone, but I don't think I'm going to use another somber smithing stone this entire playthrough. Because other than... Gelmir Glintstone Staff and Giant Crusher. These are all the weapons I'm ever going to need for basically anything. This would be an option for... <sighs> maybe weapon buffs. Make weapon buffs a bit stronger because it only applies the faith portion of Incant Scaling when you do a faith-based weapon buff and similar for Sorcerer. But for Sorcerer, I suppose, I wonder, maybe Academy Staff, but... I don't think I'd really be using Magic Weapon for much of anything other than, I don't know, a Black Blade Kindred? Not even sure. So, and this is, of course, the outer area. What item is going to be right here? But to get up here, though, is another question entirely. Not even sure how I would do that. Oh, over there on that side. Okay, neutralizing bolts for the poison, but we've got plenty of poison bar to resist it, but... Like I was saying, a lot of the malaise of the game industry, I would say, can at least in part be explained by just the an attempt to prioritize realism above all else at the expense of style, of cost, of, or of low cost of production time. Because games just take so long to make it these days, and it... You know, people have talked about, and I'm always going to talk about my classic bugbear that... Zelda and way it's being run, though, to be fair. I really am excited for the new one. Because, again, it's it's a 2D Zelda game. It takes place in the old timeline. And it... You know, is coming out sooner than... The distance, the time between... Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild, so... There is a good chance, in my opinion, that this marks... Hopefully, just... More and... Lower budget, honestly, Zelda games. Well, it... For some people, especially, you know, quote-unquote, normal people, I suppose, the most popular games are usually sports games, where the entire point is basically being an athlete to an extent that you cannot in real life, and therefore, realism is a primary concern there. You know, I... Some people play games for escapism, and that is part of it for me. It... Oh, and of course... Poison, poison, come on. Actually, that didn't take all that long, but... A, a significant portion of people... Play games not for escapism, but for... What I would describe as realistic fantasies. Which means that realism is incredibly high. Priority, at least... It, game developers seem to think so when they make games like that, but... What comes to mind for me is... Especially stuff like your favorite Assassin's Creed, which is also a bit historical in nature, at least claims to be. So, oh, and right, we got another perfumer. For a second, I thought that was a rat. Okay, well, we can... Oh my goodness, come on. We got you against a wall, which means we can stun you down. And what kind of weapon do they even have? This is a Smithing Stone 5. That is decent. How many of those do I have again? I've got... Get up there, but... Down there is... Is that a basilisk? That seems like a basilisk. A lot of five ones, and that means we can actually take something all the way to 20. So I guess I'll do that with Gelmir Glintstone Staff. I'll do a few more attempts at forming Gelmir once I get to subterranean shunning grounds and pick up the silver scarab. But it is... I did go on, and I did go and beat Moog already in... Mogwin without the purifying tier and without the shackle. 
Which is going to make it really, really funny when I take on the illusion of Moog in Subterranean Shunning Grounds. Because if you beat the later Margit fights before you go into Stormvale, Margit just will not show up. But the same is not true with Moog. And to be fair, the name of Moog's theme is very specifically, if I recall correctly, Omen Illusion. So it's not even the real Moog anyway, which explains why he would be able to show up even after his real body was killed, which presumably would be an illusion made by the Omen King. But where is that Miranda flower? I don't see it, and it's probably outside, but this specific portion of the castle, I did not get. It's right over there, then. Okay. So it's shooting its holy pillars at me, so... One, two, and... We're out of the way before the pillars start coming down. We went for it. Second hit and just barely managed. Okay. But. One question I have, and you know, maybe you could weigh in if you had strong feelings about it, but. There is. In about over a week, as in the Sunday after this Sunday, in eight days, the upcoming photo event in Genshin will be entirely available so I could get every single reward then. But my question is do I do it then or do I postpone it to Tuesday? So that I can roll for Emily on Tuesday while I do that. I don't know. I guess I could wait for another event too to do the Emily rolls, but it's interesting to think about. Honestly, I'll probably I'll probably wait. But the big thing is just to have a commission team with every single character who isn't at Friendship 10 yet is gonna get really, really silly, because now Sigmund is on there, but she's at Friendship 8, getting closer to 10 for 9 first, but. Then, of course, I got Kirara from the event who I didn't even have before, and then... Got Kirara, and pretty soon I should be getting Emily, so it's just... I wouldn't really be able to fit Scar in the party without not having a Pyro in there to help proc Burning for Emily to get her damage bonus, which is interesting. I, oh, and of course we... Come on. That actually could have killed me. Sneak Stone 5, and the only things that'd be useful for would be the... What's interesting is that Cloud actually doesn't do Wing Ring build-up. Poison Bloom, okay. But what I mean is that the team would be basically unusable if I put Wander on it, and I like having Wander in the party so I can zip around the world faster during my commissions. But as I was saying, there's no Pyro in the party to proc Burning, and Emily has really, really, really good off-field damage. But if you don't have a Pyro in the party to proc Burning... Her damage would fall off significantly because, well, you'd want to be using her with Unfinished Reverie because that boosts the effectiveness of Pyro stuff in general. I mean, damage on burning enemies in general, but she also has anti-burning damage bonus in her kit, so it's, which is why it's the set you use on her. The only thing that's even remotely as good would be Deepwood. And even with you do, when you don't have another Deepwood user in the party, it's still not as good as the burning one. If you have another Deepwood user in the party, it's basically useless on her comparison. But as I was saying, because 50% damage bonus is nothing to shake a stick at. I'm sure people will try. But as I was saying, you know, getting Sigmund through, or at least lessening the time as much as possible that I have to do a comp with no traversal abilities. Because like I said, just... Having Wander and being able to literally fly makes dailies, dailies incredibly convenient. And, oh, they can rip their ribcage open and spew poisonous worms or leeches. It, you know, if only if only I could have done something like that when I had worms. That would have almost have made it worth it. Almost. Though to be fair, I can't imagine that having to rip my ribcage open would have been particularly fun or easy. But also I... Next week... Especially considering that there shouldn't be much left in Elden Ring, honestly, at least in base game. I think I'll be trying to do a bunch of stuff on the new Minecraft server. Last night I stayed up a little late setting up some hotkeys and streamlabs so that I could actually have it automatically hide my coordinates when I opened various kinds of maps. Because there's a map that opens when you press M on the keyboard and a different map that opens when you press a J. I set up different keybinds so that... The different locations for the M map, so to speak, and the J map would show different black boxes to cover up the cords, because I do intend to pick a few fights with the other 
my friends on the server. And as a result, making sure that nobody knows where I am would be rather quite nice. Yep, we can switch that incredibly quickly now. Now we got our Helix, and oh goodness. Can I, oh, but it's totally gone. I may be stupid. So in that case, we'll switch out of that, and can we go back and stop and... Ooh, alright, and mm, can we back and... Well, alright, oh my goodness, okay, I... Wow, you are kind of tough. Stab and there we go, and dead Queen Rot. I think, I'm not sure how many Queen Rots there are around there, but... If you look a little closely, and I don't think it's that fabric, but apparently... Somewhere on the model, they appear to have... Well, they've got a bit of roots, it seems. They appear to have wings sprouting, at least some of them. Which implies that they might be taking on some of the characteristics of the Kindred of Rot. Which are the insect beings spawning from the Swamp of Aeonia that are described as Melania's unwanted children. Over here, and this should be the Valkyrie's prosthesis. Wolf? Oh, that's funny because... Yeah, Sekiro, oh, one arm, the prosthesis. And then Valkyrie's prosthesis, used by the one arm Valkyrie, gold prosthesis, masterwork of craftsmanship, of practice and skill, uses proficiently as a real arm. Moe Marais, Marais, probably a bit more like Moe is in Japanese again, because they're sickly. Lord of the Shed Castle, embraces prosthesis, claim to feel the presence of his personal goddess. Though to be fair, there is a non-zero chance that Mar the Marias people could be an R. Martin character for the silly and very specific reason that they have. A name that starts in M. Because got a lot of characters with names that start in G, R, or M. And a lot of people interpret it as George R. R. Martin basically signing the game. Because you got stuff like Godric, Godfrey, Godwin. You have... Renala, Rikard, Ronnie, Radagon, Radon, Melina, Merica, and then in the DLC of Mesmer, who has a relation which I will not yet evince to some of the other characters. And you are big. But then down there, right on that rampart. Gotta go up there to get another item, but we can give that to. Millicent, but I would probably prefer to go through a bit more of the castle before I do that, because otherwise I'd have to go mostly back through. I haven't unlocked any meaningful shortcuts yet. Go down here and let's see. How much do we have? Who else and where? Another revenant, so we can just jump down and slice it a bit once you get close enough. It is interesting how Depending on the enemy, the horse is either sort of the same being in the case of the Revenants or the Tree Sentinels or entirely separate, allowing for dismounts or killing the steeds separately from the Master and vice versa in the case of most standard knights as well as the Knights Cavalry. It is, it's interesting, though to be fair, in the case of the Tree Sentinel, it's also because they literally chain themselves to their horses, though to be fair. They do, and what was that miss? That miss was literally just... Things to make things harder to see, right? I don't think it's actually about... It didn't seem to have any meaningful effect. This is Golden Rune, well, whatever. Come on, I... Alright, and... Last time when I was on Gelmir, an enemy managed to grab me after I'd already killed it. So as soon as it finished its grab sequence, it just killed over and died, which was... One of the most bizarre and amusing things I've ever seen in the Souls game. It's just... It might have been quite janky, but it was silly enough that I really couldn't complain. It made me laugh. Jump over and get around, and yep, one single hit does it, and go around that, and... The Omen Barons, so there's a Wraith Calling Bell that we can pick up as a tool and use. It's pretty much useless, but can use it. And it is... Produces a projectile, that golden black projectile, same as them, but what's interesting is that the Omen Baron, which deals holy damage as opposed to the Breath Calling Bell, and presumably what they use, but I'm not quite sure. It's entirely possible that they could actually be doing holy damage, deals magic damage. So it's interesting that it looks so similar, and the Wraith Calling Bell also has scaling off of 
intelligence and faith, so it's a bit split, which is, again, just another example of the game spitting in the face of magic builds, because that's another way for faith builds to get access to decent magic damage, though to be fair, the only things that you really want magic damage against would be those stone digger trolls against which you can just use holy damage once you have meaningful access. Where did the dog? Well... Let's actually go around a bit the other way. I get the, the feeling that inner gain. This is probably going to be the way to the boss, and I do not actually want to engage it exactly at this moment. There are still more enemies in this moat, and an item to pick up, and probably an item over the other way. Main thing is, we do have a side of grace now. Once we've cleared out the treasure and the loot, we can simply... Oh, well, this is interesting. I... Bloodhound step would actually be pretty useful here. But we can still get up fine over this way. Because the quick step would be irrespective of any terrain I'm currently stepping in. So I use that to an extent in no item ahead. Warring out in ranged battle. So is something really annoying going to show up here. I get that feeling. But uh, as I was saying... When I was in the abandoned cave over in Kaelit way early in order to get the Golden Scarab just so I'd constantly have extra rune acquisition to make myself stronger, I, to get through the rot pool that you drop down to at the start of the dungeon, which is just a crazy thing to spring on somebody, even in Kaelid, I had a dagger with quick step equipped to just dash through it, and it was rather exhilarating to actually be, to actually be, the Queen Rot Knight duo in there, and it made it really funny when I ended up fighting other Queen Rot Knights other places. There was one in a cave in Lyurnia that was just by itself as a boss. It was just sort of... I thought two of you as a boss. One of you was going to be no trouble. And, of course, it was no trouble at all. So, actually, it would be maybe possible to... continue spamming the initial impaling thrust of the... Oh, come on. I All right. Of the Bloody Helix, I'm not quite sure, but... And that... That might have increased the damage that guy took. Perfumer's Shield, okay, and... One, two... And you're gonna jump back, you're gonna try to jump back, and we'll just take you out. Depray Perfumer Headscarf, I wonder if any of those were guaranteed drops. Gold Shield used by Perfumers, thin a lot of weight, even though it's lacking strength, and enjoy the immunity boosting shield, doesn't even have... Weight and gets two-thirds of physical damage, actually. Slightly less, because it's not 66 point. Six for Pewdie and Heresy and Climb, Descent to Self Destruction with Spices. We saw that in another piece of Depraved Perfumer gear that we already got, so let's go in here. There's an item in there past that remaining Revenant. Hi, Revenant. Just a smithing stone, whatever. And this is just so presumably, well, they use that to block that off, but it, these rocks again look very similar to the. Sort of lava rock over in Gelmir, which raises some questions about whether this was... Since it is so close to Gelmir, and I cannot use a map on a ladder. Can't believe that that was never something I noticed until now. I never checked a map on a ladder. To be fair, I suppose most times I was climbing a ladder, I'd either already know where I was, or... Nothing would really be all that... Something would already be pursuing me, but it's close to Gelmir, it actually shows up on the Gelmir map, but... It's interesting how poison could show up in Gelmir then. I'm the head, be wary of group, so. What group? I. Huh? Oh, okay, and. Oh, wary of group is in wary of the group of boxes. That's incredibly. Maybe they could have said. Ro but rolling required a head. Maybe. I. Alright. One, two, and okay. So that combo of. White and a strong actually seems to be better, but should be an item somewhere here, but that jump might be weird. That ladder to make it easier to get down if we miss that jump, and anybody or anything anything else around here, and is this a stone sword key, and oh, another perfume bottle, and that, now we have five out of maximum of ten, but it's just pretty much any perfume art we can replicate better using a spell, since it consumes the same sort of buff slots too it it's only good if you don't have access to the spells but we do it it's honestly just sad and that item is over there and what is this this is 
Okay, a stone sword key. It's just, dungeons are starting to require one or two stone sword keys just to get inside, so it... Being a bit stricter about that. The only thing I can really think of is just an earlier area. Is though the pair Nilkron is not exactly an earlier area. It's about maybe a little under Altus, but still not much. You get two for the Mimic to Ashes, which again I'm not using. Hmm. Oh, but before I forget, I may as well give our friend Millicent her funny new arm. We are going to help someone become the strongest and best version of them version of themselves. Aren't I so nice? Oh, but right to the Wyndham Catacombs, so presumably that statue was what did but oh right, we already went down part of this slope because it was just from Wyndham. So your path and can see a bit of white rot on her cheek. Yes, go ahead and actually fight with it. Thank you. You're welcome. I am in debt yet again. Don't even think about it. If the arm serves well We're going to go and trace Melania. Build a sword again. Which is interesting that she had an invader form who invaded us in Swamp of Aeonia. Over here, around. And Kayla, and around here, which was really funny because it forcibly dismounted us from our horse. Which was unpleasant. And was able to fight with a Shamshir with Millennia's Waterfall Dance, which is normally not exactly possible. It's not something we can just equip to anything. Hmm. Armster's fall enough. Possibly with a sword again. Adu in battle. Right. Okay. Not, but of course we don't really summon, so. And again, we can see most of the way up here and Halo Chief presumably around this way. Mm -hmm, but it is interesting how still a more or less a fourth of the map area is not revealed, but the area that takes it up is actually relatively small. In that case, then, let's go back to the inner gate. We can take down Elmer, presumably. See how that works out in practice. <clears throat> but first, we get going over here, and I... Right, we should probably switch out my... Crystal Tears. This would be... Go back to Stone Barm, now that I don't need to use... I'm not using Elven Stars anymore. Not for anything. I wonder if the Revenants... I'm pretty sure the Revenants resist Holy. Somehow, for some reason, which... Again, it... There isn't much in the way of explanation about what these things actually are. So it, it's interesting how it goes like that. And, and yep, yeah, we can just take you down with our skill. Thank you. And you drop some glove warts. Going around that way. And, well, okay. Uh, oh, alright. That we've had a lot more tracking than I expected. Can I just go over and... You took multiple. Okay, interesting. Horse died and then he fell off. So what else is going to be over on this ground floor area. Hmm. Anything here, or... I think this was where we... Right, we went up here to go up there, find that groove, find that other perfume bottle and stone sword key, but that should be over by Elmer. This is a three rot grease, which... It's an idea, but... A lot of the status greases are really good, or at least used to be really good on the... Ripple Blade and Ripple Halberd. They nerf them pretty severely in the DLC patch. They wouldn't get crazy status scaling as a result. Because of their innate arcane scaling. They're still okay, but not ridiculous for building up stuff, but... Rot never scales with anything. Rot is always just... It's innate build-up number. The fact that the Marias mask increases arcane suggests to me, like I said before... It's very, very possible, maybe even probable, that Rot scaled with Arcane, or at least could scale with Arcane in previous, in early pre-release builds of the game, but we'll never really know. Morales is ruined. Just deserves spawn for that severed Harpy. 
The crew that took the castle are short sword. That would be Elmer. This guy carrying. Can't even see what this guy is. Got that. Is that a sword or a bow or... But... It's interesting that... Calling her Millennia the Severed... Is something that only... Was really most of a beta test thing from... Some dog from the network test. Where... The guy Jaren was originally a character with a different voice actor named... Gilbert. Revenger Gilbert. And... But still a servant of Radon to an extent. And what's interesting is that in that version, he was what was called a Redeemer. Whose goal was to... It's kind of like a boy to the Dark Moon in... Dark Souls goal is to hunt down. No. Right, right. It was Jaren's appearance, but with Yura's voice. And as a revenger, he would hunt down various invaders like Bloody Fingers, which is kind of similar to what Yura did. So in that way, the character of Gilbert was sort of split into Yura and Jaren. Witch Hunter Jaren. It's interesting, which is interesting because Jaren is a witch hunter, Yura is a bloody finger hunter. But what is interesting is that Jaren's hunting is not something you really... It's not as important if fast up his personality, though to be fair, Yura also has his connection to Dragon Communion. Through Eleonora, who to be fair is also a bloody finger, but... Hello. Let's block this off. How about you getting close? And, well, I guess we could... Okay, and can I... Mm, interesting, I... Thanks, and stab, and... Well, I... Alright. Interesting, and... Stab, and... That gets real close. That is... The fact that it lunges... A bit past your previous original position when you use it... Is very, very useful. Yeah, let's test that, and we can... Actually, well, it doesn't lunge all that far past, but it's just such a long weapon that it... May as well do that. But as I was saying... Gilbert originally wanted revenge on Melania for rotting Radon, which she does in the final version of the game anyway. Oh dear. Who do I hear? Who do I see? I worry. Oh, well... Oh, alright. Alright, because that was the old dear. Okay. Cool Firefly. Well, it's always nice to get some of those, I suppose. But, well, whatever. And, yep, slashing would be a bit of a better option here, but I- Oh my goodness. You're strong. And the Perfumer's Bolts. It's interesting, because this is the first time we've seen them with Perfumers in the same area, though. Wayne Dell will make more of that happen. But... Effectively... The idea of Millennia the Severed, or Millennia the Rotted, is... Conquer that is very much a... Later... Well, a relic of earlier versions of the game most of the time, which is interesting. Got that Queen Rot, which is good, and can I... And poke. For another poke on another dog, and can I... Well, that didn't hit. Funky, I... Okay, well, alright, and... I am surprised that I missed. It can be surprisingly hard to aim the pokes on this thing. But, effectively, Gilbert would also get revenge if he killed Merchants originally had a long quest related to the Frenzied Flame, so Kale, the first merchant you meet in the Church of L.A. down in Wingray, was originally a very plot-important character would go with you throughout almost the entire game. Or at least most of the way to Landell, the guy here. And also, merchants would originally use Frenzied Flame incantations if you provoked them and attacked them, which would have also been pretty cool. But as I was saying, the big thing is that the Revengers and Radon, by implication, in that early version of the game, served a god of vengeance, presumably an outer god of vengeance, a bit like the outer gods that... the outer god of rot that Melania serves, and... Whichever one gave Mikkel a curse of eternal youth, which is not quite known, but may have been the formless mother. And that Moog also serves, and okay, we got the Foggate over there, but there was a bit more different direction. It was a pathway that I did not quite hit up. Right, we actually gave that to her, and Millicent's actually still over there. I guess she'll move to the Windmill Village once we actually take out 
the god skin at the end there, who of course I will use. Trina's sword to sleep as well as more Bloodhound spam because they're weak to slashing damage and it we are doing incredibly well for ourselves. It stands to say. So what else is in this area? It's a bit over here that right I did not go up this ladder. What am I going to find? I think I'm going up to that little covered bridge. Maybe I? Huh. No, I think that that's where you fight Elmer. So this is just some item. And this is... Perfumer's Cookbook 2. Oh, that's nice. Got a couple of Perfumer's stuff in here. Poison Spray Mist and a Blood Bowl Aromatic, which also uses... Let me see. Blood Bowl also uses an Arterial Leaf, but it's just... It's literally a slightly faster but less effective version of Flame Grant Me Strength, which is a spell that requires 12 faith and that we have. It, it's just kind of silly. But actually, we may as well get our health back. This is not quite a legacy dungeon, but it's still enough that I think having more strength when we fight Elmer could not hurt. Where this way we have... The ladder up there is over here, I believe. We can climb up that, take on Elmer after doing a bit of buffing, but stance breaking tier and the damage resistance tier should make this very, very nice. Main thing is remember to use Grail's Roar. The time comes and oh look, we got that queen rot and some dogs, but my question is if I just sneak up past that guy. It is interesting that Queen Rot Knights are here when they're, you know, Millennia's personal soldiers, so. Let's go up, and before it gets us, and oh, well, the dog came. That's funky. And oh, it fell down the shaft. As one does. Thank you, enjoy your death. Lots and lots of these statues, which. Reminds me a bit of Bloodborne, actually, Rump Ahead. And the Canehurst Castle, well, it's also a castle, so. It stands to reason there might have been a bit of cross-pollination. Then we can use that and then Grail's Roar, which that flask will actually, I mean, that buff will also actually boost, so run in and use this and can we, there we go, alright, cool. And now we can use our skill, dodge, and can we, okay, nice, and well, alright, thanks, do that and stab it, oh, well, alright, cool, thanks, alright, and Oh my goodness, heal. This is top it. Oh my goodness, I... And can I... Away, and stab. One, two, and... Dodge. Okay, that was tough, but I... Stab it. Oh my goodness, you have got to be kidding. You were actually a bit stronger than I expected. And dodge. And can I... Can I... Oh my goodness, I... Alright, right, I need more cerulean. So, oh my... Okay. Bash again, and can I... Oh my goodness, you... Okay. Thanks, and take, and... You are actually vile. Okay, cool, and just dodge, thanks, stab, and there we go, cool. Easy enough, didn't even need the stance break. What a good weapon. As long as we, well, going for the full combo is not something I should do unless I can actually stun with the first. Excuse your sword and the Briar Great Shield. So we got that done. It was a little messier than I might have liked, and oh, and you can see a portrait of Moania. And so that's another way to sort of see what this personal goddess was all about. So, we did that. Briar Great Shield. What wants to build up on the shield? Ritual from a foreign land used by Elmer the Briar. Used the Iron Thorns that then wound around its frame. It gave proudly solitary ascetics. A surprise family of executioners who presided over the Shed Castle, one of the legendary armaments. Elmer the Briar, bell bearing hunter, snatched a sword from the side of his looming execution. Furnish it with the battle skills from his home at the Eakade. Dancing Boy, and that's the same as Regali the Eakade, and that. It's an interesting weapon, but the magic damage is not especially useful, so we'll just put it away again. Put most of these things away. Wait, sword, and the. Oh, we do have shields, so. Steel wire and ghost one can go. Most of these away, except for the. One with Karin Retaliation on it. And it's just... I don't really use shields here. Not in this game, at least. 
And armor, we don't switch out often enough, then you really need to worry, but yeah, it... Mm -mm. Dodge is good, and healing thrust is a bit faster, but the damage here is crazy. And if you can get the full combo up, it gets really, really good, but it's... You need an actual opening, is the thing. That... I wonder if anyone actually ends up there, if that's just... Another silly red herring. But, over here are the... Lux Ruins, so... Well, actually, first, I think, I'll go down here by the Everjail. I already beat Godefroy in there, but... It's not a no-shields run. I've used the shield for parrying. It's just... There aren't a lot of enemies for whom parrying is an incredibly strong option. The biggest one would have to be... Crucible Knights, who are very preeminently parryable. And also... Well... I also tried it on Ensha, if I recall correctly. That one guy who got someone to hit us. Okay. My question then is, Millicent is still over there. Still ready to help. Tree Gazing Hill, let's put our sword back on. Well, I... I suppose so. I'll take, I'll take the compliments as they come, but I, you know me, I'm liable to get a big head if you praise me too much. Is that, and these guys should be pretty easy to take down like this, so we can run back in and just impale, and oh, we got lightning pots, fine. Take you out, and cool, and very, very good option there. That over up top is, of course... The way over by Altus Tunnel, the Shaded Castle, where of course we've already been. Just gotta take out the enemy camp down here, as well as a few more. Big thing is, so I used Elven Stars there instead of the Discus. I wonder, and also just the fact that Elven Stars takes two incantation slots makes it also rather annoying to set up and use. Because I've got. The only incantation that takes multiple slots that I've got right now is Grail's Roar. So that puts a Power Shred debuff decreasing enemy attack and defense, which is really, really good. So what you're saying is, you're trying to make me egotistical so that you have an, ex so that you have an excuse to kill me in cold blood. Legitimately, with friends like these, with friends like these, who needs enemies? And I- oh my goodness. Okay, and that still hit me. Come on. Sub and- oh my goodness. Okay. Thank you. Mm, that was messier. Go over this way and go for another stab and... Very clearly there is some treasure in there as the candlesticks seem to imitate. Indicate, so let's see what this is. And this is a... Troll's Golden Sword. I didn't know he used a golden sword. Lesser Giants fought for the Ur Tree during the war against the Giants. Trolls are Lesser Giants, yep. Stuff open swords in sad shape. Gold plating flicked away lost their minds. Interesting option. I wonder if I could actually... I'm not sure I can even infuse that thing. Lightning Grease, well... Big thing is... I should go up and kill... Guys manning that exploding ballista. So that it doesn't just kill me. One, two... Okay, well, that that does not make me feel any better. That may surprise you. Thank you, and main thing is that actually weapon art spam might not be the best option with body helix. Maybe I and dodge out of the way, and well, I right as you were doing a shield poke. Okay, come on. Thank you. Hmm. One or two, we could actually break the ballista. Wouldn't do all that much. Two, three, four, five, and five hits to destroy this thing. It's not like anyone else is manning it. Okay. And that seems like it should be a decent amount of... The enemies in here, if not all of them, because we did get a little graphic when we killed that last one. And yep, we got another item. I am not scared of your reality checks. I don't like the idea of you killing me. Ritual Buscard. 
Roll themselves after tree sentinels. Protect that which deserves protection. Shield comes before the sword. Mm. Either way, lightning is apparently most effective on the tree sentinels. So when I fight the two tree sentinels over here, which actually could be an interesting thing to do, last today, I think. I think I might fight into a tree symbols and oh there were actually the falling star beast over there and I could try using the magma catch away magma combo there. It's an idea. That crater almost certainly is where that falling star beast is. Can't think of a better place for it. Go over to that ever jail. Then we'll have gone through this little north-south passageway in Altus, and in that case we'll be able to explore more of the area proper and a warming stone. Interesting. Oh, but we also got another bit of camp. Well, actually, we can... Maybe I can leave that. Maybe. Oh, we got a pumpkin head. Seems like the only guy in that part. It... Surprising amount of things here. Hmm, but I could work my way down from here. So of everything south of here, Lux Ruins, and then the area on the Wift, the Everjail, and, and the Falling Star Beast, and then... There are a number of things in Altus. It isn't crazy crazy, but it's a nice place. Thank you, and can I... Dodge, and oh, well, alright. Thanks. There we go. Got you down pretty easily. Switch back to our anti-armor weapon. The Bloody Helix. And then, yeah, I suppose if I'm going to be around here, I should take down knights in this camp right now. So we got you. Hello there. Switch to two-handing this. So one, two, three, four, and dead. Oh, we got one more. I was going to say you had one more hit in you, but I actually killed that guy in midair as he was falling off his horse. That cannot have been a pleasant way to die. Though, to be fair, there aren't... Death is kind of inherently unpleasant. Let's just sneak up and actually use it. Well, you see me. One, two, three, and there we go. What a fun weapon. Got gauntlets. Time is set to duel their luster. And dodge. Thanks. Thanks, and move in. And, yep, you can choose to... Just do another stab, jump back and dodge, so there is a bit of flexibility. Couple of combo paths. It's nothing devil may cry, but still. So you can repeat that dodge for another thrust, or we can continue into the stab and sideways slash. It's nice. It This is a weapon that Andrew, the guy who I briefly did a little bit of Bloodborne co-op with, so that I could complete that relevant questline did. He recommended using this weapon to me, and I'm glad that I ended up using it, though. I wouldn't say it was only because he recommended it to me that I used it. It's, it, it's, part, of the, it's part of the equation, but it's not everything. It's not everything. Well, in the end, it's he's not the kind of guy who I need to worry about getting a big head. That's just me. It's just me and Dom. It's, it, it's really just me and Dom. Dom is very, very excited for the idea of me being a villain on the Minecraft server. Which, I might end up disappointing him because, honest to goodness, it, it would be hard for me to be truly vile against someone unless I truly, truly dislike them. And given that, at least in theory, the people I'm playing with on that server are quote-unquote my friends and actually in some cases a literal family that it would probably be a bad idea to be too cruel at least to certain people but unless I could really let loose and just let loose without guilt I'm not sure how compelling of a villain I could be I don't know it's an idea and I think 
Someone will end up doing something that angers me enough into retaliation. One way or the other, and then I'll feel justifying in retaliation. Oh, right, we don't need this anymore. If I had had that on, I bet. The fight against Elmer did not... I got one hit away from death a couple of times. Even if I was relatively tanky. So I... Hmm. It's interesting to think about, but... Grail's Roar was really, really good, and having a... an actually serviceable debuff on enemies to boost my damage further, and as well as my defense by decreasing their defense to make my attack stronger, boost lowering their attacks to make... I mean, boosting, lowering their defense to make my attack stronger, lowering their attack to make my defense stronger. There were a lot of... It worked very well for me. I am actually very, very pleased with the way that it's been working on some of the enemies I've fought. So I used it on the perfumers, I used it on... The troll, and I used it on... Elmer. I also used it on Malay Marais, but he also just... He was weak. I... He actually got taken down half health by the roar alone, which... To be fair, given that the roar does pure physical damage, actually... Flame Grant Me Strength actually boosted it, which it does not do for most spells, because not all spells are fire, though I'd say that fire probably has the most disproportionate amount, because there are so many kinds of fire. Ghost Flame is actually not fire, it's magic, but you've got fire amongst such fire giant fire, and if you count those as separate, which you probably shouldn't, that's even more kinds. Then you've got Black Flame, you've got Blood Flame, you've got Frenzied Flame... And then, of course, you got the Magma Sorceries of Lycard. So it's... they really just give you crazy amounts and kinds of fire. It's... kind of crazy. But even still, you've got Lightning, you've got Holy, you've got Magic, so... Generally speaking, Flame Grant Me Strength isn't gonna do much, but then you do have some physical incants, because Grail's Roar is one, but even in Dragon Communion, the Rotting Breath, as well as... Exyches is Decay, which is a stronger version, arguably, but since you can't use it on horseback, it might not. You can use Exyches Decay on horseback, not on horseback, but in midair, whereas Rotten Breath, normal Rotten Breath deals less damage, but it also consumes less FP, and also can be cast on horseback, even if it cannot be cast in midair. And they deal the same amount of rot buildup anyway, so if you're using it for rot, it's not as if one is all that much better than the other. And then, of course, you have the Gravity Sorceries, which some of which deal magic damage, some of which deal physical, and then the Bestial Sorceries, which all deal... I mean, Bestial Incantations, which all deal physical damage, so it... It's actually a decent amount that is boosted by Flame Grant Me Strength, or... Well, if you want to talk about the... Oh, and this goes up around this way. I did not expect that. So this is another way down to the Everjail. That's actually somewhat convenient but going up to the as i was saying is something like the blood bowl aromatic or the exalted flesh which increase your physical damage bonus in a similar way to flame grammy strength those would only be the physical incantations and sorceries which they're far far fewer of though that's not to say that they're you know, it's still a decent way to buff it, but that said, if you're using those incantations or sorceries, you've almost certainly got, you know, enough stats to spare to give yourself the 12 faith, 12 faith necessary to cast Flame Grant Me Strength, which, it's just sort of, the only thing I can really think of is if you were saving FP, really trying hard to save FP, that you would use a food item instead of a spell, but even then it just, it's a very, very silly idea. It's how min max you have to be to be both using gravity physical sorceries and not have the faith of spirit actually use. Oh wow. Didn't think that would hit me. It's interesting how it doesn't really have to exactly aim to hit. Physical sorceries as well as. And oh wow, it, this one was so much weaker that it, we killed it before it even got knocked down. We got another golem great bow, which does not do much for us, but. Over here, this should be Lux Ruins, which, among other things, there's a demi-human queen that fights without magic, 
It would also be a nice opportunity to test out my Catch Flame Magma Breath combo for a quick little combination of hits. I think that would be quite nice if I could make it work. Could probably just absolutely obliterate her. Demi Human Queen. I think it might be Gillica. No, I think it might be Maggie, because there's Margo, Maggie, Gillica, and uh, the named ones we thought. One in Hermit Village, one in Volcano Cave, and one in. We fought one in Weeping Peninsula, but I don't think that's one of the named ones. One in Proof Whoever, and oh, we got, right, we got Demon Humans at 12 o'clock. And oh, right, if we wanted to use the. We need to take off some of my, um, some of my armor. Okay, there we go, but actually, the hammer is not my best option here. We should put this back on. It's faster and I can wear more armor, so. Full goat and Radon. It's interesting how it's really not all that necessary, but switching my armor configuration around mostly whenever I switch my weapon so I can just min max equip what would have as much armor in terms of weight on at any given time. Maximize my defenses. Though, to be fair, if I were maximizing defense for certain elements, it would probably remain a bit more constant. And oh, we got a. Hello there. Hello, big demi human chief. Demi human chiefs and then the demi human queens, and I'd say. It's interesting that they're matriarchal but have male commanders, but there's nothing that explicitly suggests that the demi human chiefs are male other than. I don't know, just the assumption because the queens are female. It... None of them look particularly gendered, really. It's just... The only ones we really get a suggestion of is the demi-human queens, though. Maybe there aren't... Maybe they aren't necessarily female. Maybe they're just really, really flamboyant. Okay. So let's keep on going. Head back on up. See how this is going to work. Have you up here? Got the Altus Bloom. A few more demi humans. Hello there. I mm, wasn't letting me dismount, weirdly enough. Got a Falcon, which I'll ride, I suppose, but other demi humans coming, and I hear a scarab somewhere. I wonder where that scarab is going to be, and oh well you're right, it's night, so that's why they're red eyed and a bit more ferocious. Hello then, I for your roar, we'll just take you out. Maybe you don't need a roar. Maybe you should focus on attacking me as soon as you see me, so I'm not able to just preempt you entirely. That could be a decent idea. This is where we've been. We went up this way, but we hear that scarab there. That is clearly a smithing stone scarab. All right, take you out, and the demi-human queen should be at the bottom, and I believe she is. Oh my goodness, they have a. It's hilarious how little bleed damage that buildup that deals, but I didn't know they had a grab attack. Alright, cool, and will you explode? Oh, that was actually an Ash of War shield crash. No affinity, two hand the shield, charge forward, maintain guard, shove backwards, and staggered. Send duration of the charge forward. How do I want to cut back around there, and that is where some of this right, because there were a few other portions of the ruins and so some over here. It's a good thing I checked then. But not an enemy that fell, just and died. Just some more demi humans and related things. Alright, cool, and cut you down. And yep. Go ahead, roar and let me kill you. Lightning proof dry deliver, decent enough. Between his lily. Then in that case. Try that again, but it does seem as if using the impaling thrust part exclusively, or, or at least paying attention to how much energy enemies stagger when I hit them with first hit in the bloody helixes. Is it helix or helis? I get the feeling it's helix. Well, whatever, however you pronounce it. For the first hit in that combo, once that's through, I should pay rather close attention to whether it staggers and determine whether I can actually go for the fall pits, or if it's just a slower enemy, because the bell bearing hunter is honestly rather quite fast. There, and oh right, we have to go all the way over because Lux Ruins is a little annoying. At least we didn't 
rest and restore the enemies back. So, I suppose it's time to ride back around. This can only be a good thing. Not really. Either way, it... Gotta use fire on the demi-human queen. Right up in there, right up through here. Basically, poke around outside the outer wall. There's a way to determine where to go, and then... Probably go through most of capital outskirts. In addition to Wayne tomorrow, it's actually pretty empty. But... Wayne itself will probably have to wait for another time. Especially since Subterranean Shunning Grounds is also a spot I'd like to hit up if I'm going through Waintel, and that would take additional time in and of itself. Slift is over here, and we got well, we got another enemy camp over there, but just lots and lots of soldiers, though, to be fair. There are also lots of Lyrania and Wimgrave, too, so it's just normal, what we can see. Kaelmir smoking with all the lava, though. It's not really glowing red, at least not right now. Altus and then right, Lux Ruins. Continue over this way, try not to fall down, go into the area with the demi-human queen, and we'll be chill. In theory, when we take more down, we should probably get- Oh, you were here. Hello. Thanks. Give me a few more flasks. So I can have everything when I take her on. That is nice, that you don't have to really worry even if you're not. Even if you've gone a while without resting a side of grace, if you can get your flask back by killing enemy groups, but it definitely encourages you to just keep on going until the next grace comes up, which it's interesting conceptually. It definitely might maybe not overextend yourself, but it encourages you to go. Maybe a bit deeper in than you might otherwise. Got a string, and... It is interesting that they never really describe specifically what is up with the demi-humans and how they were created. You know, it... The most obvious option would probably be some sort of unholy union between man and beast. But it... The thing about Bach is that, and it, you know, demi-human, half-human. So maybe... And what is interesting is they don't really, they don't use Bestial Incantations, but it's the vulgar militiamen who use Bestial Incantations, but surprisingly little is known about the Demi-Human Swordsmen. It's just we have Bach, the only one we can talk to. Hmm. Take that off, actually, and put in more armor is more than fine and we can actually it's not even heavy load you can wear this stupid looking armor and it I do find it rather unsightly I'm going to grab me strength and then Grail's Roar I have to switch back to the next option and there you are and me and Queen Gillica cool and now we can do that and just like this we can mm, dodge and attack and just and I, okay, I, oh, all right, and just, thanks, and, and thanks, and, oh, well, I did not mean to do that, but I, well, that was very impressive damage, regardless, and I, mm, burning from the magma, and I, okay, well, all right, we need to try this out again, can I dodge, oh my goodness, I didn't know you had a grab attack, you went far, you went far, and she just immediately threw her staff at me, it's crazy, actually, and I, okay, and, oh my goodness, can I, thanks, and, Swift spray, and there we go. Exactly, you can do it. Swift spray, it's kind of tough to combo, but enemy film. If I had done that, I bet I could have just instant her. Alright. So we'll learn more about that in the future. Fair enough. Starlight and Hunter, I believe, would be the ritual sword talisman. This would be a good option against the Fallen Star Beast. As a praise. Ritual Sword Talisman, and that Powder After Swords and Ritual Combat held to honor the urge for E-Practice died out by the age of King Consort Radagon, so more Godfrey than Radagon remains in the arenas where combat took place and still be found in every land. Well, not every land, just Altus slash Lanetel. 
Kaelid and Wingrave, and those are actually all kind of in this little triangle, so nothing in Lyurnia, though to be fair, Lyurnia would be. Before Radagon, they were not connected, and I suppose they don't count the giant on top of the giants as their domain. Mm. Well. Alright then. Go around here. See how an access to that Falling Star Beast, which is weaker than the full grown Falling Star Beast up on top of Gelmir that I took down. And this big crater, which is much, much bigger than this crater, too. It's very, very much a sign of the strength of one versus the other, presumably. Let's pop that. Make it daytime. So you can actually see this place. And, oh, I didn't even really notice, but you can see that the rocks here are tinged with gold. It's pretty cool. Didn't have a weapon, so we'll put that on and switch out to Dawn's armor and then this. Okay. I actually like this fit decently. The gray actually contrasts pretty well. It may have been made for min-maxing purposes, but it actually doesn't look all that bad. It, of course, was not optimized for appearance. Well, actually, it kind of is, because if I were optimizing for appearance... I mean, if I were not optimizing for appearance, I would not have a... If I were not optimizing for appearance, I would have a helmet. Are those... Are those misbegotten? Interesting. Not that I... Oh, don't need a war pick. But the big thing is, as long as they stay close... Hello there. And just... Oh my goodness, okay. And, well, oh, you got... Winged misbegotten. Can I hit... And, oh my goodness, I... Alright. Thanks, I... Get close to the ground in time. Oh, come on, you... Will this hit? And... Please, I... Oh, what? Come on. Come on. This is embarrassing. I don't have a good way to deal... Or I can anti-air, that's good. If I jump and... Yep! Surface air missile. Missed we got a short bow. I didn't have one of those, did I? Fine for clings to it. It should all damage by sacrificing a range. Well, alright. So this entire camp was presumably overrun by Miss You can see. Dead soldiers as well as... Can you? Not sure. See remnants of armor, but that's not the same as a dead soldier. Oh my goodness. I, oh my... That range is insane. I, well, we got you as well. I, okay. I, oh my goodness. Come on, you. Now, there we go. And oh, that kill. Right. And can I dodge? Step. Dodge. Oh my goodness. That, okay. Hmm. Does have a decent amount of end lag is the thing. To be fair, it's probably a bit similar to yours, Piercing Fang. And got... Oh, what? Huh? All right. You are... Pretty annoying. Winged ones are just awful. Okay, so I... Oh, really? What in... That barrage is evil. Can I... And... Got both of you. Nice. And can I... Well, if I could have gone to critical, I didn't do it that time. Hmm. So we're working around this way. We can work our way. This way everything's south of the side of Grace. I suppose maybe the pocket up in here is something I'd like to go through. And then, of course, everything north of here, including the Windmill Village, will be for tomorrow. Then maybe a bit of the capital outskirts, but it's still just... Altus is big. It's actually not as big as Lyurnia. It probably is a bit more verticality. The fact that it's got two legacy dungeons also doesn't help, especially since Wayne Delhi is basically in the midpoint of the game. It's got an entire sewer area, and this itself is just generally quite big. Because you go over here and it's mostly... It's not all that much. It's... And especially since increasing radius by a little increases total area by a lot. It may not look all that much bigger in terms of radius compared to Rhea Wakaria, but a lot of Rhea Wakaria is kind of empty, even though it does have a good amount of verticality, so it, it's interesting. Oh, we got 
couple of you. Hello then. What are they praying to? Well, alright. Backstab the misbegotten man. There we go. Sorry. They're very scaly, which means they're to an extent basically armored enemies and therefore, right, weak to pierce. As are almost all enemies in this game, it seems. It's either pierce or fire. Sometimes it's slash. Slash is pretty good too. Now we got you, and before you go up, we'll. Well, we couldn't actually interrupt you in time. But we can hit you in midair, which I think, whenever they're airborne, I think it counts as counter frames. It works in the case of some dragons. Some of them even levitate close enough to the ground that you can still hit them and take advantage of the bonus damage dealt because they were effectively counter damage is when they're in the middle of an attack, which bonus to piercing damage specifically is also part of what makes piercing damage so good, and you can make that work sometimes with bows or great bows. And I saw a kill someone did on the the King of Dragons using that Radon's Reign, the line great bow that I use for various things, and one of the reasons it worked so well was that well first if I actually want to kill that Falling Star Beast, I should put on a the fire boost cracked here. But as I was saying, one of the reasons it worked so well is that is that when the dragon started flying, it did it just a little bit above the ground, so the player was still able to lock onto the dragon and shoot him with arrows. And well shoot with the arrow rain, and since it was so big, basically all the arrows hit and Oh hello. Nobody here. Beast blood. Probably some kind of temporary camp, but as I was saying, you're able to get a lot of bonus damage from that bow. Which, especially with a bow, it's not the kind of thing you can really build around. There are talismans that just increase piercing counter damage, but it's not really the kind of thing you'd want to use with a bow. It's not the kind of thing you can guarantee in the same way as... You know, as if you could hold a shield up with a spear so they could... Which is something you can do. You can do a shield poke with certain poking weapons, such as spears. I think great spears are also, as long as you can actually hold them in one hand, and then thrusting swords and heavy thrusting swords, but... Then you can attack an enemy while it's attacking, or have it bounce off your shield and attack it quickly while it's still off balance, and those are ways to make counter damage happen a bit more reliably, but with bows, it's... A nice lucky bonus that you can't really rely on, but are, is nice to have if you do. And, alright, and, one, two, oh, alright, uh, interesting. One, two, there we go, and we actually managed to proc bleed on it, well, after it, after he had already died, so, well, you know, we take those, sometimes. Let's keep on moving this way, and... Set of graces over there. But, since we're changing out our flasks, we're gonna have to kill that guy anyway. Got a bow guy who will be shooting at us, so. Let's mix our physic and the sand break won't do much there. We'll put in flame shrouding. And that should be very, very useful. Because again, Falling Star Beast is equally weak to. Weakest to all non elemental damage types, about the same. But relatively weak to them. Now you're over there, and can I? Come on, and can I? Stab, off balance, and two, and oh, well, alright. I thought I wouldn't have to try to use weapon art. Maybe I should have. Oh, well, right. Both stance, and oh, my. Oh, okay. Yeah, it would have been a weapon art kind of kind of fight. Well, at least we beat that group, which means some more of that, so. I may have fought in that group of dudes before, but I feel like doing it again. Oh, but right, we also need to... We can get another level, and that would be pretty good. Level up or seal a bit. Right, I avoid graces so much that... Okay. This should be... It was around 280, 250, I think, so now it's 251, which is... Not all that much more, but still nice. No reason not to take it if we can get it. Get some more soldiers, and one. Thank you, two. 
Get over and... St oh, well, I didn't think that would hit me. All right. One, two, three, four, and can I knock you off? Well, knock out balance. Good stuff. And stab. Cool. Got a knight coming over. It, it is just good and fun to fight a lot of these enemies, so... Over, do a charge, and can I... Mm, go somewhere I can actually hit you off your horse. I... Cool, and can I... Dodge, and he yeah, actually... Stunned the horse. It's impressive. This lever, golden great shield, and... Oval great shield of gold, knights protect the royal capital, reputed for sturdiness, exemplified by shield's exceptional guard capacity. So, and that is, right, those soldiers over there. Well, they've seen me now, so I need to end their miserable little lives. I don't make the rules. Well, I kind of do. Thank you, and, oh, well, I didn't think. I thought I'd lock. Well, clearly I didn't. Fulger Bloom, and I think once I kill that beast, I'll teleport over here. And then fight those tree sandals one by one. And then work my way down this way, because... Going down here instead of going up and having to meet with the tree sentinels at the end and then probably rest them away would be more convenient, but it's cool how tall those walls are. It really does. It really is a fantasy city. But yeah, it says that the inner walls, I forget where I read it, that the inner walls have never been breached. And, well, of course, we're going to do it. We have to. Well, we actually already did it by teleporting in from Deep Root. There is a teleport right by where Fia used to be. Which was right. Prince of Death's Throne. This is Godwin's Corpse, which is not on the map. Honestly, it should be. It's that big, but it takes you inside a lane tell after the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Uh, interesting. Hello, then. Stab, and there we go. Stab, stab. Good stuff. Cool. I wonder how much damage Bloodhound's Fang would have done in comparison. I don't think it would have been a one-hit kill if the quote-unquote correct damage type is not, but still. Oh, and lots and lots of craters, so I guess it sort of skidded along before. Or sort of prowled away. Either way, I wonder how well the Star Colors will take to piercing damage in comparison. Well, it... Let's just check. I feel like checking. Well, I should put away some of these, because it's getting increasingly hard to see. What? Oh, what? interesting. Then if I put on the hammer, I want to see how much of that would do. Do they actually count as enemies made of stone? And it deals more damage, but not that much more. I would presume they're weakest to pierce. Then their nature... Well, they're not really even stony at all. They might use stones, but it's just sort of pseudo-cast, but it's not the same. I Alright, and, well, okay. Mm. Come on, one, two, and, oh my, okay. If that knocked me off the edge, that would have been rather unpleasant. Alright. Mm. Continue working our way around. We know where the falling star beast we should be, so we can take out the star colors along our way. Actually, what I think I'll do is work my way up around the way to Lane Dale. Around this road. Go into this alcove where it's really just octopuses, actually. The Ember Star right there that I got many, many sessions ago. It's sell you this quest line and then left Elsa's again. Yeah, you've been here a number of times to pick up things and leave, but. Hmm. It really is quite silly how I decided to go go about this. So might there be anything in the hollows? They're digging for gravity-related meteorite chunks. You would think that maybe there might be some chunks in here, though. Maybe they just already dug them all up. Maybe. Thanks. All right, and did we get? No, we did not get another flask yet. But it would be nice to get. Punishment before the fight. Oh, and actually, we did get something in that. Get the gravity stone chunk. And a. 
What else is over here? This is where Genshin you'd be able to use animate abilities piles of dust away. For better or worse, this is not Genshin. And, oh, well, we did some decent counter damage. Stab and... Stab and... Oh, well, someone is using gravity abilities, right? You are. Star color too. Likely whole. Well, you know, I think so too. Hmm. Keep on moving over this way. And hmm. Show some of this. Take that out and ha. Huh. Who do I want to make this work? Let's see that big purple fog. Purple haze. Up in my brain. You know, if only I was naming the VODs after Jimi Hendrix songs instead of Pink Floyd songs. Well, to be fair, there are other gravity beasts I fought, so it's not all that different, but... Okay, so we've got Star Callers over here. Probably worshipping it, but... So we should take these guys out first, and there we go, and... There we see it, and... Any more? Well... Oh, and you emerge. Alright. Cool. And I, oh my goodness, that was surprising to me. We should run away and de-aggro this thing as soon as possible. I, okay. Well, it's, it's not all that fast, so I, oh my goodness, okay. Heal and... Can I, oh my goodness. When are you going to just go away? Should disappear somewhat soon, but it... Is it giving up on me? I hope it's giving up on me. I... Yeah, it's giving up on me. Good. Main thing is, we need to know how close we can get to it. Before it's simply... Is it going to disappear now? Or... Hmm, okay. Alright. It seems to be stalking that location. The zoom will end to get a bit farther away before it decides to disappear entirely. If it will disappear entirely. What if I... Yeah, literally. If we crouch, it shouldn't be able to see me anymore. And after that, I think it might go away. It's turning. Okay. We got the idea. Okay. Hmm. Should be good, so... Take that physic, and we can get rid of that and put on full bull goat. Thank you. Full, some might say full goat. Over there, and blessing boon. Golden vow. Right, but you can't cast rails on horseback, that's right. And more of that, and then we'll start doing our funny combo. Probably put this in there. It'll be a bit easier for me to use, I think. Okay, cool, and just dodge, and can I... Come on, I there we go, and nice! Okay, good. So we can... Thanks, and so spray, and... Oh, well, I messed that up. Annoying. And can I... Oh, come on. Can I heal? Heal. Mm -hmm. I dodge, and can I... And can I... Swift spray, and... Boom, and a bit more. There we go, cool. Catch flame, and can I... Swift spray, and... Boom. Ooh, but I need more crimson tears. Okay, right. And... Well, at least... Cerulean, Cerulean tears. But this is really, really good damage. I dodge and cut. And cut. So spray and blast again. Mm -hmm. and I just dodge and cut. Oh my. Really? One heck of a hitbox. I, okay. And, oh my goodness. Okay. A weed build up? You've got to be kidding. Come on, I go back and. Back and cool. Okay, alright. And. Mm -hmm. I'm getting close. I, one and cut. What? Okay. Weird. I. Uh, Alright. Just. Can I. And. Oh, well. Oh, my goodness. Alright. Can I. Oh, please. Okay. Crimson. It was an interesting idea, but. I. Uh, oh, please. Come on. That was good, but I. And can I. Thanks. Swift spray and. Can I. Burn and. Alright. Cool. Well, you're burning down. Come on. Can I. Oh, what? Okay. I did not. Proceed as an option, and there we go. We caught flame. Cool. Enemy fell. 
That's actually not all that much, but Somber Stone 5, Spinning Stone 6, 5. Got to be Stone Fan, just a bunch of Gravity Stone Fans and Chunks. That was exceptionally silly. That, that as a reward for that fight, conceptually very silly. But actually, I, I'd have to try it out on something again, but I honestly get the impression that it wasn't much better than Black Flame would have been in that combo. And it deprived me of the primary benefit of casting spells, which is range. But... Hmm. Oh, whatever. Put on our thing again and put this in its proper position. Alright, we got resin. Continue working our way around. It was interesting, but as a boss killer, I think... I would still prefer Black Flame. Maybe. Just because... As cool as that combo is, you need to do it while jumping and you need a good opening. It, the issue is that there's no good way to just test things out. There aren't a lot of pure beat sticks in this game. It... There's nobody who's just going to come back after killing them that I can test things out on. Because if you want to be really mean, in Dark Souls 3, you could literally do that with the Firekeeper. Use the Firekeeper as a training dummy. As it would show damage numbers, and then upon killing her, she would just come back. Could as ever, but... Beyond that, just being mean, well... Hmm. It's... Got to find an enemy who won't go down incredibly easy, but... Well, we'll see. And there is a scarab over there. More scarabs around the area, too. One should have. The kind of fortification I want. But catch flame is a good option in general, but I... It's interesting to think about. Not exactly quite sure. Just gotta find someone to test the spells on. I... Could honestly try it on some of them. And, well, that didn't hit. Come on, I. Alright, and. Stab! And, well. Oh, come on, please. Okay, and. Stab! Die! Die! And. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, with that. Where is another guy shooting at me? Is the question. Wayne Dull Knight Armor and that. Symbol for Uchi Worship and viewed with once with an incantation protection. Once. And, okay, cool. And, move in. Oh, what? Oh, you were over there. That is... That's why I didn't see you. You were positioned a little differently. Come on, Wendell Knight. Come on, come on. Out of the way. And, one, two, and... Oh, my. I didn't think that would hit me. All right. And I... Oh, my goodness. Gotta be kidding. Me. What? Huh? You have got to be... Ugh. Maybe I... Maybe I'm cooked. Stab, and there we go. Cool. Mm -mm. We don't like gauntlets. And, thanks, and move in. Cap oh, please. Not expect the shield. Mm -mm. Stab, two, go back, and stab. There we go. Cool. It, when it works, it works, but it's an incredibly committal attack. That's the issue with it. Hmm. Either way, going around here should be pretty trivial. Go up in here, kill those octopuses to make sure I didn't miss anything, go up through here. I think there's a bear. But, go right over here, and then the sentinels will be chilling too. Thanks, cool. Alright. Now they're going to soldier, and, well, okay. Interesting. Can I dodge? Oh, well, okay. And with Royal Knight's Resolve on that, too, is certainly something. Thank you. Take that out of the way and go for another stab. And my question is, how many more? Hmm. 
How many more scarabs will there be here? Not you and... Oh, a soldier with a ballista. Fun. One, two, and... Well, that didn't hit. Strong attack probably would have done it. Here you are, Mr. Ballista. Mr. Ballista. You're dead now. Let's see how much it takes to destroy your thing. And only four that time. They'll probably hit it once when we were stabbing him. But around here, there's supposed to be a Scarab that drops another defense buff spell. One that I would particularly like to have. And as a result of that, I feel like continuing on my path. Let's go over and stab. Oh, but he would muster every single one if I saw him first. So it's good that we came. Came from behind. Oh, to come from behind victory. Hmm. Got another Crimson Scarab over here. Oh, come on. And stop, and that still did not quite do it. Ballista guy should be. Basically, what's left. We can actually work our way around. The north side, left of here. Probably. And then once we get past the three sentinels, I'll rest there to reset them, then take them down. That'll be nice. Oh well, and done. Uh, so the spear hitbox is not active enough to actually hurt me. Good. What is over here? We got some of this. I. Hmm. Anyone or anything? Probably not. But it's important to check just to make sure. But. No, this was up above that, so if we want to go down too the place with the Amber Starlight, where it was before. We go over here. Always message, so let's switch out to Bloodhound Spang. And I suppose we could put on our Starlight. But yeah, I do feel like testing whether the Catch Flame Magma Breath Combo is better than Black Flame. Because it it's definitely faster. Costs a bit less FP. But the question is just, is it worth it from the perspective of dealing the most damage? Because if it doesn't deal the most damage, even though Black Flame is slower, even if it's about the same, even if Black Flame is slower, it's from range, which makes it significantly less risky. And especially since a lot of my damage, a lot of my strength comes from having Rune Oaks available, choosing a less risky option is almost always going to be what I want to go with, which means that, honest to goodness, but to be fair, Bloody Helix's Blood Wasp buildup is very useful. I might, there is a part of me that honestly feels like leveling Godskin Stitcher, which is going to be ever so slightly better than the Great Epe, both in terms of damage and in terms of range and reach. Let's so out the Amber Starlight, and some people think this might represent Millennia and Nicola. Well, who knows? We don't. Sacramental Buds, Blood, presumably. Has something to do with Mikola. So it's used for a bewitching branch and also mentions of his, his youthful blood, his special blood, immature, youthful sacramental blood. And that sort of cultivation of his own blood is what Mikola did to the Hailing Tree. So, which we'll see eventually, firsthand. Now, a bit of damage testing would be. It would behoove me. It would give me hooves. And, oh, well, you went over there. Oh, well. Come on, and... So, interestingly enough, their movement, one seeing me, does not elude the group, but... What does is me attacking one even far away. The sound system is an enemy. Sound detection is kind of funky. Because whenever you make a sound... The volume is represented by essentially a circle around you, around the object if it's a thrown projectile that hits something. And that, if an enemy is inside it, it will get alerted. And then if they see you, they'll start chasing you, so... Oh well. Easy enough. Thank you, bear. So the question is, is there a rune bear around here? I know that... I don't know if it's divine fortification, but... I mean, Lord's Divine Fortification, or... I think one of the stronger defensive spells is supposed to be around here somewhere. 
keep on moving and oh right we got rune bear and another normal bear hello then hi and oh it's a normal bear human altus honestly i oh but we use that already is the thing blessings boon golden vow one brandy strength and i suppose i could use grail's roar it's an idea hello I and dodge. Oh, well, I'm all right. Can I rail and can I roar? And there we are. So, no more of that. Now we just use this and debuff. And all right. And oh, well, okay. That was an annoying lingering hitbox. Uh, come on, you. These are very, very heavily debuffed. And slam. And okay. Another. And one more. Zoom in. Well, that did not quite hit. And can I. Turn and slash, and there we go. Another dead rune there. Beast blood and golden poop. My favorite kind of poop. Okay. Hmm. It's just... I hate to think about it, but it would be possible, if disgusting, to actually make a, an, a Souls game poop tier list. To have enough op... Have enough... You can make a top 10, as disgusting as that is, because it's just, I, I wonder why, but it's an oddly recurring item in Souls games, it's, every game seems to need to have their own for some reason, it's just, it, ma it makes you wonder what Miyazaki was thinking and why, it's, to be fair, there are a lot of things that, that are like that, See, he is, undoubtedly, and he's cop to it, he has a specific taste for poison swamps, if he does not specifically stop himself from adding a poison swamp to a game, he will end up putting a poison swamp in the game. And oh, that, that a Miranda flower? What is this location? That would have to be a Miranda, so what is this then? Can I, oh, it's a cave. Okay, that's actually quite cool. Hmm. Before that, we should go and kill. Oh, this would be a great place to test out Magma Breath versus Black Flame. Yeah, okay. Well, before we write Perfumer's Grotto, and I think it's either an Omen Killer and a Miranda or a Perfumer and a Miranda at the end here. Don't quote me on that. But go over, link back up to the top over there, and do that funny little hidden dungeon before taking on the Double Tree Sentinels right there. It's an idea. It's a bit like the lead up to the Dectus Lift. There's supposed to be a... another Scarab around here, if I recall correctly. And no soldiers, so I suppose we clear them all out, I think. So I think the, this was where the Wendell soldiers were, maybe it... There is a lot here, but... Some soldiers, and then presumably some knights somewhere. I hmm, somewhere around here there was supposed to be a scarab granting an incantation. I think, which means checking would be rather important. And oh, we can actually summon. We would be able to summon spirit ashes in here if we were the kind of people who did such a thing. And yep, we got tree sentinel here. There you are, cool. Okay, one of them saw me, well now the other sees me. Great. We're gonna have to go rest at that side of grace anyway. Outer wall, phantom tree. First we will. Oh, and this, well. No, this was just over by that crater. Let's see what else there might be over here. Then, let's jump, jump, jump. Oh, then. If something was there, it's not there at the moment. Just sad. Well, we can simply go over here and think there was another protection of the Erd tree. Might be around here, but I'm not quite sure. There was a scarab there, but I might have gotten it already. Let me just see. Protection of the Erd tree would be. And it does stack with Golden Vow. 
Student platform east of Gold Pass, first location in Altus. Just check what the items in terms of magic. Contagions, Cowering Black Flame, Fires, Deadly Sin, Wrath of Gold, and that. No sorceries, Unseen Blade, and Unseen Form. Interesting. Woodfolk Ruins. In that case, Perfumer's Grotto. Perfumer's Grotto. And the boss would be the Miranda Flower and Omen Killer. So yeah, Slashing would be a good option there. So in that case, I will go through that dungeon real quick. Actually, but first, we check. Do a quick damage test. Welcome back. I'm about to do one final quick dungeon in this area and then defeat. Go defeat those double tree sentinels to close things out. I think that'll be a decent way to do things. Test our catch flame. And oh no, that goes up inside, right, wrong way. That's good. I am excited here. And can I... Way weird. And can I... Is this outside or... No, no, this was the way out, right? I think. Let me see. Jump in. Can I... Oh, but it's not showing because we're not currently in an encounter with an enemy. So we have to... Combo's hard to pull off unless an enemy is right nearby, but... Oh, that... That Miranda flower does not come back. It's a really, really weird thing. So, in that case, I'll have to test it on. Tree Sentinel, probably. Let's see. If I throw a Lightning Spear at that guy, I should be able to make some of this work. See how this happens. Toss a Lightning Spear at him to provoke him and then use... Couple of incantations to get things started. Hello. And there we go, cool. 621 is good damage. And, alright. And, okay, cool. And just swing, and can I. And can I. And 285, and oh well, never mind. Not if we can't actually get the Swiss spray off, and can I. And, well, it. Yeah! That was weirdly tough to do, and can I. Breath, and. Well, we. Oh, well, uh, that combo is really, really tough. I dodge it. Please, please, I... Hmm. Come on. I... And dodge it. Well, I dodge at the wrong time, then. Swing it quick damage test, I... Come on, dodge and cut. Dodge and cut. And 567, around 600, I would say, reliably. But how much is Black Flame going to do? It's not in here right now. And that combo, of course, requires melee and being very close to the enemy. So let's put on Black Flame and see how well it does in comparison. My spell ends. Voice of this, we put on Black Flame. Put Black Flame here, sure. Actually, we'll put it here and then. We can have a good number of spells. Grail's Roar. This is a good combination of spells, I would say. Starlight, and then just in case, I suppose I could take. Or rather, it's just actually for the purpose of damage or range, in case I really just want to snipe something, but even still, it it's it's a funny idea, more than a good one. Lightning Spear and try Black Flame, do a quick damage test, and 621 versus, and that is a kind of comparable, honestly. I, okay. Interesting, but I... Okay. Gotta ride back and de that guy, deactivate that guy, and then... Go through the grotto, and... Should be good. The grotto, kill the sentinels, and we should be doing fine for ourselves, so... Review this grotto real quick. In the end, we'll be a Miranda flat, and we should be all that tough to deal with, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yep. Stats are pretty high. It's kind of funny, actually. Starlight. Then. Sword should be good for the area. But in Cave Moss, just a normal cave, not a special dungeon, so. I wonder how much they'll be before the actual boss fight. Got another perfumer. Lots of perfumers. Interesting. Lots of perfumers, and then. 
Sneak up and backstab then. High perfumer. One. Two. Okay. And one of them can cure me now is the thing. And go over for a big cleave. And oh, you can jump up there? Funky. Come on. And yep. Sort of reverse that. Turn it around. And kill. And what is that Miranda flower then? I... What kind of... Is that poison or... It is poison, okay. What I wonder is, if, is it deadly poison? That is something that can happen in Brock. Let's get rid of that, and Living Jar Shard, and Perfumer Saron. What about a Sarai? Do those exist too? Sorry. But in Cave Moss, and... No horse ahead, well... Yeah, I suppose. Crystal Cave Moss, and... Hmm. I suppose this is the only way to continue? Sure. That! I believe that, but it's just with all that many people to complete against, there's no way I'd win. I'm not skilled enough for that. One, and... Okay, cool. Hmm. Can I? Alright, just dodge out of the way of that. Hmm. Can I? Go over and can I charge and oh my goodness was not expecting that crush and mm. it is interesting but like I said it I could never be just a soul streamer just if that was the only game I got to play eventually I would get bored of it I do like them and well in the end it, I could play souls likes forever but only play one or a couple of games and nothing else would be crazy. Interesting. Perfume bottle? Maybe another perfume bottle? A lot of them are just around here. Living jar shard. Ten living jar shards, but just... What do you even do with living jar shards anyway? That's fair. Yeah, none of those have living jar shards as ingredients. Maybe there'll be more that do, but it's weird. And it... Why is there a malformed star in here? Why? Huh? Alright? Yeah, yeah. Keeps things interesting for me. And just... Interesting, and... Yeah, there's no way I'm actually going to be able to hit. And another, and hit, and... Alright, cool, and... At least they don't respawn. I didn't know that guy was in here. Okay. Hmm... -mm. I didn't even drop a smithing stone. Get down there, though, it would be... Is there a way I can get down there? Huh. I... Non-zero chance that's actually an entirely different dungeon. Looks like it might be mining tunnels. Now, that would be interesting if it was mining tunnels that had something shooting at them, because, yeah, that right over there is... Yeah, there are mining tunnels there, so... It... You probably see one from the other, and the Malform Star usually just blasts you if you're in the tunnel. If you go through the grotto, you can take it out, at least more easily, because you, know, you can still shoot at it, but still. Two connected dungeons is, even if it's only being able to see one from the other, is a really cool idea. Golden Rune, Warming Stone, and Golden Rune. And the Magma Catch Flame combo does deal more damage. At least, in theory. But it's rather interruptible when you have to get real close. So I... It's not my choice. Oh, but that boosts fire, which I don't really need. Whatever. Oh, we have... Then grant me strength and... Purple Grails. Thank you. Immediately just go in and... There we go, and... Get this started, and... There we go, cool. And, alright, and... Oh, okay. At dodge, okay, right, because you're just Capra Demon. And there we go, cool, alright. And the Miranda seems to be a lot stronger than the Omen Killer. Well, to an extent, and there we go. Killed the Omen Killer and the Miranda, and it dropped a great Omen Killer Cleaver, which was something that just drops from enemies anyway. We have three of these now. Okay. Well, we went through. Spec Tunnel. Passage, don't believe it. Or... There isn't one in here, right? Let me just check illusory walls. 
Mystery walls. Anything in Perfumer's Grotto? There is nothing in Perfumer's Grotto. Okay. In that case, we just dip. That was simple and often. Grail's Roar made it even crazier, especially since it actually did a good amount of damage, too. So in that case, go back over here. Last thing I'll do is kill those duo tree sentinels, and from there, I suppose, the rest will just be everything north of here, basically, which includes the church and the end of your quest line, and I think land six is over here, too. It's either two tree sentinels or an ancient dragon going the way in. Fun. Another minor urge tree, and then... If I was fast, I bet I could do capital outskirts tomorrow as well, but we'll see how things happen. The thing is, we should switch out our Physic Flask. Wondrous Physic. Actually, there was an illusory floor in the Moonfolk Ruins that I might not have seen. I probably did, but just in case. I'd like to check. Just to make sure I didn't miss a somber smithing stone that I could maybe use on Golden Order Seal. Because that would be a little bit of extra damage, because right now that's a 7. I don't have any... If I had not used those stones on Star Strange Great Swords, I would have a plus 9 Golden Order Seal, which would mean a little bit of extra damage. Not that much more, but it it's meaningful, and I don't have it. It... I may be an imbecile. I may be an imbecile. This is that illusory floor, and we got in here. And, yep. Yeah. Can't teleport out at the moment, because the sorcerer sees us, which means... Oh, okay. Go back here, hopefully find another. Maybe not. Yeah, it wasn't there. Crying. Hmm. Somber stones. Somber smithing stone 8. In... Mountaintops of the Giants. Mostly mountaintops of the Giants. And yeah, the ones I got in the Lake of Rot. And it... Yeah, and Dragon Barrow. And well, there's one of the Shunning Grounds, but... Spinning Stone 9 is also in... Lake of Rot, and... Some in... Giants, one in Dragon Barrow, and... Halig Tree. But it's mostly just in... Mountain tops. Well, okay, well. I guess it keeps things a little more interesting and not as strong as I theoretically could be. Let's put our seal on, because this is the only thing we'll be fighting with. We put on full bulgo. Fun. Take that off right, we put that away, because it actually switched those. Interesting. We'll go greaves, and here we go. Can buff up a bit. And then see. Now we can buff up further. Take that. Golden Vow, but actually, for a first Lightning Spear, and then we go back to Grails. You'll come over here and. Come on, and there we go. We actually staggered you successfully. That's nice. And we did end up taking a hit as a result. It's fine, and this damage is good. I dodge, and mm, we need more of that. Cool. And. Dodge there, and hit, and I, thanks, phase change, and how are we gonna, cool, hit, and just, dodge, and can I hit again, okay, well, hmm, interesting, and another will do it, cool, and that's one tree sentinel down, which means repeating that on the next, cool, it's a duo fight that I would rather not do, duo, rather not do, uh, one lightning spear to provoke the other, but actually, I... Where is the other one? Where did the other one go? I... Oh, you're right over there. Okay, cool. That is fine by me, and that didn't even hit. That's funky. Gotta use Grail, sneak up on it, and... Well, not sneak up, but just... Blast and burn! Boom, boom, boom. Okay, dodge it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Fun, and... Okay. Toss, and... This one seems a little weaker, maybe, I'm not quite sure. And toss again. How did that not hit? Okay. 
And, oh, you don't have a shield at all. You have a torch. Okay. And you seem a bit more vulnerable, too. And that didn't hit me because it went too high. Funny. And I dodge it. Okay, cool. And one more, and there we go. Cool. And it... That was some utter domination. Cool. And Urgery Great Shield and a Hero's Rune. Urgery Great Shield, Waiting Great Shield, Forge of Golds, carried by the Order of Tree Knight. Sentinels, Heavy Wolf Knights, must find Old Invitation of Protection. Living Rampart of the Urgery, Tree Sentinels are the standards which all defenders of the Urgery aspire. Golden Retaliation. Which protected incantation, dispel source of incantations, retaliating with golden power, so it shoots out a big holy bullet. It's very good, actually. You can just use it for damage. It scales a little off a of thing. You can boost it with holy damage boosting talismans and physic tears, but really the big thing is you can go full on the defense and still deal decent holy damage with that. So we can level up real quick, and we need a little more. It about 1,000. I, you know what? Why not? Give myself a little reward. And right there, cool. Golden rune. Level up my. Is it arcane? Yeah, arcane to 28. No, I need. Oh, okay, well. I actually need 8,000 more. Alright, this might do the trick. Yeah, always. Well, sometimes. Need 800 more after that. This just got so many. It... Oh my goodness. Before more got, I think I'll just pop a bunch of runes to try to level. And then we have Arcane, and there we go. Now we're at level 145, and our stats are at... With the rune arc up, they're at all at 33. It... I cannot imagine that... Much can really stand in my way at this point, at least in the base game. DLC will make a difference, and of course, you know, Prod goeth before a fall, but I think it's time to go back to round table and log out. It's been good. Let's put stuff back on that will not bog me down. Yeah, it, it's been interesting. Next thing to do is, of course, go north from here, clear out everything around here, and then maybe capital outskirts should be nice. Go back to round table now that we've gone through the manor. And... Actually, you know... Let's go back to the manor. Until we actually kill Rykard, we're still recusants. So... Originally, apparently, there's some suggestion that in the... Earlier, there might have been the idea of... A blacksmith being here so that you could truly use it as an alternative to the round table but did not manifest clearly so then here we are it we got a good deal done thank you for watching and see you next time Sandragon see you again